How is everyone doing? Today we are going to be playing Soul Blazer. There it is. Let me just go on full screen for a second because I thought as this is a very special stream because I've been meaning to play this game for so many years and I'm so excited to play this that I actually thought we could start by taking a look at what comes inside this box. So I'm sure a lot of you already know what Soul Blazer is. For those of you that don't, this is the second game that Quintet ever made. The first one being Actraiser that we played in the last stream. And I'm very excited to get into this one because, uh, like I said, I've wanted this for a long time. And uh, I got it a few years ago now. And it was quite expensive. It is certainly not a cheap game. And there it is. Let's take a look at the cartridge first. This is the American version. As you can see here, there is a European one, but it's like 800 plus pound if I want it in the same condition as this. And I think this was 300, so you can see why I chose the American one. And the reason that this one was slightly more expensive compared to some of the other ones that you can get is because it also came with this fold out poster slash map, which is really cool. So there's one side of it, which is a really nice full image of the box art. And then on the back, we have this look at the world map and all of the different items and all of the different locations, which is really fun. So we will be visiting those in the stream very soon. Very much looking forward to that. And here we go. If we have a look inside here, nice font color instruction booklet as we like. There you go. Some nice artwork. Unfortunately, this is the only original artwork in the whole instruction book. The rest of it is just, I, want, I was going to say screenshots, but they're not actually screenshots because if you look closely, you'll be able to see that they're actually just photos taken from the developer's computer screen. So you've got all the lovely scan lines that you would expect from the era, which is cool. But yeah, here's a quick look through the instruction book before we get into the game itself. While we wait for some more people to join in, we've got two here. Uh, Value at own and Retro Jim Tendo. Hello to you both. We won't be starting in just a minute. I just wanted to begin with a little bit of a look through the instructions here. And that is the kind of gameplay that we're dealing with, dealing with this time. A top-down action game and town restoration. So it's kind of similar to Actraiser, but also not quite. And it also looks like there's some boss rooms there as well, which will be fun to get to. There's a bit more about bosses, area bosses. Filthy Bear's in the chat as well. Hello, Filthy Bear. How are you doing tonight? There's a look at some of the things that we can do in the game. Some of the equipment. Some of the different attacks. Uh, gems. We'll be collecting them. Consumed when you use magic. Okay, and there's some magic spells and some items. And there's a look at all the different magic spells that we'll be finding. A look at the different weapons, armor, and items. I presume there's a shop that you can go and visit. And a look at some of the monsters and the different traps in the game. And there we go, a nice blank memo page. So, without further ado, it is time. Let's get this put into the Super NT. Hopefully it doesn't need cleaning or anything. And now if I press main in just a second, we should get signal. I'm just going to put the uh, stuff back in the box to keep it safe while this is loading up. I'm so excited for this, you have no idea. I've been wanting to play this for so long. Here we go, Soul Blazer. Right, I'm going to put that on the table back there so it doesn't get damaged or anything. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Before we start, there is... Uh, I'm just going to restart it because there is actually an intro video that I wanted to watch first. Here we go. Soul Blazer TM. I hate TMs as well, and R, uh, or whatever else they put. Right, we're going to leave it on the title screen for just a second, because there is actually an intro sort of cutscene to set the world building and stuff. And by the way, I've never actually played this before, so this is all brand new to me, and I'm very, very excited. So, wise men tell a tale late at night of a great king destroyed by the temptation of evil. Oh, I'm so excited! The Frail Empire, as it was called in the day in those days, was ruled by a powerful man, King Madrid. Magrid, not Madrid. It seems most people thought the king was a fair and kind ruler. There were some, however, who felt the king himself was ruled by greed. 
One day, the king happened to overhear two guards talking about a man named Dr. Leo. Now, Dr. Leo was considered by all to be a great inventor and a genius. The king stayed up many nights wondering how he could use this great inventor to make him even more wealthy. All of a sudden, the king had an idea. He ordered his guards to capture Dr. Leo and bring him to the castle at once! Soon, Dr. Leo was brought to the castle. I know, I'm scared that I'm going to miss something because this text is going too fast. And then this one stayed on the screen too long. The king confided in a small room and ordered him to invent a machine that would summon the king of evil, Death Toll. Uh, why would he want to do that? Dr. Leo finally completed the machine. The king instantly called upon Death Toll, hoping they might strike a deal. Oh dear. After many days, the deal was complete. The king would bring Death Toll and all living creatures, and in return, Death Toll would give him a piece, a gold piece for each. One by one, all living creatures began to disappear. Soon, the world was completely empty. Oh no. I don't know how that's going to help him. Two people were watching this catastrophe. The master and you, his follower. What happened to everyone else? The king was very foolish to be tempted by evil. However, I will give him another chance. You must go down to earth and revive the world, the master said. On a ray of light, you descended to earth. A warrior sent to revive the living and punish evil. A soul blazer! Let's go. There's the title of the game. So, as the uh, soul blazer, I have to go down to the earth and defeat the evil death toll. So that a greedy king doesn't get too greedy, apparently. Okay. Let's begin. A voice came from above. My follower, since you won't be able to speak with all living things, you should have a name. Please choose a name for yourself. My name is Nick. What an interesting name. Alright, go and save the world for all creatures. Okay. Oh, right, we're off playing straight away. Do we go up? A voice came from above. Nick, how can I help you? I will record all you've accomplished, which is literally nothing. <laughs> As of yet. Do you wish to continue? So, some things you might have noticed straight away. The font is identical to ActRaiser. Not only that, the sound effects are also identical as well. And... This music's from ActRaiser too. That's so weird, I did not expect to hear that. And this is the same as well. It literally is just a top-down ActRaiser. Nick received the Sword of Life. Do I need to equip it? Ah, weapon. Here we go, Sword of Life. Level 1. I guess you can level up the weapons too, cool. How do I use it? There we go. It's a weird swing. How's the sound, by the way? The sound for the game? The sound for the microphone? Is everything good? Oh my god, all the sound effects are the same. Lazy quintets. Do I... Do I go in there? No. Do I destroy it? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Maybe you just need to destroy a certain number of enemies. I'm so confused by this soundtrack. It is literally the exact same as the one in uh, ActRaiser. And I didn't think that Yuzo Koshiro had anything to do with Soul Blazer, so that's an interesting revelation. Uh, I used to live up in the sky, just like you. Now I'm living on Earth, away from the Master. All the creatures that have been captured by Death Toll are sealed away in monster lairs. Just as you have set me free, you must free everyone. True, don't need to reinvent everything. If you've got a good engine, why not carry on using it? A lot of great game companies have reused assets in the past. Even the release of a small tree or creature, they will aid you in your quest. Here, take this. Nick received the Flame Ball Magic. Now I will join you. I am a magician, so I can use all types of magic. I will use my skill to help you. Remember this, I need gems in order to use magic. When you set me free, the monsters left some small spheres of gold. This is what a gem looks like. Alright, let's work together to revive the world. We must go to the Grass Valley Shrine. Okay. Let's do it. Did that guy just turn into a orb? Okay. Uh, back out this way, maybe? I like how fast it is to move. Right, back out here. Shall we save again? 
Hit save again. So, for everyone watching, has anyone played this game before? Does anyone know about this game? Do you know anything about it? This is literally my first time playing this game. I kind of know bits and pieces of it, but I'm very excited to uh, see where this goes. Because it's a pretty much fresh experience for me. I like how smooth the scrolling is. Uh, I presume that this empty area here is something that gets filled up as we play. But for now, let's uh, venture down these cliffs. Nick heard a small voice. There are many creatures being held in the underground castle. You know a lot about the game, but you want to see me struggle. That's fair. I would do the same if I was watching someone else. If you can release those creatures, the village will be reconstructed. Okay. I was just going to say the same thing. Alright, better go release some creatures then. Are they in here? Ooh, funky. So, does this work by destroying a certain amount of enemies? Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. Or do they just keep respawning? I think they might just... Oh, I can't tell what happened then. Okay. That area's clear, and that was actually a switch. Ow. Even the here uh, getting hit is the same sound. It doesn't really suit this character as much as it does the uh, hero from Actraiser. Am I supposed to be hitting it or just the enemies? Oh my god, I'm dead already. Wow, filthy bear, I bet you're loving this already. Do not rush, but be patient. You must continue making steady progress. Okay, let's go back. Duke Jukum, you've got a new name. What is your new name? Uh... Mixture Miyagi. What uh, prompted the change in username? <clears throat> anyway. This game... I've kind of already done the whole intro and showing off the box and stuff, but this game is the second game that Quintet made. And I've got to be really careful with it because it's very expensive. There it is. This is Soul Blazer for the SNES. A top-down action RPG with basically a lot of similarities to Actraiser, but uh, top-down instead of side-on. So, put that back safe over there. A wild Friday and a horrible idea for a pun. Fair enough, if you're happy with it. Alright, let's get... Oh, good, it keeps them dead. Yeah, I went all out with this. It was very expensive, but I'm trying to collect all of Quintet's games. So, when I saw this pop up on eBay, I had to get it. And I've actually owned this now for about five years, but this is the first time that I'm actually playing it. How do you destroy these? What is this orb floating around me for? Okay, it is done with the amount. Okay, now where we're going. Nick released an old woman, <laughs> did I? Oh my god. The old woman was actually a house in disguise. You hear a sigh coming from inside the house. Can I go in? What just happened? I think I just freed one of the... I thought I was freeing animals, but apparently I freed an old woman. Okay. There's no diagonal movement, which is a little uh, restrictive. Uh, there is nothing here. Nice waterfall effect over there, though. That's cool. The graphics are weird. They're kind of detailed, but also very simple at the same time. Uh, let's see. Underground Castle West. Monster Lair remaining 12. Okay. Armor, magic, not equipped. Souls, soul of magician. That must be the orb that's following me. Got some really funky music going too. Maybe, let's see. Magic, I do have magic. Shoots a fireball in one direction. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the uh, only moving in four directions, but uh, we'll probably get used to it. Yeah, it's weird. It kind of feels like it looks cheap, but at the same time, it actually looks really nice. So I really, I really don't know what to think about this game yet. It's strange. Nick received a medical herb. Compared to what other kind of herb? It does seem very simple, though. I presume you just have to just ah, keep trying to kill the enemies. 
And, uh... How do I use magic? Oh, there we go. Can I use magic on that? Okay, so the magic comes from that orb, but only in the direction that it is. And I think I just used all the magic up. Have I? Let's see what happens now. Okay, so every time you kill one of them bases, something new happens in the dungeon. Nick heard a faint voice coming from the jewel in the corner. In the... that corner. Why didn't they just use the direction? Alright, come over here. Alright, then I will. Hello! Whoa, that is not any old gem. I will give you some advice. Don't forget to equip the things that you wish to use or they will not work. Nick received XP! Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Not yet. Okay, please continue. Oh, I thought I said no! Why did it take me back? Weird. Okay. I like the fact that everything stays dead. That's uh, very uncommon. Oh, not everything. Unless they're from a different layer. What does that do? Ah! I didn't think that would happen. Uh, I guess I go up here next. Even that sound effect's the same as Actraiser. I wonder how much else is taken from it. Okay, what do we get this time? Oh, I'm dying. Maybe I should use that medicinal herb. Where is that? Your HP will be refilled. Oh, if your life meter reaches zero. But I still have to equip it, that's weird. I didn't even notice the enemy's health bar, let's see. Oh yeah, that's cool. Kind of like Mega Man, but it appears for every enemy. Oh, okay. I'm not doing too well. I already used up my herb. This sword has a really long range, which is kind of unusual. Okay. What are we seeing here? Nick released a tool shop owner. Ah, nice. I like it. So the further you get in the dungeon, the more you can actually do in the overworld. That's a really cool idea. Okay. I don't trust the fire. Oh, I wonder whether there's going to be, like, bullets to dodge and stuff. Coming up as well. Found 12 gems. They are for magic. The magic's kind of awkward, because... Uh, you have to use it in the direction that you're facing, which is a bit... I guess I should try using it more? I don't know how common the gems are. Can I get that? So it's also kind of like a shooting game in a weird way. There we go. Every time I hear that noise, I think something's going on on OBS or something. Nick released Tulip. Nick began to hear a small voice. <clears throat> there once was a water mill here before the village was destroyed. I hear there is a man in the mill who runs the elevator in the underground castle. Okay. I don't really know yet. I think the dungeons... There's probably separate dungeons because... Um, something else that was in this box. I should probably just leave it over here so I can show it. Um... It also came with this map, so if we have a look. I want to find a way of keeping this safe as well, because this is so expensive, I shouldn't really be unfolding it all the time. But if we uh, just pop on camera for a second, have a look at that. So we are in Grass Valley at the minute, so we're in that one there at the top. Let's try, uh, try this instead. So... According to that, we've only found the medicinal herb so far, but there's all these other items to find too. So that's what we're looking for, and that's there in the top right there. That's where we've just come from. So there's six different areas. I guess we get to explore all them as we carry on through the game, and uh, there's probably different towns that you can rebuild. Yeah, this was in mint condition. There's the instructions as well. Look how nice they are. It was very expensive, I think maybe 300 quid about five years ago. So I don't know what it is today. 
but I had to do it for the collection. Oh, have a look how much the European one is. It's like 700 or 800, something insane like that. So yeah, I'm not getting that one anytime soon. Although if I want to get a full quintet collection, I'll have to uh, save up or hope that YouTube skyrockets. Oh, nice, level up. Yeah, so I can afford to get that one day. But yeah, not yet. Uh, Nick released the bridge guard. I thought I was looking for an elevator. Okay, he's just standing there looking at me like, where the hell did I just come from? Uh, okay, can we go that way? Okay, we can still go that way. I thought that was blocked off. There would got to be a secret down here for exploring, right? There's a whole bunch of these weird flower things. Oh, do you think we have to use magic to attack them from inside? Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm doing alright. Oh, is it because I leveled up? They're not taking as many hits now. When I found these enemies earlier, they were just taking loads of hits. Alright, what do we do here? Let's see who we freed this time. You saw one for a thousand euros. Oh my god. Yeah, that must be the European one. There's two different versions of the European one. There's a Scandinavian one, which is the expensive one, I think, because that one's in English. It wasn't even released in England. It was released in Scandinavia, so it's SVC cartridge. And the cheapest one is another European one, but it was released in Germany, so it's only in German. Um, so yeah, the one that people want is a Scandinavian one, because it's in English. And they have slightly different box art as well. I think the uh, German one has, like, the sides and the back. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that must have been the English-European one, the PAL one. That is about a thousand, which is insane. Whee! Are these stronger? Okay. If I stay here, though, I'm safe, right? Maybe I should try using the magic. Oh, wrong button. Never mind. What is this place? Ah, I thought that was the magic button. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, that worked. It is worth trying to figure out how to do the magic. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Okay, I know. I love the fact that everything stays dead, though. Uh, oh, we can explore the town now. That's cool. So it's kind of like a roguelike as well. Like, you can see how far you get, and then you've got a chance to, to come here and improve your stats and stuff. Interesting. My husband used to be the village chief. Uh, one day, he suddenly disappeared along with the other villagers. I feel so lonely. How about being one... How about being one of my children? I thought I read that wrong for a second. Okay. Really? I will call you Nick from now on. Use the second floor as your own room. What the hell? Did I just get adopted? What is this game? Nick, you're just walking around doing nothing. I'm beginning to worry about you. Please stay here and rest. What is this? Yeah, okay, mummy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't expect any of that. Why is the chair dancing? This is the room of the village chief. He used to sit here and rock for hours. That is not how rocking chairs work. They don't go side to side. <laughs> I, I wonder when he's going to come back. Probably poor translation, but it's funny translation, so I don't mind. It probably is more closely like, I'll treat you as my child because mine went missing or something. <laughs> well, that's so funny, though. I don't know what they're trying to say there. We're just walking around doing nothing. Did you not see me just a minute ago? I was killing hundreds of beasts and I just brought you back to life. Be grateful. <laughs> a rocking chair that goes side to side. <laughs> that just wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, that w okay, I've already read that. 
I'm just going to see what's in the other house then, or see what's up here. Nothing. That was so random. I love it. Oh, this is the item shop, if I remember right. Hello, ma how may I help you? Oh, you're the one who released me. Take whatever you need from my store. I only have medical herbs, though. Oh. You've got a treasure chest right there, though. What's that? Are you going to get another one? Whenever you use your medical herb, please come back and I'll give you another. Oh, that's nice of it. So, I have to... Oh, no, it's already attached as well. I don't have any armor. I was hoping for a, a weapons shop, but I guess I haven't unlocked one yet. Uh, I am the guard of the bridge. I guess it's not really necessary to guard such a small br bridge. Please pass. <laughs> okay, he just realized how useless his job was. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, please take everything. By the way, I already have this one thing. Well, I have more, but I'm only giving them to you one at a time. Wow, there's a lot to do here. It's like a more interactive act raiser. I'm really enjoying this. So, is that the way to the dungeon? Or does that take us back to that? Oh, well, we can go here and save anyway. How can I help you? Is this real hardware? Uh, kind of. I'm playing it on the uh, Super NT. Yeah. Uh, I keep showing the box off, but it is it is real. There you go. Great game. Yeah, and I've shown this off a few times now, but I'll do it again just because I'm so happy that I own this. It is complete. Immaculate condition as well. I bought this in basically brand new condition. It's never been opened before. And it even came with this. Fold out map and poster, which is really cool. There you go, we got the, the map on that side. We've only just started the game, so we are up there in Grass Valley at the minute. And then on the other side, we have the poster of the front cover, which is really nice. So I'm very, very happy to own that. And yeah, I've been so excited to play this for such a long time. I've had, th I've had this now for about five years. Yeah, not the. It is literally brand new. Look, look at that. Well, there's a little crinkle there, but basically brand new, and I'm really scared. I want to like maybe get some. Yeah, look at that. I want to get like a plastic protector or something. Uh, I will record all you have accomplished. Yes. I'm gonna stop opening it up now because I do not want to rip it. I would be so scared doing that. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back down to the dungeon. It's down here. You really like my videos? Thank you. A lot of people seem to be finding them recently, which is really, really exciting. What are some of your favourite videos that I've made then? I'm not really sure what this does. Would you like to return to the Grass Valley? Oh, okay, so stay means that you stay here and go back. It takes you back there. I wonder whether I can go that way. Maybe not yet. Or can I jump off the top? No. Algorithm's finally showing me love. Yay, it only took... Uh, when did I start making videos? 2007. What would that be? 2007, 2000. 17, 27, 6, 5, 4, 17, 17 years. No way. Yeah, 17 years. What the hell? I've been making videos for 17 years on YouTube. That's... That can't be right. Someone do the maths for me there. 2007 to 2024. That's crazy. You found my videos recently too. Yay! Yeah, the top GBA games one is doing very well at the minute. That one's been picked up by the algorithm. So I need to keep making top games videos so that people can find me and then I can actually make interesting videos and I'll actually have an audience for people who want to watch them. Because although I like making top games videos, it's not really very uh, interesting for me to make. There's like no real creativity that goes into that. So as much as I enjoy sharing cool games and stuff, you know, it's not that 
fulfilling to me as a creator. So I like to do, uh, I like to do a mix. Top 10 lists dominate. They do, unfortunately. That's why I did, that's why I do top 15 and top 20, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, HDMI adapter for the SNES. Uh, yes, actually. Um, I wonder whether I can show it, actually. Bear with me one second. There's a really good solution, actually. I keep getting distracted. We'll get back to the game in just a second, but this um, is called a RAD 2X, and officially it's made for the N64. So you've got mini HDMI on one side, and you've got a N64 port on the other. There you go, RCC. But it does actually work on the SNES as well, because they share the same cables. So there you go, have a look for RAD 2X by RetroTINK. And you can use that in a PAL SNES, and it works perfectly. That's how I was playing uh, this. Another very expensive game that I got the other day. Hagane. So if anyone knows SNES collecting, you'll know that that one's incredibly hard to find. I found that in a game shop the other day, and I was just so excited. So instead of using the Super NT, I actually got out my original SNES, my original system, and plugged it in using this, and it worked perfectly. So yeah, if you want a HDMI solution for the SNES, Definitely grab one of them. And it works. No problem whatsoever. And you can use it on the N64 as well. Uh, Necrosim the Dream Rod. What does that do? Is that a new weapon? Okay, you only see what's already here. Oh, there it is. Okay, what does it do? A strange stick that enables you to look into a dream. That doesn't explain anything. Stoked you made the stream. Yay! Caught the last half of the Actraiser one. Awesome! I'm so glad people are finding out about the streams as well, because I've been really enjoying doing these. Uh, okay, let's see what the hell this means. A strange stick that enables you to look into a dream. Uh... Nothing happened. How do I use items? Do I not use it yet? Do I take it back to the town with me, maybe? Get to do Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. Or, for a gaming-related one, um... Uh, what's that game on the PS1 where you go into people's dreams, kind of like Zelda? Alundra! Yes. Maybe this is... this game's the Alundra moment. Have I finished? I'm not sure what I'm uh, attempting to do now. Going into people's dreams, apparently. Do we go down this way? Oh, maybe I have to follow that path around the side. Yeah, Alundra's awesome. Alundra 2, on the other hand, sucks. I don't know what they were thinking with the Lundra 2, but the first one's awesome. Yeah, here we go. We haven't been down here yet. Such a great game for the PlayStation, the Lundra is. If you like Zelda games and top-down action games, but you want something a little bit more grown-up and challenging, yeah, definitely recommend Alundra. Nick released the Watermelon Keeper. Yay, there he is. Alundra was enjoyable. Yeah, it was just very different being like a 3D dungeon crawler more than anything. A man's voice came from inside the watermelon. Darn it! <laughs> is he okay? The stupid wheel! It's so hard to turn! Uh... <laughs> I think the water should be doing that, not you. Did you, uh, did I install it backwards? Is that my fault? I am an elevator! Oh, hi elevator. I am an elevator invented by Dr. Leo. I cannot move unless the water mill is turning. Okay. Uh, I guess we go fix the water mill then. Do we slowly go across this platform? I don't think we've been over here yet. 
Where are we? Because I went inside a cave, but it's like we're outside again. It doesn't feel like I'm in a cave. And then when we come out, we'll be on the side of a cliff. I don't understand that. Okay, let's go and see what's wrong with the water mill anyway. Gonna let me past. You've actually got a job now, there's someone to protect on this side. Let's go and see what this guy's up to. Rotating this wheel will move the elevator in the underground castle. I am too weak to turn the wheel, will you do it for me? This is the wheel, will you try to turn it? Yes. Nick turned the wheel. As the wheel started to turn, power was transmitted to the underground castle. Uh, okay, and now it just does it by itself. I didn't get to do anything. Yay, a new follower, thank you. Yeah, and all my alert things are fixed on OBS as well. Yay, thank you, Deluxe Doorman. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, I didn't realise you were on YouTube earlier. Is that your Twitch account then? Nice. I'm glad that the YouTube and Twitch integration thing is working properly. That's great. Thank you for the follow. Uh, oh, no wonder. I was turning the wrong way. <laughs> what an idiot. By the way, don't you think this water mill is great? Uh, yeah, sure. It's great. There's nothing else to do over here. I guess we go back. It's a shame there's no faster way of teleporting back there again. We have to take the long way around. Uh, never mind. We'll take the scenic route. And now we can go up the elevator that was talking to us before. There we go. It's alive. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button for the magic. I keep. I think in Actraiser it was on the uh, A button, whereas on here it's on the Y button. <coughs> Nick released an old man. He doesn't look like an old man, he looks the same as the guy who's guarding the bridge. There we are in a new section. And. I remembered the right direction for the magic. It's a pretty unique way of doing the magic spells. It's kind of hard to aim properly. Especially with enemies that move that fast. Maybe it's better just to use the sword. What does everyone think of the game so far? For those of you that haven't already seen the game in the past. I think it's good. Uh, Nick released a goat! I made a pen for it too, nice. Yay. Uh, I don't know which way to go now. I guess we carry on going up here. I'm loving this music. Uh, that's a good place to use magic. I think I've figured out that the magic only fires in the direction that you're looking to. Ah! Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Let's see what this one's done. What have we freed this time? Lisa. And her accompanying house. You hear some light snoring coming from inside the house. Oh. The shock of coming back to life didn't wake her up. Ah, wrong button again! I wish there was a way to remap the buttons. If I stand here, I think it's a bit safer. There we go, I got rid of the fire at the top. Uh, yeah, Everdrive route is probably the better option. I only bought it because I'm a bit insane and probably uh, don't spend money in the right places, but never mind. Uh, Nick released the tulip. There we go, we got another one. I guess you just ignore the lanterns because they just keep coming back. Yeah. 
I'm so thrown off with all these sound effects being exactly the same as the ones in Actraiser. It's in here. Hopefully there's some more interest in variety in the enemies and the levels later on. Okay, we found an architect and he built this giant staircase. I love the idea of building the town up as you're exploring and solving these puzzles. Though. Hopefully there's some more complex puzzles. I mean, it is only the first area. And there should be a, a good boss fight at the end, hopefully. Why did it send that over there? It's too fast. Can I do it from here? Okay, I can do that. That works. Oh, you want me to stay up here and fight them? Okay. No, I can't reach it. Hey, what else happened? We got a subscriber as well. Wow, thank you. Yay. Good use of Amazon Prime. Unlike their actual video service, because they've just started running ads on it, which I think is stupid. Why would they do that? They're expecting people to pay an extra £3 a month to get rid of adverts on a subscription service that you've already subscribed to. It's insane. Oh my god, okay. Let's just keep going. And another sub, thank you. Value to own! Thank you so much. Yay, to celebrate a subscriber I got an extra goat. Oh no, if it's just blobs, I don't think there's actually a proper area to try and save. I wonder whether you get different swords and stuff too, because this one's very, very basic. No more goats to rescue. getting hurt now. I'm trapped here. I got another tulip. I don't really know what the tulips do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fire everywhere. Okay, now it's getting more interesting. There's a lot more to worry about! Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Ah! That's a lot to keep on top of. Okay, we did it. That's one down. Ah. Hey, level up! And that restored all our HP as well. Good. Have I got enough gems to kill all these? Yes, but how do I get in there? Don't shoot me. I'm probably going the wrong way here. <laughs> yeah, scrolling textures everywhere. Uh, no, this doesn't have a SuperFX chip. I did wonder that, but you can tell because if you look at the inside of the cartridge, it has two extra pins on either side. But this one didn't, so this is all just done with original SNES uh, architecture. Nick released an old man again. Is he going to look the same as the other guys? Oh no, you hear a man screaming. Ah! A ghost! A ghost! Was it me? 
poor old man. Right, and we uh, have the option to go back to the town there, I suppose. Uh, should we see what they say? You get the option to go back, don't you? This is the heart of the underground castle. You may meet many monsters that cannot be defeated with that sword. You will be able to save those creatures once you return with the correct sword. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? No, not yet. Uh, it was an Enix game, so before they were Square. I mean, when they were still two separate companies, this was the Enix side of Square Enix. Published by Enix, developed by Quintet. But they probably told them what to do. How do I get down there? Or maybe I don't yet. Is that it? Are we going to go back to the town then? Hmm. How do I get to that? Okay, I think I think we'll head back then. Seems like everything. There's no map, is there? No. A map would be nice. That's one thing I miss about these older games. There's no map. And they're usually quite zoomed in as well, so it's kind of hard to see where you're actually supposed to go. I need to go down there somehow, but can't really see a way through. Instead, we have to trudge back along these scrolling textures. Ah, they look cool though. Especially the water in the background, it looks really nice, doesn't it? But it does look... It all looks very, uh, like it's made on a grid, I guess. Alright, let's go back. We can go and speak to some of the people that we just saved. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Please continue. And then we get some more outphrasing music. Oh yeah, there's a new guy there, but we can't get to him. And there's a plant down there as well. They're just chilling out down there. Let's go and see our goats. Oh, they can talk. I wasn't expecting that. I am known among my friends as something of a gourmet goat. I will only eat food sold at the tool shop. I wonder why people live in such small houses. Can you believe the village chief was swallowed up in one of the paintings in the house on the hill? Oh, is that the ghost that the guy saw then? There's some weird things going on in this town. Nick placed the dream rod on the girl's head. It is a Lundra. Oh my god, it is a Lundra. We're actually inside her dream now. Okay, I wasn't expecting any of this. Daddy, where are you? Uh, this is so weird. Oh yeah, true, it did say I could do that. This is probably some special gift from the heavens. I'm um, some sort of special being, the soul blazer, that can speak to everything. I don't think it mentioned going inside people's dreams though. A voice full of sadness came from somewhere. Lisa, you must tell everything that you know to the person in front of you. They will also need my paintbrush to continue on. Daddy, is that you? Where are you, Daddy? I miss you so much. There was no answer. But you got to tell me everything, little girl. Who are you? Why am I here? Do I have to wake her up? Oh my, who are you? Get out of my house! That's about the reaction I expected. Don't you remember what your dad told you in your dream because this random guy stood on a switch? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please come back and listen to my story. Good, she did remember. I had a very strange dream. It was about my father and someone who looked just like you. My father told me to give you his paintbrush and tell you all I know. The brush is all I have left from my father. I hid it somewhere. When you come back with me... When you come back to me with that brush, I'll tell you all I need to know. Are you not going to tell me where you hid it? Fine. Maybe I won't come back. Let's go up here instead. My name is... Gordy, I'm an architect. I built all the houses in this town. Come back later, I'll show you something. Okay. 
This was painted by Dr. Leo. A strange face has appeared. It's terrifying! That's the girl's dad, I guess. There is a picture of the village chief in the painting. He appears to be sad. She is. She knows exactly where that paintbrush is, but she refuses to tell me. Uh, you remember Lisa's dream, right? Have you returned to the place you saw in her dream? Things may be different from when you saw her before. Ah, okay. So she was dreaming about the dungeon that I was just in. Uh, was there anything else to do? Oh, there's another entrance. Some treasure chests. 50 gems! <laughs> and iron armor. Yes, finally got some armor. What does it do? Your defense power becomes stronger. Let's see. How... There is some way of seeing my stats, isn't there? Ah, there we go. <clears throat> defense is two shields. I guess that's better than one. Is that it? I am watching over the world. Please take this. Nick received experience. Continue on. Good luck. Okay, you're not going to send me back. I thought it might be a bit pointless as I'm already here. Right, and we've got to go all the way back round. And back through the dungeon again. I don't think there's any way of getting to that plant or that man down there yet. Because I need to get rid of them rocks. But let's carry on. See if we can find out the place in Lisa's dream that we were just inside. Which was somewhere on these wooden walkways. I'm guessing further in. I love how... Oh yeah, that's open now. I love how intricate the mix between the dungeon and the town is. I've never really played an RPG before where you have to keep leaving the dungeon, doing something, meeting new people, and then going back into the same dungeon again. Have any of you watching come across a game that does it like this before? It seems very unique. The way you sort of build it up and you uncover more things. It's really cool. What a cool concept. Am I... I'm trying to think, is there anything else like this? Maybe some of the mystery dungeon games, but it's not really unlocking things in the same way as this. I'm really enjoying this so far. Yay, there it is. It wasn't far. She could have told me. She was literally in the same place. Nick received Leo's brush. Yay. So the place I was talking to the girl was in there, wasn't it? And I just shot her. She was still there. Right. I have his brush. Do I leave again? Let's go back and talk to the girl, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can anyone else think of any other games that play like this? It's very original. Especially for the time. Like, a lot of interesting concepts. Yeah, there's probably something that I just can't think. Oh, maybe Dark Cloud on the PS2. That's the kind of game where you build up a town and go through dungeons, isn't it? That's probably the closest example. Since losing my wife to an illness, I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely, I decided to keep the goat as a pet. Aww. Oh, it took me back here again. That's a savory. Yeah, we made more progress. Let's go and give the girl a paintbrush. You're doing well, don't give up. Not planning to. Yeah. Let's not ask what he does with his pet. In Phantom Hourglass, you also had a dungeon you visit several times, but well, that's a bit different. Yeah, I guess that's different because you're still travelling around an overworld. And you don't really do the same part of the dungeon again because you go up to the next floor. So, it's, yeah, it's kind of similar though. And spirit tracks as well. Oh, you found my father's paintbrush. I will now, now tell you what I know. You could have told me anyway. One day as I returned from shopping, I found a note. 
Lisa pulled out the note and began to read. Lisa, I won't be able to see you for a while. If you have any problems, please see the village chief. Take care of your friends, Turbo the dog, Lou the dolphin, Gnome the snail, and Mary the doll. The animals mentioned in the letter were once my father's pets. <laughs> he had a strange eclectic set of pets there. Where's he going to keep a dolphin? Once my father's pets, I don't understand what he is trying to say though. I know you're a complete stranger, but will you please search for my father? I can try. You didn't really give me much to go on. Other than he used to own a pet, a dolphin, a snail, and a doll. What does that even mean? What do you think of these walls? I'm meant to be a fast builder. I think they're actually steps, so go back to school. <laughs> there is a picture of the village chief in the painting. Okay, are you going to tell me something else? I really don't know what to do now. You remember Lisa's dream, right? If you return to the place you saw her, things may be different. <laughs> yeah. I just freed you. Get off your ass and do something yourself now. <laughs> don't send me on all your missions. And she's gone back to bed as well. How lazy. I know you're a complete stranger, but search for my father. Why should I? <laughs> At least give me a hint! Oh my god. Terrible. Kids these days. Let's talk to this guy again. Is he still lonely? Well, sorry to tell you, guy, but the goat's not here. Oh dear. I know about the water now. What else do I do? She's still complaining about me doing nothing. Have you not been paying any attention to what's going on here? I've been doing a lot more than anyone else in this town who's all just waiting for me to do things for them. Ah, oh, this game. Right. Let's explore some more, I guess. Let's go the other way around. We can enjoy the funky music while we go around. Do you remember the stamp on the map in Phantom Ogas? Yeah. I, I used to really love things like that where they uh, did all these silly things with the DS. There was something similar in another code as well. Where you had to fold the DS in half a few times to stamp something onto the onto the bottom screen. Although, I think they took it a bit too far in Spirit Tracks with the flute that you have to play. Because I used to play my DS on the bus on the way home from college. And it was too noisy on the bus, so I couldn't progress anywhere in Zelda. <clears throat> yeah, it did come out of nowhere, and it's the only time that you ever need to do something like that. So, I don't know how they expected people to know that that was an option. They just wanted to use every gimmick the system had, I guess. Like how early DS games just shoehorned touchscreen controls into literally everything just because they could. It's kind of funny looking back. You can definitely tell, like, the developers were excited, but they also didn't really know what to do at the same time. So it was like, oh, it has a touchscreen. We've got to use the touchscreen. Like I was playing uh, on stream a few weeks ago. I played through the DS version of Resident Evil, that has a ton of random DS features. Like, there's a first-person zombie fighting mode where you just have to tap them on the screen. There was a bit where you have to blow into the microphone to give someone CPR. All sorts of random stuff. Like, you can tell that that was a very early DS game. It's fun, though. I kind of miss that these days, because... No consoles these days really have gimmicks. Hey, we haven't been down here. The closest thing, I guess, is the infrared sensor on the Switch Joy-Cons, which is used by, like, three games. I know the brain training game used it. Uh, 
what else. The Nintendo Labo used it for something. Oh really, you found my streams because of the Resident Evil DS thing. That's cool. I really enjoyed playing that. It was a really good port. Apart from all the weird DS things going on. Hey, we got a new entrance or exit. I'm not really sure where that was. Uh, Nick released a tool shop owner's... I released a tool shop owner's son. Okay. He won't have much to do because that shop only has one item. And they always just give it straight to me. Uh, anything else to do here? Or should we head back? Let's head back, I guess. We can use that statue there to fast travel. Here we go. Hopefully they can't still attack me while I'm talking. Yeah, we need to find a different weapon. But I haven't actually found any enemies that I can't fight yet. Let's go back. Oh, okay. Gives me a shortcut up here. Ah, that's how we get to these other people. The dream rod you possess is a magical stick that enables you to look into dreams. Oh, I should have come here before that. I've already done that. Hey, you look like you would be good at crab walking. What? Do I? <laughs> of course I do. This game just throws curveballs at me at every minute. Try it. You don't know how? Just walk while pressing either the L or R button. Oh my god, I'm brilliant at crab walking. Look at me go. I'm the crab walking champion. <laughs> what? Oh, is that so... <laughs> That's so random. I suppose it's so you can use magic, face in one direction. The same direction. That is so funny though. Hey you, you look like you'd be good at crab walking. I'm going to use that next time I meet someone. Hey you! Mixture Miyagi, you look like you'd be good at crab walking. <laughs> okay, yeah, I haven't found your dad yet, sorry. Where else can I look? I don't know what to do now. Uh, go and see the other person in the item shop, I guess. Uh, which was in the other side? That's the water mill, isn't it? <laughs> Is that a new chat up line? You look like you'd be good at crab walking. I'm helping my mother. Would you like to buy some goat's food? Do you want to know how much it costs? Well, how about one billion dollars plus tax? Is that how they priced this game? Uh, yeah, sure, I got a billion dollars. I'm sorry, I won't give it to you for free. <laughs> Nick received a bag of goat's food. Oh, you don't need many bags of goat's food. Return here after you've used the one I've given you. Oh dear. Uh, okay, let's go and feed the goats. I wasn't expecting to be doing this kind of busy work. He's the gourmet goat, isn't he? Oh, you have some food from the tool shop. I promise to tell you a secret if you'll give me the food. Okay. If you wish to get inside the painting, you must equip an item which used to belong to the painter and touch the painting. Well, I have other things to attend to, so I'll see you later. Oh? He's a determined goat. He's just up and left. What about this one? I wonder why people live in such small houses. Okay. This game's so weird. Um, We do have Leo's brush. There we go. Uh, which was used to paint the picture The World of Evil. So I guess we equip the brush and then we go and touch the painting and then we maybe go inside the painting and fight a boss to three that girl's dad? Maybe? Nick is dragged into the painting! Whoa! It's become all Mario 64. Is this where Ocarina of Time got the idea for the Forest Temple boss? Oh, 
Ah, that magic orb is really awkward to steer. Okay, we've done one, and we've done the other one. Let's see what happens. Okay, that just opened the door, and this one did something back in town. What's going to happen now? I released another tulip. Don't know where that is either. Not sure how we can get over there. Okay. Oh god, all these are alive. Ah! And they're angry. The noise when they fire things is the noise when the people in Actraiser start building the town, which is really weird. Okay, what did that do? And we can carry on. Whoa, look at the clouds! That's a bit intense. Okay, can I just stay here? Apparently I'm safe here. I'm actually... Let's do this. We'll just put on turbo fire on the controller. And I actually got hit when I did it, so maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Okay, let's keep going up. Oh wow, that takes him out in one hit. Ah! Still not as bad as the UK. Yeah, not with all these storms we're having at the minute. Hmm. I found the man's pet goat. Maybe. Lonely goat for a lonely man. You've been playing through AW2. Advance Wars. Recently beat number one for the first time. Awesome. They're both fantastic games. The second one's a lot harder though, so be warned. It gets very challenging. Enjoy the new Neo tanks though, it's always worth saving up to use a Neo tank if you can. And cut off the pipes to the Black Hole Army. That's the other tip. Don't let them get through. We've got a herb. What's going on here? What? The floor is attacking me. Level up. Okay, cool. Maybe I should save some magic for the boss? You're on the latter levels of Green Earth campaign. It's cool. I really enjoyed Advance Wars 2 because it kind of treats you... It treats it like a proper follow-up, like you've already played... Ah! I can't actually hurt that. It treats you like you already know how to play the game, which is, which is good. Which is how a sequel should be. Uh, should we try going over here first? Is there anything there? Do I come back there later? Maybe? Am I safe just to stay there? Alright, let's put on auto fire. I'm playing on original hardware. While I'm doing this, I guess I can uh, I can show it off one more time. I've already shown it off a few times, but uh, let me just put that back in there. There you go. There's the game. In really nice condition too. I've shown it off a few times, but I'm just so happy to own it. Yeah, there you go. There's the instructions and the map as well. It's all here. Oh, apparently restream is congratulating me for getting a hundred messages. I didn't know it did that. So, uh, thank you everyone for all the support today. Really appreciate it. And I got another goat! Woohoo! And uh, then we carry on. And also, playing it on original hardware means no save states. So if this gets difficult later on, then enjoy my suffering. 
Because there's nothing I can do about it. The background is just insane. Why is it so fast? I've found a good place to stay. Yeah, nothing can get me here. Nice, you got Terranigma. That's on my list to play at some point after this. I'm going to go through all of Quintet's games. Um, interestingly, the next game after this one is not Illusion of Time or Illusion of Gaia like I thought it was. The next game to play when I finish this one is actually Act Razor 2, which is uh, a very, very challenging game. So, uh, we'll see how I get on with that one. That'll be interesting to play. I've tried playing it in the past and it is extremely difficult. Uh, I thought my orb thing there was... Uh, hey, Space Age Hero, how are you doing? I released a boy. Have I got Terranigma? I've got Terranigma up there. I'm trying to make a shelf that's like... A shrine to Quintet. Uh, is there nothing to fight here? Sometimes I'm seeing them things and there's nothing to fight. Which is weird. There's one down there. How do I get in there? Ah. Uh, this one's a bit awkward. There we did it. Now we've got to... Squeeze in there! Oh, okay, I'll just run through. <laughs> what did that do? What's that? Oh, okay, that's like a shortcut from there. Nice. How can I help you? You got all the Quintet games ready to go on the SNES Classic. Nice. How do you guys feel about the difference between emulation and physical game collecting? It was something that came up in a conversation that I had with Games You Loved on their stream a few days ago, and uh, it's kind of interesting because he works for a game publisher. So he said in some ways, like things like having ROMs on the SNES Classic hurts publishers, but also you can get a lot of games that you can't buy these days that way. And if you're buying the original game anyway, you're not really giving money to any modern organization so it doesn't really make any difference i think it all comes down to just having something physical that you can hold and experience more about the packaging like the manual and the map than the game itself but any way that you enjoy the game is good in my opinion they're made to be played at the end of the day all right let's carry on different choices for different players I also think it comes down to budget as well, like not everyone has the luxury of being able to collect games or even buy re-releases. So I think the options should be there for everyone. And convenience as well. I released a boy, he was trapped in the side of a cliff this whole time. I'm sure I've missed some stuff, but I'm trying to do everything as I, uh, as I go. Is it safe just to stand there? Is this another case of put it on turbo fire and wait for things to pass? It is becoming more and more difficult. Although, again, this is something else that I was discussing with games you loved. The prices seem to have stabilised a bit. Because I bought this game for about $300. Bought this for about $300 about five years ago, maybe. And it's still about that price. So, like, from what I've noticed, from like 2015, 16, up until now, unless it's like a game that's recently become popular, things haven't really changed a whole lot. Hmm, that is not doing anything. Do I need to come up here? Whoa! Why is he doing that? Oh my god. How do I... How do I attack? Not like that. Oh dear, I'm doing something wrong. Go 
Can I actually... Oh, I've run out of magic. I can't actually kill them. I wonder why there's still some places that I can't get. Sorry for the novel. That's all right. Uh, let's see what you have to say. Uh, it's kind of similar to how you view movies. I watch movies online a lot. Certain streaming methods like uh, and you're big. Same with games. The more expensive the game, the more you'll tend to emulate. But there's still games they've ended up buying. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I always think of emulation and ROMs as like a way of testing out what you might want to buy, but it might be a bit expensive to just be a spur of the moment purchase. I don't know what I'm doing here. Because when I was in college, I used to... I used to emulate a lot of games, and then some of the ones that I really enjoyed, then I would either get them on eBay or ask my local game shop to get them in for me. So there's definitely room for both. And it depends how much space you've got as well, I guess. Ah! He's really angry. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do on this fight. This is crazy. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, so I go back to the... Uh... I don't know how to get back to the shop. If I go back to the shop, I can get another herb. Hey, the goat's here. I don't know if there's such a thing as reincarnation. Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company. Huh? Did I read that right? Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company. That's his wife! She's been reincarnated as a goat! Oh my god. Since losing my wife to an illness, I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely, I decided to keep it as a pet. Oh, that's so sad! He's got no... She's got no way of telling him. That's a nice little story. No! <laughs> Don't go there. Um, oh yeah, this boy's new. This is our secret passage. I cannot let you through without a pass. And how do I acquire a pass? Maybe after I've killed the boss. Are you going to give me some more goat food? Yeah, 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 I've heard it all before. One billion dollars. And I get told off by his mum. I don't know where that goat went, actually. I gave some food to a goat before, and it just ran off. Okay, okay, I get it. I think I've got one now, haven't I? Should I see if a goat wants that? Should I give it to this one? No, I don't think you can. Oh, I was really annoyed about Alan Wake 2 not getting a physical release, because I really enjoyed that game. Uh, do I just give it to that goat again? Do I need to do it twice? Maybe I should try and follow him. He might go into that cave where the boy is. Let's see. I promise to tell you a secret if you don't give me the food. Hmm, flashcards are a little different, because you're still sort of using the original systems, aren't you, rather than just using the computer. It's kind of like an in-between way of playing. Oh, I've already done that. Okay, I'm going to follow him, see where he goes. Is he just going to disappear at some point, or go into a pixelated T-pose? Oh, he's going in there. Oh, he's going... Is he going to get more food? Hey, give me my food! Huh. He's really obsessed with the food in there. That's funny. I'm glad I followed him there. That was a nice little addition. Uh, so, I guess... Let's go and try the boss again. Here we go! 
And we are fully loaded with some more magic. Uh, not magic. With... I wonder what that is. Why can't I go in there? Okay. Not loaded with magic, but we have... Okay. Maybe the best thing to do is... Oh my god! And fires those really fast ones, too. He's violent! Oh my god. Ah, that's so fast! I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, and this is only the... Okay, you cannot dodge to the side. This is only the first boss fight as well. Oh my god, oh my god, that's... That's insane! Ah. How close am I to leveling up? Next level 1000. Let's go and get another... Uh, another herb. If I don't have one. Ah, that's so annoying. I wish it restarted you with a herb again. Right, let's go. I forgot where they are. They're not this far over, are they? They're just here. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Okay, you don't need to tell me that every time. Alright, I think... I've kind of half got an idea of what I need to do. Let's try. Oh my god, I can't. Do that and just slightly tap him on the foot. <laughs> ah! Okay, we can just about get a hit in there. We're doing a lot better this time. Ah! Too high up. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, his health bar is so big. I wasn't really paying attention. That's scary. Okay, he doesn't like me stepping on his carpet. Oh no! That's the herb used. We can get two hits in there! Ah, no! Yeah, this is the first boss. This is the first boss that I've seen in the game anyway. There might be other ones that I don't know about, but uh, this is the first one that I've come to. Oh my god. This is intense for a first boss. Apparently, this boss is also in Illusion of Time as an unlockable. Right at the end of the game, if you manage to find... Oh my god, I know he died. I'm not going to be able to do this. What I was trying to say is... Yeah, that was close. This boss is also in... Oh, call an ambulance! I need one. I can't see who requested that, but thank you. <laughs> oh no! I was close. Filthy bear did. I can see it on Twitch. Uh, 
All right, let's go get the medicine again. It was nearly down. Oh yeah, when I get around to playing Illusion of Time, I keep going the wrong way there. I'm not going to bother getting all the blue, all the red gems, because that's just really slows the pace of the game down. Because if you miss one, you can't really go back to the previous area to get one again. Yeah, I'm going to get it easy now. Ready? Let's go, gamers. I know what to do this time. Here we go. Ah, I forgot that one went up. That wasn't a great start. Ah. Oh no. You were saying? Yeah, three hits though. It's a cool concept for a boss and they've made it difficult considering the kind of lack of things they could really do with the with the gameplay. Oh my god, that one's risky. I wonder whether it's better to sort of get him over here and then stay on this middle one. Mm. Come on. Come over here. Uh, maybe it's too risky to go up there. And there! Uh. At least I know not just don't move when he's doing them side ones. And then run up here. I was pushing my luck a bit then. Yay, we did it! That ended faster than I thought. Did I do extra damage at the end? Hooray! Let's go back and see what happened. Nick released the village chief. Yay, there he is. Welcome to my room. I finally feel like myself again. I have something to tell you. Please come back to my house. Woo! -hoo. He's just going to tell me how lazy his daughter is. Is that how I get back? The storm doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. This must be the enemies that the statue was telling me about that I can't take out with a normal sword. Some of the swings were doing double. Did you figure out why some of them were? <clears throat> That'd be good to know for the next boss. Right, anyway, gonna save while we're here. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. Let's go and see what the chief has to say. Oh, the music's changed a bit. So, he is here, I guess? Oh, no. That was his picture, though. The face of the village chief has disappeared. What was that? Oh, is he in his daughter's house, maybe? Or does he have his own house? Well, there's someone else here. I feel bad for Lisa, having been separated from her parents. Some believe after a person dies, they will, be, they will return in a different f creature. If this is true, I wonder what my mother is doing now. You are the one who set me free, right? Come, I shall show you around. Please follow me. Okay. So it's good to interact with everyone else anyway. This is the home of Dr. Leo, the inventor, and his daughter Lisa. Oh, okay. It wasn't... Her father wasn't that guy then. Her father was the inventor. Maybe? Dr. Leo was a great painter as well as an inventor. One day, many soldiers came and took Dr. Leo away. 
Lisa has not been the same since. <coughs> the house at the top of this cliff contains a painting by Dr. Leo. I think the title of the painting is something like The World of Evil. Yeah, we know about that already. Here's where the gourmet goat lives. This is a house people constructed for the goats. I am not terribly fond of it. I did see something on the ground near the corner of the fence. Oh. What? What have you seen? Something on the ground near the corner of the fence. Oh, there is a herb in the corner of the fence. Nice. Is that it? Is that all you wanted to show me? Okay, thank you. No, he's just going to stay there, I guess. He's just busy watching his wheel go around. Shall we speak to him? See if anything's changed. No wonder I was turning it the wrong way. By the way, don't you think this water mill is great? Yes, it's great. Is he in here? Oh. Oh, is he upstairs, maybe? Yeah, there he is. Okay. I feel as though I've been surrounded by darkness. In that darkness, I heard my best friend Leo. He told me to give this brown stone to a person named Nick. I don't know what the brown stone looks like, but this is a stone that I received from him the day before he disappeared. Nick received the brown stone. Okay, do I want it? Suddenly, the master's voice came thundering down from the heavens. The brown stone you have is a key to open the world of evil. This is where Death Toll lives. Come back to me with the stone. Dr. Leo only has a daughter named Lisa. I will ask my wife to look after her until Dr. Leo returns. Oh, she's already there. So... Do I need to go back into the dungeon? Oh, you scared me. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. This is our secret hut. We have hidden treasures here. Hidden treasures near here. Okay. Oh, mash. Mash the button. There's a sleeping plant. I can't find any treasure. Anyone know where the treasure is? Ah, can we go inside the plant stream? Nick placed the dream rod on the tulip's petal. Yeah, you can! Okay, let's see what plants dream about. Uh... Weird perspective buildings that I can't really understand where those archways are coming from. <clears throat> In my dreams, I can do anything I like. For example, ha! Okay. The monsters running all over in Dr. Leo's paintings. Cannot be defeated unless you have a special sword. You must find the special sword that can destroy metal. Return here once you've found the sword. Okay. Why don't you try and talk to the jewellery? I did. She told me to go and get a sword. I need to talk to it again to leave. So, we need to remember to go there. Soon. Okay, that one's just telling me how to use that. I already know how. can't go out that way anyway. What did that guy say? You look like you'd be good at crab walking. Oh my god, yeah, it's that guy. You'd be good at crab walking. I know, look at me. So cool. I'm the expert at crab walking. 
Oh, you can crab walk with the sword as well. Out in front of you, I didn't realise that. Okay. So I guess what I have to do is... I can stop crab walking. Actually, I'm going to try crab walking into the enemy. It did work! Cool. So I guess that's a way, like, if everything's in front of you, to keep moving. What am I trying to do? I don't... I think that's just going to take me back to the start, isn't it? <clears throat> Where do I get the other sword, then? I'm going to go to the place where that guy's wife is a goat. That would never have made sense until today. I'm going to go to where the guy's wife is a goat and then go back in here. And then go to the left. Oh, okay, here we go. The brown stone you received is one of six stones in this world. When all six of these stones are gathered, the gate leading to the world of evil shall be opened. Now you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. How do I do that? Don't I need to get a sword first? Okay. Do I go back in here again? No. How do I get there? That's going to take me to the boss room, right? You're going to tell me how? Still can't go through that cave. This is a sacred passage. I cannot let you through without a pass. Hmm. Okay, painting's back to normal, good. Well, maybe let's go and see the guy's wife. No? Where's the treasure? Is there anywhere else I haven't been already? Be sure to check underneath all of the tulips. A boy may have hidden something under one. He thought no one was watching, but I saw him. Okay. Is this new? No, we've been here before. Check underneath. The two rooms. How do I do that exactly? Oh, okay. Oh no, that's going back inside it. I'm confused now. How am I supposed to check underneath it? Need to unequip the dream rod first of all. Thank you for saving the villagers. They are now taking care of me. No creature likes to live alone. We like to help each other. Yay. I don't know what to do. Check underneath the tulips? How do I do that? Check underneath all the tulips. I think it's underneath that sleeping one. 
Maybe now that I've spoken to that one, I can come back here. How do I... Uh, can I push it? Ah, okay. There is a pass. Okay, nice. We're making progress again. That was a bit tricky. I've not been able to push anything else, so I didn't realise you could do that. Now we can go and talk to this kid here. Oh, I have a pass. Let me show you. A pass made by the children of Grass Valley. Oh, the pass. Where did you find it? You can go on inside now. Yay, thank you. I am tired of playing hide-and-seek. I must find something else to do. Yay, a new area. The children's hideout is literally just the side of a cliff. There is a strange bottle. Uh... Okay. We have... You will not lose any of your gems should your life meter to... reach. Reach? Uh, okay. Does that mean if I'm at full health? Well, that wasn't really progress. I need to go to the next area somehow. Well, I guess it was worth looking around at least because we've got something new. Is it something to do with this? Do I need to use the stone again? Talk to this, maybe? Oh, was there an extra menu option there, maybe? Oh, there we go. Move. Okay, cool. So... Ooh, nice. That's an interesting map system. Very interesting graphics going on there, too. Alright, now we are in area two. And it has the same music. Uh, okay. Whole load of nothing. At the minute. Oh, cool. Get some new funky music here. Oh, I didn't got any gems. Let's see what's going to happen in this town. Nick released a bird. And made a tree grow as well. Whoa! Fire breathing lizard. Cool. This is some funky music. Oh, I've run out of gems. There! The tree licked me!
Yeah, better not stand directly in front of that. Ah, I thought that was out. Level up. Oh my god. Are they licking me or grabbing me? I can't really tell. Oh my god, never ending supply of weird, slimy statues. That's a lot of hit points for that one. Nick released a dog! And grew another tree. Oh, look at him. Cute dog. Oh, I guess they don't count towards the uh, completion for the area. Next level, 2000 XP. Oh my god, I'm miles off. Let's see how much XP an enemy gives me. 10? Is the number that comes out the top of the enemy the experience that I'm getting? Or is that how many gems I've collected? Let's see. 11. 11. Yeah, that's how much XP I'm getting. Okay. So these ones are worth 11. It was just a coincidence that the... Ah! I can't attack these without them hitting me at all. There we go. doing really badly with those enemies. Right, let's keep going. Let's see what's new. There's the bird. Talk with the stump. Please listen carefully. Okay. This is Greenwood. This land was developed by a dog named Turbo. He created this town so animals could come here and feel safe. Turbo was the name of one of Professor Leo's pets, if I remember right. Wait, there was something else as well, wasn't there? There was a dog. Was that dog actually Turbo? Please, come take a walk with me. Yes. Alright, let's go. Of course the dog wants to go for a walk. The island over there is a graveyard. My twin brother is the island guard. This place used to be the Green Theatre. A group called the Woodston Trio used to be a very popular band. That's it! Thank you for walking with me. Oh. One more thing. We animals communicate not only with our voices, but also... If I step like this and wag my tail, it means thank you. Did you already know that? Oh, that's cute. I have as much fun walking people as they do walking me. Oh, I love him! Oh, I can't pet the dog, though. I guess the orb can be petting the dog. There we go. So cute. I love all these little bits of detail in the game. They didn't need to do all that, but it's nice. It's worth killing them for the experience, I guess. I've got to stop trying to step into them, though. Yep, zero out of ten, can't pet the dog. Let's see what's on this side. More lizards. 
I think they're lizards anyway, I don't really know. Oh, it's here again. Why is the sword, sword, sword such short range? Get more experience for killing these plants. What a weird, like, attack. Weird range. Oh my god, come on, I just want to get this out of the way. I don't even care if I die. There we go. What have we rescued this time? A squirrel! A small voice is coming from a hole. Oh, I'm starving. If someone can bring me something to eat, I will exchange this powerful sword with them. Yes! Then we can go back to the first area and use a new sword in the dungeon. I need it. I guess we have to go and find some food. Oh my god, that's a lot of things. Whoa. Some good use of magic there, I think. I'm really taking a lot of hits though. Okay, that built a bridge. Can we go under here? Really? You can't go under the waterfall? Zero out of ten. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that as well. I wonder whether... Oh my god, no, that didn't help. <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen. Alright, let's go and see the squirrel. Although I don't think I've got any food for him yet. There's a treasure chest. Where was the squirrel? Looks like you can get over there at some point as well. Ah, uh, in here. Oh wow, he's got his own house, cool. Welcome to the Squirrels Exchange Store. I'm hungry, if you bring me something to eat, I will trade you something. Okay, uh... Do you want a herb? Probably not. No. Let's see what's up here. You've already got food. Just eat that. Dun, 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 dun. Back in we go then. Funky music. Oh yeah, I don't really need to go this way, but I'll get the experience while I'm here. And the gems. That's always useful for using magic. Despite it being kind of clunky. Uh, down here? That's where I went last time, wasn't it? Oh, still got hit. I really don't feel like that character's hit noise suits this character. Like, it suits the Act Razor character more because he looks like a kind of guy, but this just looks like a little kid. So it feels a little bit out of place. Don't you think? Or is it just me being picky? Okay, that works. Yay, we cleared it. What do we get now? I released another bird. <clears throat> ah! I must be able to turn off those waterfalls somehow.
<laughs> These enemies aren't very clever, they just look to the side. You will never get me doing that, you're just fighting the wall. Oh my god. These guys, on the other hand. Oh, nice. Is it both of them? Oh, it's just that side. But anyway, we got it. 150 gems. That'll be really good. What's going on here? I don't even want to go anywhere near them spikes, if I can help it. <laughs> I can just get them to go next to this and then just go up the top. Alright, I'll just keep doing that. Okay, they do follow a pattern. I am watching over the world. Please take this. <clears throat> okay, cool. Nearly leveled up then. Only one more. Yeah, there we go. Level 2000. Not level 2000, but 2000 XP. And we freed something else, or we made something happen. I released a mole! Ah, he came up through the floor. Nice. I am the creature who brings light to darkness. I will help you upon your return. Do you think we should go and see him now? Let's do it. Oh, pressed the wrong button. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and see what the mole has to say. The birds tell me many stories. I am thankful for them because I can't move from this spot. The birds tell me the Lost Lost Side Marsh has three shrines. One is called Water, another is Fire, and the third is Light. Okay, that means nothing to me yet. There's the mole. Oh, we get to actually go into his cave. Ah, <laughs> brilliant! Even though I don't like it, I am from the sky, just like you. I light up the darkness. You cheer up everyone. Let's work together to revive the world. The creature who lights up darkness joined Nick. By the way, why don't we go to the second basement of the water shrine? You will now be able to see monsters which you could not see without me. Okay. Can I go anywhere else down here? It looks like there's more to explore. Uh... Oh yeah, souls. Soul of light, soul of magician. Cool. We rescued the soul of a mole. What an interesting game. I haven't got any food for the squirrel yet though. Look at me doing my crab walk. How cool am I? Let's crab walk into the dungeon. And fight another lizard. How much XP do I need now? 3,200. That's going to be a while. Oh, nowhere to go over there. I thought I might have unlocked some other path, but apparently not. So let's just keep going around here. And we should be able to go further down than we did before. Not that I actually tried to go down before. But now we can go in here. Okay, that's what that does. That's cool. Can I use both at once? Yeah, nice. And I got loads of gems as well, so I can actually use some magic. trying to line the magic up. There we go. Maybe I should save the magic for the trees down there because I hate them ones. <coughs> I 
can use it on these. Maybe that's what it expects you to do. Stop moving! Oh, fine. I'll deal with you too. The slow way. We rescued something else? A crocodile! And made an island. Oh, is it going to be a platform for me? Cool. Nick found a strange bottle again. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, it's the same as before. I guess I've just got two of them now. I still don't really understand what it does. Maybe the instructions say, actually. I've got them here. Because they didn't have a word cap in the instructions. <coughs> the next sword apparently is called the Psycho Sword. Okay, strange bottle. Though gem, though gem becomes zero when the hero has been defeated, use of this item will prevent loss of gems. You may use this only one time. Oh, so if I die, I get to keep the same amount of gems that I had before. Okay. There's a whole bunch of different magic spells. Look at all them. I've only got one. This is going to be a big game. Uh, we also get light arrows, magic flare, rotator, spark bomb, flame pillar, tornado, and phoenix, which is a question mark. It's not showing me what that one's going to be. Alright. Let's carry on. I feel like I'm missing something because there was something to do. Uh, down the bottom. Uh. It's a trick. Not a very good one. <laughs> That's it. I released another squirrel. And they got their little tree house as well. That's so cute. I love that the squirrels have tree houses. Uh, okay, we've got another squirrel and a tree house to go with it. Now, uh, what's going on in here? Nothing? Oh, it's a trick! I knew it. Well, I didn't know it. Do you have to touch them first? That, no, you can tell from the colour. Okay. That was easy. Nick released a mole. Not one of the moles with the spirit again. Unless it makes the light even stronger. Is that it? Alright, let's carry on round. Weirdly, not many enemies here. There's some squares. Really? Nothing? Where did that take me out? Okay, this is new. Okay. That's the challenge with that one. Still only have to do one hit, though. Nick released a deer. Whoa! And a whole stage for it. Okay, that's part of the music, sh music show that they were talking about earlier. Nice. This probably isn't the best place to stand, but it seems to be working. Or oh, aiming down is better.
And is that a shortcut? Yeah, we're back to the start. Okay, I'm going to loop around because there was definitely something at the bottom down here. That I didn't get before. Should we fight these? I remember there was one there. There we go. Ow! I thought I understood the uh, direction of them. Right, down here. There's something down there. There it is. Ah, uh, I hate these. Really? If you do it too fast. Whoa! Alright, there's something here. Nick received delicious seeds. I can give them to the squirrel. Now we've got to loop all the way back round again. There'll be nothing to do for a while. If this was GDQ, this would be like, okay, time to read donations. Time for a chat update. Is anyone still watching? What do we do here? Do these move? It looks like you should push them. Nope. Okay. Well, I took them out from the safety of the other side of the wall, at least. Oh, okay. I put a treasure chest on that side. Nice. Kind of like a mirror. Yeah, mixture's still here. What else are you up to this evening? Oh, there you go. You answered my question. Playing Resi Zero. Interesting. That's a very frustrating game, I found. Having to do item management between the two characters. How are you finding it? Okay, we got a new funky area. With new funky mode. Ha! Huh, you're watching at work. That's the best time to watch Twitch streamers. I do it as well sometimes. Nick released a dog. It's not Turbo. What do you do for work? Are you working from home? Is that why you can watch Twitch? I hate the tree things. God, there really doesn't need to be that many of them. Ugh. Never ending tree annoying enemies. There we go. Finally. Let's get rid of him as well then. Anything else up here? Are these fake? Nope, they're all real. Looks like you should be able to get down there at some point. Anything over here? I'm just exploring a bit. I know I opened up that area. But... Let's check everywhere else out first. Software engineering. I knew it. Oh, you're not at home. You got headphones on, though, right? Are you working on anything interesting that you're allowed to share? Yay! Oh, cool. When you go through there, it restores all your health as well. Of course, it's okay. Carry on.
So let's continue. Because that all was down there. So we're going to head all the way back around again. Oh, that doesn't count towards one of the things then. 3,200. We're getting close to leveling up. It sounded miles away at the beginning. Ooh, now where are we? I can't tell if that's lava or a red carpet. Okay, we can't take those enemies out yet. So they need the stronger sword, I guess. I could have just hit him with the sword. He was standing right next to me. Received a herb. A medical herb. Right, and I have to do the same here. Minus the scorpions. <gasps> I recognise those skulls. They're from Actraiser. They fly around in the overworld near the end of the game. And uh, terrorise everyone. I never wanted to see them again. I released a dog. Whoa, and a whole picnic table to go with it. Nothing inside? What? That's not fair. Well, at least it didn't try and kill me, I suppose. Ah! Scorpion's after me. Oh, nice, I can shoot through walls. <clears throat> it's like Pac-Man now. Ah! It's chasing me! It is like Pac-Man. Went the wrong way. What's going on now? At least another dog. Oh no, in the graveyard. That's that dog's brother that's looking after the graveyard. Oh my god, this place is a maze. What? Why are they becoming shadows? What's going on? And they still hurt me, even in shadow form. That's not fair. There we go. What did we do that time? I released a crocodile again. There's a lot more to do now in the overworld. I haven't been back there for a while. Is that it for down here? Hey, another subscriber. Wow, three in one stream. Thank you so much, uh, Kev96Core. Thank you. I didn't even know you were here. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Everyone putting their Amazon subscriptions to good use. Yes, it was a prime one. I had to double check then. Uh, how do I get in there? I can see the steps, but I can't get there. I think that one's just for scorpions. Okay, we can come back there later. This one's a normal one. I'm just going to stay here. It's fine, it's fine. I just leveled up. That was close. Thank you for your work. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for the, for the support. It is a lot of work, but I really enjoy it, so... I'm happy to carry on making stuff. Forever. As long as people still enjoy it. 
I'm gonna keep trying to change things up as well to make it a bit more interesting. And to stop myself from getting burnt out too. That's always important. Right, where do we go now? Deeper into the dungeon. I keep thinking this lava just looks like a red carpet. Oh my god. I'm nearly dead. I released another mole. We've got so much to do when we go back to this village. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that was going to hurt me. Whoops. Okay, let's save while we're here. Let's jump back in. I think we have a while to go back to where we were before. In fact, shall we go and have a look at the overworld again? Since we died. Let's see what's changed. Did you see health regen? Oh, I don't know actually. Maybe. I'll try that when we go back inside. This is a restaurant. Would you like to see the menu? Yes. Let me tell you our special of the day. You! I'm just kidding, don't be offended. I don't think offended's the right word, I was terrified! Don't eat me! This restaurant is famous for delicious food and fruit drinks. I can tell what something is just by its smell. Alright, let me start my job. Where's he going? Let me start doing my job. Let's go and see. From right, I smell fresh air. From down? I smell a mole! What is that smell? I smell something strange coming from... up. It's around here somewhere. I smell something really strange. There's an outhouse? Ugh. Really? Oh, this is our bathroom! <laughs> Thank you for walking with me. I'll tell you a secret. I can smell some armour north of here. Okay, that's more important. He took us to the bathroom! Ugh. Gross. Well, we can give the squirrel the food now, anyway. I smell delicious seeds. I do have some. I have to cook them first, don't I? There we go. Hey! Thank you for the follow! You subscribed before you followed? Wow, thank you so much. Alright, delicious seeds. Let's give them to the squirrel. I will exchange this sword with the seeds. Nick received the Psycho Sword! Whoa. The seeds were very good. Yay, we got a new sword. Whoa, going from level 1 to level 5. Invincible monsters are temporarily paralysed. Cool. Alright, we got a new sword, finally. Let's see what else is going on here. I spoke to that bird before, I think. Yep. You thought you already did. Well, I appreciate you for double checking. Uh, I'm a member of the famous Woodston Trio. We usually have a variety show at this theatre. But I'm missing my two sidekicks. Don't worry, I'll find them for you. I think we've spoke to them before. We tell the trees what is taking place, and in turn they give us seeds to eat. So I guess you say we have a sort of give and take relationship. The birds tell me many stories. I am thankful for them because I can't move from this spot. The birds tell me the Lost Side Marsh has three shrines. We've already read this. One is cold water, one is fire, and the third is light. Alright, we can go on the back of the crocodile now and cross over here, I think. Who are you? Are you trying to walk over me? Yes. You have some nerve. Okay, but don't hurt me. I hope I didn't hurt him. And his friend was just fine with it anyway. I am guard in the graveyard. I hear someone snoring, but I can't tell from which direction the sound is coming. Uh, can I interact with any of the graveyards? No. Nope. There's a bird. We tell the tree. Oh, it's the same one. Is there anything to do here? Someone's snoring somewhere. Maybe we come back here later. 
Oh yeah, those moles. We've already been to this one. Visit all the mole holes. There's another one. This one's new. There's one. You must bring me something that once belonged to Monmo. Who's Monmo? And a squirrel. I hear someone snoring. I cannot tell who is making the noise. Zzz. It is the tree. You know what we can do with things that are sleeping? We can go into items. Choose the dream rod. And then, if I press the right button, Nick placed the dream rod upon the stump. Now we can go into the dreams of the tree stump. Oh, he dreams of being a full-sized tree. One day. Oh, okay. I recognise this place. I like this dreamscape music. Even though I'm only a stump in real life, I often dream that I'm a bird and I can fly wherever I wish. Oh. Okay, so if we go back to the start there now, we might be able to uh, find something in the dog's toilet. I'm not sure if I want to. Right, we've already spoke to him. We haven't spoke to this one though. This is a restaurant. Would you like to see the menu? Oh yeah, he's going to pretend that he wants to eat me. Oh my god! Don't eat me! I'm just kidding. Please don't be offended. Let's go down here. See some more moles. Boo! Come on, aren't you surprised? Phew. I was very surprised. And there's uh, nothing here yet. I'm sure there will be later. Okay, you got me twice. Ha ha ha. Oh, no. I've already spoken to you twice. Come on, at least take a look. Oh my god, come on, really? You don't even give me a choice. I have to listen to this joke again. I know. Okay, I'm never talking to the dogs again. Uh, have we been in this one? Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Hello. Turbo the dog used to live with a human named Dr. Leo. Turbo learnt a great many things from him. He used branches from trees to make a tool called a raft. The dog did? That's a clever dog. That's a very clever dog. Right. How do we get back there? We've got to go all the way around here. Yeah, there we go. Nick received ice armor. Nice. It is worth two shields. You can cross fire without damage. Ah, that's what I needed to get past that part in the dungeon. Alright, I think we're ready to carry on. Let's see where this goes. Oh yeah, we can take a shortcut. Let's carry on. Now with the ice armor equipped as well. We need to get back inside first. Uh, let's see what we need. 4,500. Remaining two. Monster's lair, remaining two. Is that the entire lair itself? Oh yeah, we should have a better sword. It just looks the same. That's a bit of a shame. I thought it would look different. Uh, go down again? I guess. This is where we were before, anyway. <clears throat> Here. Yeah, I can walk across it now. Yeah, they take a lot less hits as well, though. Let's see whether beating these changes it to remain in one. Yay! There's another member of the band. It's like um, Majora's Mask bringing the band back together. Oh, remain in seven. So it just depends on the different area that you're in then. Huh. 
I don't need to worry about the fire anymore. What? Am I standing in a bad spot? There you go, that's better. What did it do? I didn't see anything. Was it the uh, gem down here? Here, take this light arrow magic. Would you like to return to Greenwood? No, not yet. Light arrow magic. Should we uh, use that instead of the flame one? Necessary gems eight. Shoots light arrows in all directions. I'll save that for a fight. What's going on here? Should we start from the left and work our way around? Alright, let's try. Whoa, okay, it's strong. Maybe a bit wasteful though. What's the point of these? Are they going to attack me or just bounce around? Just bounce around, apparently. Alright. Let's have a look on the other side, then. Nothing going on here? Not yet. Can we take them out? Oh, we can stun them. Okay. Doesn't quite count as destroying them, though. Yet. Maybe there's an even better sword that you can get later on. Because I presume you can go back and revisit the earlier dungeons because there was some of those monsters layer bits. Okay, not even the powerful magic you can get rid of them. I thought it might be able to. Right, and that carries on that side. Where am I going? Uh, probably not a good place to stand. Nick released a bird. There is a bird sleeping in front of Turbo's gravestone. No. I thought Turbo was the other dog. Is there two? I don't want to waste all my gems. This magic seems really good though. Hey, Chrono Moogle, good to see you here. How are you doing? And yeah, the German version's so much cheaper. I ended up getting the uh, I ended up getting the American one because the PAL English version is ridiculously expensive. So that's the closest I could do. Well, that's that's the version I'm playing. I would love to try and get it at some point in English. Yeah, you're so lucky being able to speak German though. So you've already played the game before then. What what do you think of it? I'm really really enjoying it so far. I love the the uh, jump in between the dungeon and the overworld and finding out the story with all the people that you rescue. It's a really cool idea. Uh, one thing that's quite funny, the re yeah, there's a lot of reused Actraiser stuff. I noticed the uh, the skull enemies are the same as the ones from Actraiser as well, from the uh, from the ice area near the end of that game. They were just floating around in in here. It's like, hey, I recognise them. Uh, okay. Where's the enemies for this one? Are they up here? Does that go anywhere? Apparently, it does. It's still saying I'm missing two. And there's one of them. Ow. Is this new? Oh, well, that's a shortcut. Cool. But we haven't been down here before. Still says there's two missing. Or have we? 
something here. I don't know where I am. I wish there was a map. I think we've already been here. Yeah. Don't know why you would need a shortcut to come back here, really. Unless you die and it's just a faster way to get back up. We haven't been down here. Oh, we already killed everything there. We just didn't activate it. Nick released a squirrel. Another squirrel. Uh, feels like a predecessor to Terranigma and with notes of Illusion of Gaia. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like you can tell that they already knew exactly what they wanted to make. Hey, here's the raft that the dog made. Nick began to hear a small voice. We are rafts made from the branches of trees and greenwood. If you cannot prove that you are from Greenwood, we will not let you ride. How do I do that? Have I got anything? Uh, I have this. I uh, don't know what else is from Greenwood. The paintbrush, I guess. Does that not count? Does that count? No. Nope. It does not want to let me on. Maybe I have to... I could have used that letter that the kids had in the treehouse thing. Alright, let's try on the side. That's just another loop as well. Back here again. I'm lost. Back to the overworld then, I guess. There might be something to uncover there. It says there's one remaining. That was the one that I couldn't do just then. Ah! I thought I had enough time to get past. Yeah, I've already done all this. I haven't got a way of killing the scorpions yet. I presume you get one at some point. Oh yeah, I can use that to get back. The game's simple in some ways, but quite impressive and very atmospheric. Yeah, I love the atmosphere. And the storylines as well. I love all the different characters. Even this music's from Actraiser as well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button, though. I am Billy, leader of the Woodstain Trio. Our show is really exciting. Wait, you haven't got all the members yet? We usually have a variety show at this theatre, but I'm missing... I'm missing my two sidekicks. You're only missing one of them. Right, what else is new? There's a new dog. Oh, there's a bird. Yeah, that's it. The bird is asleep. You know what that means. Go into the dream. Nick touched the small bird with the dream rod. Let's see what the bird dreams of. Turbo refused to give his life to the evil one, Death Toll. He fought Death Toll, trying to save Greenwood and all its animals, but he was defeated. Aww. That's sad. There he is, the ghost of Turbo. Nick, go to the Light Shrine and release the Guardian of the Woods. You will find what you're looking for. There is a bird, Tiki, that may tell you how to use the raft. You must protect Greenwood now that I'm gone. Okay. Not this way, though? Uh, you told me to go up here, right? Turbo, wait! Okay. Here lies Turbo, builder of Greenwood. Bring something that used to belong to Turbo, they might help you. There are some leaves from Greenwood buried with Turbo. Okay. There's a molehill up there, but I can't access it yet. Uh, of 
Have we been down here? No, I don't think we've been down this one. I'm always digging in the ground. Sometimes I dig up strange things. I just dug up some dog bones to the... That way. I got scared and reburied them. Oh no. I might pinch one and use it to uh, get further in the dungeon. Although, doesn't seem like I can go anywhere. Uh, uh, do I need to go down this one? Are you going to let me through? You must bring something that once belonged to Monmo. I need to go down there. The leaves of green wood are found under the dog bones. Okay, good. I just needed the leaves. Are you sure this music isn't from Actraiser? I'm pretty sure it is. It definitely is, right? I'm not going mad, am I? I'm going to look that up later, though. I'm going to look at that right now, because I've only just finished playing Actraiser, and this sounds extremely familiar. Maybe it's just very similar. Maybe it's just really similar. There is something that sounds very similar to it in that tracer, but maybe it's not exactly the same. Uh, what am I doing now? I've got to go back into the dungeon again. I guess I could have taken the shortcut, never mind. Let's level up a bit. We can take this shortcut. Maybe it's just using the same instruments. Yeah. Because I was really confused when I booted it up and I thought I was hearing the same song. And then I thought to myself, like, yeah, Yuzo Koshiro hasn't got anything to do with this one, has he? Uh, I don't think he did, anyway. Am I going the right way? I think I'm taking the long way around. Yeah. I don't know where the thing is to teleport back to the uh, bit I was in before.
I'm going to go back and uh, find the teleporter. There we go. And we can get our health back, so... F and we can get our health back, too. There we go. That's where I needed to go, inside the pyramid. Hey, Beta Mark's here. Yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, probably won't be streaming much longer, maybe another 10 or 15 minutes. I've been going for quite a while already. Uh, right, we can make some progress now because we got some leaves. So now we can go on the raft, because it should trust me. Those leaves are from Greenwood! Turbo symbol. We will take you to the light shrine. Yay. Alright, making progress. Whee. i got to remember my new magic attack as well. Although, these enemies aren't really a problem. Alright, there we go. We unlocked something else in the overworld. Nick released a mole. Yeah, you know, we can go back down that path again when we get back. Some of the enemies are pretty stupid. You can just stand to the side and they won't bother you. Look at that. Again, just switch on turbo fire and I can just stand there and take them out. There we go. Pro gameplay. I wonder if there's any speedruns of this game because this game is massive. I'm still only on the second level and I've been playing for three hours. And there's six, apparently. You enjoyed the recent podcast episode and the interview. Did you watch the interview as well? I really enjoyed doing that the other night. With games you loved. And he said he wants to get me back on to do it again sometime. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Hopefully, he's going to turn it into a regular thing where he interviews a bunch of people in the uh, retro gaming space. So that'll be cool. If he goes through with it. But I'm glad you enjoyed the podcast. I'm going to try and do them regularly. Going forward. Should I be wasting my magic? Maybe I shouldn't be wasting that magic, because that takes up a lot. Let's swap to the fire one. Oh yeah, I need to face the right way if I'm using the fire one. Or maybe it doesn't make any difference. No way, 1 hour 34. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, right, 100% is 2 hour 46, okay. That's quite long for a speedrun, so there isn't really a faster way to... I'm going to swap back to the other magic. It's stronger. Whoa, a lot stronger. Ah! Okay, don't touch the walls. Is that going to deactivate them? Oh, some of them. No, all the gems, they're on the wrong side. There you go, there's one of the enemies from Actraiser. The creepy skull face things. I hated them so much. Uh, also, don't stop the history videos because you enjoy them and appreciate the effort. Thank you. I know, everyone who watches them says they really enjoy them, but it's just YouTube does not pick them up at all for some reason, which is really sad. But I definitely won't stop, because I really enjoy making them as well. Like I said in the Games You Loved interview, I really enjoy doing all the research and stuff for it too. So don't worry, I'm not going to stop. In fact, I've been writing one for the Game & Watch, which will be the next one. I'm not sure when yet, but I'm in the process of writing it. Uh, have I... Oh, I thought I had it here. I must have put it away, but I actually bought... Um, the very first Game & Watch from Chris from Games You Loved at the market in L London a few months ago. 
You need to do thumbnails with lots of red arrows and cleavage. Yeah. Um, uh, Chrono said something as well. I think it's so weird that even Yuzo Koshiro says Quinta is due to a return or remakes, but the creators remain totally lost. SE have the rights, but won't touch anything apart from Actraiser. Yeah, it's so sad. Uh, I guess there's certain things about the other Quintet games that they need to ask for permission for, but they can't contact anyone. I don't know. You know I've been doing a lot of research into it, and yeah, it's really messy. I wish they could. Like, Even if it was just something like Limited Run releasing a collection of the Quintet SNES trilogy, like they're doing with um, Rocket Knight Adventures, even something like that would be really cool. Oh no, I ran out of magic. Whoa, as soon as I said that. Yeah, I would think that all the rights just went to Square Enix. So they should be having to do something with the others. I know people have been trying to get Terra Enigma re-released for a long time. Or remade. Because the artist's on Twitter and she's always posting about it and there was a whole anniversary thing recently. So, it might be possible one day, maybe. Fingers crossed. I'm in a good spot there. Ah! Ah! Apart from that one coming up behind me. Ah, I hate the ones that go invisible. What a waste. Wasted my magic. Whoa. And I've run out again though. This magic spell is a lot better than the other one, but it's also more expensive. Uh, it says there's still two left. And the text needs to say something like, you won't believe what happens next. Ugh, I can't do it. It makes me feel dirty. I hope people appreciate the fact that I don't use uh, click, clickbait headlines. I released another squirrel. Yay, he's got a friend now. Is that all? What is that? Is that an enemy? It just bounces around. Whoa! I nearly went into that one. There is one more layer remaining. Does that include down here? No, that's a separate area. Okay. There's one more up here somewhere. I don't think that's actually something that you can hurt. Uh, I'm scared to go near it though! Whoa! Okay, there's one there. Maybe I can't do it yet. I might need a stronger sword or something. <clears throat> uh, there's some theorising that Nintendo owns part of the rights since they released Illusion of Time and Terra Enigma in Europe. And their contracts were quite restricted. Oh yeah, the reason that Terra Enigma didn't come out in America was because the American division for Enix had closed down, hadn't it? So Nintendo took over. I didn't think about that. But yeah, it shouldn't affect Soulblazer, because that is purely an Enix published game, right? Uh, this is weird. It's pitch black, apart from the spinning circle in front of me. I haven't seen a room like this before. It's making me dizzy. Uh. I wish there was a way of seeing how many enemies were left to come out of one of the bases. I think that would be cool. Because you can be there for a while, just wondering, like, when is this going to close? There we go. Alright. Making our way up. Why do those big light ball things not actually illuminate anything? I must be near the boss now, surely.
Yay. Yeah, they just didn't think about modern features back then. Uh, Nick released a crocodile. Yay. Anything else? Oh yeah, the noise when the enemies come out is the same as when the villagers start building things in Actraiser. I've been enjoying picking up on all the same things. And that ooh 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 noise when you get hit, even though it doesn't suit this character at all. Nick released a mole. Oh, not a mole hill, an actual mole this time, just on the surface. I don't know what that one did. They did something. Uh, there's two more layers in this area. Whoa, there's one. That one only takes three. Is that it? Okay, let's go up. Uh, and back down again? Or around here? I have no idea. Okay, up here. Is this the boss? Alright, here we are. Boss number two. Oh my god. Okay, he's crazy, but... Uh, as long as you stay just diagonally up from his head, I guess you're safe. That was a lot faster than the first one. Alright. Round two? Yeah, okay, he's gonna spit water everywhere. And magic does not work. Oh my god! <laughs> His erg sounds manly because he's a god, okay. He just chose this. Yeah, the, well, maybe the rest of this boss gets harder. But. Uh, I don't know which side to go. I guess that's the boss side. Yeah. Uh, but actually, I'm going to go back to the town and do the new stuff. We can see what this mole does. My name is Monmo the Mole. Okay, that's what the mole down in the middle mole hill wanted. This place is so bright, I cannot see. Would you please lead me to my house? I will follow you. Please take... Uh, please take to the home that leads to my home. All right. Come down here. I think it's the middle one. No, keep going. Can you come this way? Oh no. Come up. One. And then go this way. Okay. That should be it. Don't need to speak to him there. Has he gone? I don't know what happened. You must bring me something that once belonged to Monmo. What about Monmo himself? That is him, isn't it? Come on, we've got to try again. Maybe the translation's a bit off. And up. Right now, speak. Please don't walk so fast, I can't keep up with you. Is this your house then? I'll give you a present. Could you wait here? Okay. Are you actually coming back or do you want me to go down there with you? 
I don't know what to do now. Do I stay? Let's go and see. What? Did a female mole come by here? No, I'm living down here alone. Oh, I think I may have heard this story. What? There was once a cute female mole living around here, but she was taken away by evil creatures. I'm scared. We've got a treasure chest here. Nick received mole's ribbon. Is that Monmo's ribbon? Okay, we're back here again on the other side of the graveyard. That treasure chest wasn't there before, and I don't think the path opened up before either. I became so scared I dug a tunnel to the house next door. Okay. Well, we've already been everywhere here, right? Oh, that's new. Follow me. Sorry, crocodile. Don't mind me. Where are you taking me? Stand back and watch. I'm watching. You just headbutt in a tree. Oh, something came out. What did you think? I hope this helps. Well, let's see what they give me this time. The Master's Emblems are all over the world. They are fairly difficult to find. Collect all eight. Uh, collect all eight emblems. Will not require gems when casting magic. Eh? This will make fighting much easier if you collect all eight. Bring them to me. Uh, okay. That's very broken English. How do I know how many emblems I've got? Is it that? Maybe. Uh, anyway, one of these squirrels got a friend. Not that one. There's something else we can do now. I need to take a walk and work some, work, work some of this food off. Okay, where are you going? Oh, he's just following me. Ah. Come and meet the other squirrels then. There's a new one. Thank you for releasing me. I won't give you this. Nick received the Master's Emblem C. Okay, there's one of them. Thank you for releasing me. Those seeds were very good. So... Do we have to do anything with the emblem? There it is. This item screen reminds me so much of the Great Cave Offensive from Kirby's Fun Pack. Emblem C. If you collect all eight of these, you will become an expert at magic. Okay. So it's not something I need to have equipped then. Uh, I guess I should equip the mole ribbon, because that's where we're going to go next. I love all this overworld stuff, like piecing everything together, it's so fun. Uh, okay. Now we can give the ribbon to this guy. That's Monmo's ribbon. Alright, so I will move if you give that to me. And then there's another one here. I didn't know that he was a ghost. Both of us fell in love with Monmo. One day Monmo was captured by evil. He tried to rescue her, but never came back. Oh, he was actually dead the whole time. Suddenly he appeared. I had no idea what happened to him. Anyways, take this bracelet and receive and revive Greenwood. Lots of fun in the playthrough. Going to go to bed. No worries. Thank you so much for, for coming on. It was nice to talk to you. Have a nice sleep. And uh, yeah, try and join me again next Tuesday as well. I'll be carrying on. Maybe doing another two dungeons. I received the shield bracelet. I'm a bit jealous that he won Monmo's heart, but I hope they're happy now. Are they both in heaven? I hear someone snoring. It's the tree. I've already done that. There once was a raft made from the bark of my branches. You must find this raft. I believe it might be able to help you. Yeah, I've already done that. Why does he just want to keep jumping out and scaring me? Uh, okay, I think we've done everything here now. I can probably go back and try the boss again. And then maybe call it a night myself, because I've been streaming for three hours now. Let's see what that dog has to say. Don't walk around here. Oh. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready to try again. Let's save first. You are 
are doing well and do not give up. I'll try my best. I can't remember how to get to the boss. Up here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, the first part's easy. Just gotta stand to the side of him, like that. This one's so easy, you barely need to do anything. And the hitbox must be really big on the sword, too. Alright, that was done. That was quick. Oh, we haven't got any gems. We can't use any magic. Although, I don't know whether you can actually use magic on the bosses anyway. Right, so just do not stand directly in any direction. That's it. Okay, that was easy. Now let's see what this guy is going to do. The same, but with fire. Oh no, he's a lot faster. Okay. Uh, uh, item. Better get that herb. Is this path going to be different? Maybe I should use that? As a block, maybe? Maybe just stay here and keep mashing. His health's slower than mine. Ah, yeah, that worked. Yeah, that guy was attempting to chase me. Is that it, really? What? No way, that was so much easier. I think I did just cheese the end of that boss, though. Nick released Woods Guardian. I am the Guardian of the Woods. Thank you for releasing me. I will give you the green stone upon your return. Yay! Boss complete. That was a very, very easy boss. Alright, anything else to do here? Monsters Lair remaining zero. We did it. That was a lot easier than I thought. I was half expecting this area to light up again, though. Ha! Huh. Proto Deku Tree. Yeah. There we go. We can just leave through here and save. Alright, let's go. I am the guardian of the woods. I have been watching the world for a long time. A dog named Turbo has buried something near my roots. You will need this green stone someday, so please take it. Nick received the green tree stone. I think I've already... Is there something else? I think I've already picked everything up, right? Maybe? Yeah, I haven't got enough. Is that it? Do I have to show the stone off? Oh, that takes me about there again. <clears throat> I think there's still some things I'm missing then. Ah. Oh, yeah, he's gonna pretend to try and eat me again. How funny. You can actually move the, um, Whatever that is, the soul. When you're in these cutscenes, you can just move it around separately. I'm not sure what to do now. I've got the uh, stone. 
should be giving me the option to move somewhere else, right? It said something's buried near his roots. Do I need to get a dog to sniff it out, maybe? up from underneath any of them or something. Oh, the band is back together. Let's start the show. This is something I didn't do yet. Even though you are our only audience, we will try our best. Please watch the two other guys. Okay. They're transforming. They all transformed into squirrels. Okay. Go on then. Do your show. Hey, don't walk around. You're annoying me. How did you like it? For our next number, you must try and guess the real squirrel, me. We will move around, and if you choose correctly, you will win a prize. Please talk with whom you think the real squirrel is. Here we go. Okay. I'm keeping my eye on him. I think it was this one. Let's see if I am really Billy. Yay! You're right. Okay, I will give you a present. I got a herb. That's it. I hope you liked our show. See you later. I hope you liked our show. It was a very good show, thank you. Excellent show. Well done. I need to take a walk and work off some of this food. Why am I following you? Well, it's purely coincidence. Okay, is it? sure what to do now. I thought it would trigger something. Am I missing something? I don't know what else to do now. Turbo buried something in his roots. There's nothing here. Any ideas? Is there something I still need to do here? It says there's one monster's lair remaining. Maybe it's something I didn't find. wish there was a map. Because I'm sure I've been everywhere. It's telling me there's still one more layer to defeat. Uh, walkthrough says it will tell you Turbo Buried the green stone near its roots. Yeah, I've got the green stone. What do I need to do with it? I've got it here, look. World of Evil will appear when you've collected six of them. When I picked up the brown stone, I went back inside the tree and then it asked me if I wanted to move somewhere else. Is it something obvious? Tell me if it's 
Tell me if it's something obvious or not. If it's something really obtuse, then tell me. But if it's something I can figure out, then don't. I must be missing something in the main area. Right, everything here is done. Okay, tell me, is it something in this overworld, or is it something in the dungeon? At least I'll know where to look then, because I think I'm missing something in the dungeon. Because when I go in here, it says that there's one remaining. But I can't see, because this stupid light just keeps spinning around. It's not to do with this, is it? I can't actually do anything with that, except freeze it. Okay, something in the overworld. Right, let's go back there then, poke around a bit more. Let's see. Do I need to show that gem to someone? Let's talk to them again. What did you think? I hope this helped. to wait for that one to go back over there again. Fresh air, a mole, and this is where he goes to the toilet. You already told me this. I smell something really strange. There is an outhouse. That's such a weird way of saying that it's where they go to the bathroom. I can smell some armor north of here. Uh, don't know what to do. I've already done this. Okay, this is Greenwood. This land was developed by a dog named Turbo. He created this town so animals could come here and feel safe. I know that already. I'm trying to just think what haven't I already done here. What about this dog? Please come take a walk with me. Okay, maybe now that there's more stuff here, he's going to take me somewhere else. Because I did this right at the start when there wasn't much. Over there's the graveyard. My twin brother is the island guard. Okay, this is the show. Yep. We've done that. That's it. Thank you for walking. Oh, one more thing. We animals communicate not only with our voices, but also by wagging their tails. Yep. Okay, so it wasn't that then. I'm pretty sure we've done everything here. Okay, Mixture, tell me what I'm missing. It's getting late and I want to finish this without having to lock up a guide myself, I guess. Okay. What do I need to do? What am I not getting? Yeah, copy and paste it. I can just read it in there. Is it long? Is it something to do with the squirrels? Do I need to take the squirrel somewhere? Uh, go down to the crocodile and the island with the deer and the stump on it. Okay. Uh, cross over and talk to the deer. Follow it to the squirrel's house. Oh, okay. I've done that already. What's this? The master's emblems are all over the world. They are fairly difficult to find. Collect all eight. 
this will make fighting much easier. Okay, then what? Oh, I've already done that too. I've already got that. That's here. Do I need to do something with this? Do I take that in here? No. Uh, yeah, I might overlock myself. Uh, what's this area called? Wood, Woods of Greenwood. Uh, these walkthroughs are so old, there's no pictures. Uh, ride the rafts, we've done that. Light shrine. Uh, okay, get the green stone. Go visit the woods guardian to receive the green stone. What? And then it just says this will let you go to the next region. How do I do that? I have the green stone. Maybe I just don't understand how to... Move to another area? Oh! I'm stupid, I've actually done everything. It's just here, isn't it? I need to talk to that one and press move. That's it, and then you can go to the map. But that just doesn't show up to begin with. Alright. There we go. There was nothing left to do. It's just not obvious how you get there. <laughs> okay. And I think that's a good place to end the stream as well. I feel quite silly now. Alright, let's save. There we go. We have saved... That was really fun, and now I know how to move from area to area. So we are two dungeons down out of six. Hopefully I can remember where I was picking up from. Let's start with save one. We are level eight, and we are in area three. Let's go. And Skills and Fiddles is here in the stream. Hello. Oh, by the way, I actually checked out your top-down game earlier because I'm including the limited run version of Repugnant Bounty in my video on Friday. So that was really cool to check that out. Thanks for sending the ROM over to me. And I included a little bit of footage as a little teaser for people in there as well to tell them to keep an eye on it. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, right, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, as far as I remember, I left it in a good place to carry on. We're in a completely new area. So... This is really weird. I'm actually uh, underwater. In the last few, we were... Where have we been so far? We've been in a village, in a forest. Um, then we've been in an animal woods kind of place, where we were rescuing different animals. Um, and apparently now we're in some sort of Atlantis-style place. Nick heard a small voice. This is St. Ellis Place in the ocean. No human can live under the sea. Go to the island. Saithater. Saithater? Through the shrine and look for the bubble clothing. Okay, apparently. Uh, find some bubble clothing, then we can go down into the ruins. It doesn't look like anyone lives there, but let's carry on going down this way. Are we not allowed to? Maybe I... Oh, there's another path on this side now. Oh, here we go. We've got some more funky music. I feel like a DJ turning this up now. Listen to this awesome music. Soul Blazer has such an incredible soundtrack. Can you all hear and see everything okay? I haven't changed any of the settings. They should be fine. 
Hopefully I'm not too loud. Nice graphics in this area too. Um, I have to remember how to use the magic. Ooh. Another package from Limited Runs on the way. I just had an update on the shop app. Trip World DX! Yes, it's finally coming. Look what's on its way! I'm so excited! That's going to be so cool. And the original version's on its way as well. You're doing some game dev with this in the background. Awesome. Good luck with it. I did check out a bunch of the different areas on that dev menu as well. I liked the ability that you can pick up pots and throw them already. Even if the, even if the animation's not there. Uh, right, I need to remember how to play this game. How do I use... Magic. Oh my god, I can't remember any of the buttons. Oh yeah, I, I remember I can crab walk. That was a big thing last time. Uh, oh, do I not have enough gems to use magic, maybe? Maybe that's the problem. Kind of reminds me of the beach area in the first Legend of Zelda. With the Octorox that spit at you. How's dev going, Skittles? What are you, uh... I better not say Skittles too much. My dog might come and <laughs> jump on me. How's game dev going? What are you working on tonight? Nick released a dolphin. Yay. Oh, I forgot. When you press the switches, that's how you sort of uncover the, um... Overworld areas. So, yay. We freed the dolphin. I don't understand how the dungeon is above water, but the city's below. That's kind of backwards to what I would expect. I really do love this game though, it's so fun. It may look extremely simple, and it is, but the concept behind it is just brilliant. Let's see, what have we done this time? I haven't rescued anything. Oh no, the fish went on land! And the soundtrack's awesome too. Oh, that's just looped back to the start. I guess we can uh, make our way back and see if that dolphin had anything interesting to say. This is one of the things that I love about this so much. You can go back and forth between the dungeon and the area that you're uncovering. There used to be four mermaid statues in this place. Those statues prevented all the creatures from getting lost. Okay, I guess that's part of the uh, journey is to find all the statues. Uh, working on adding mirror transition animations uh, to that one dungeon access to the bottom of the dev room. Oh yeah, I clicked on that one, it was called Mirror Room or something, but there wasn't any mirrors that I could see, so I figured that would be something that you were adding into it. That's a cool idea. So will you be sort of using the mirrors to move around in the in the dungeon? Oh my god. Yeah, level up. Can I get over there? Oh, still don't remember the right button. Oh, nice. That's going to be fun then. Some interesting uh, puzzle opportunities there for like slightly different layouts of the same area. Are you going to make the character transform into a rabbit too? Or would that be too on the nose? Ah, there we go. That's how we use the magic. I think this one takes uh, a lot of gems off you though. Bam, 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 bam. I've released a mermaid. Not a mermaid statue, that one's a real mermaid. I did order some food. It was supposed to turn up ages ago and it still hasn't arrived, so... I just went live anyway, so I might end up eating on stream at some point. It still says it's being delivered. It's 
so hopefully it turns up soon. There's a third dimension between the two, and the point of the dungeon is to figure out how to make your way into the middle one. Oh. Yeah. It'd be cool if you could have some sort of graphic to show that you're skipping it out, like if you're going from one to the other, and you could kind of like see something in the middle that you can't quite get to. Sounds like a cool idea. Where are we going now? Oh, that's a new enemy. Whoa! And it can summon tornadoes as well. And it has a lot of... A lot of health. I keep pressing the wrong button. Right. Just... Uh, oh, no! It was a trick. My cat's getting upset. I might have to go and let him out in a second. Ah! Wait, Taito, I'm busy killing gorillas. Alright, why is magic? I can remember it now. There we go. Uh, you can see the animation if you enter the tower and reach the top. Oh, cool. I might check that out again after this then. Uh, Nick released a mermaid. Another one. <laughs> I'll be back in one second. Okay, okay. He was crying for it. Still no play, did he? No? Uh, I did ask him to... Send you a text because it's on your own number. So you might get something. Mm. I don't know, just keep waiting. I'm back and there's no update on food. I was just letting the cat out. Boo. I've only ordered from the little dessert shop anyway, but I'm looking forward to my pancakes. And I've released another mermaid. Ah! Ah, the rock's alive! Ah! It was biting my toes. Ah! Why did I still not see it coming? They have a lot of health. Maybe I'm going to get a new sword in this area again. Ah, go away! I like the fact that you can sort of stand next to the enemies and you've still got enough range to hit them from a distance. Are we going to release another mermaid? No, nope, not yet. Oh, that one's already clear. That just did a bit of a shortcut up the top, I guess. Oh. I still find it weird that it uses the same hit sound as Actraiser. That's what all gods sound like when they get hit, apparently. Ooh, we summoned a treasure chest. How do we get in there? Is there a gap there? Come on, it looks like you should be able to get through there. Not quite. Not even with a crab walk. Can I go up that way? Maybe. There, that's it. Not very much of a puzzle, was it? Received a medical herb. I forget how to use them. Why is there a random stone there? Looks like something should happen there. Uh, am I supposed to be here? Ah! Those little ones don't count to opening up any of the uh, areas. Oh, I haven't got enough gems. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. Whoa! What's it waiting for? Me to get rid of these stones? Yeah, they're kind of like the gauntlet things, where you, if you destroy all of them... Well, usually it's all the ones that come out of there, but these stones are just standing around. There you go. Then you can hear it, boom, and then you unlock something new. 
And if you pick up the gems, then you can use the magic f with that orb that follows you, but I haven't got many. And you can kind of stand... Oh, that was a good one. You can kind of stand in the right place to help attack the enemies too. I released another mermaid. Did I? You hear a mermaid. Is there anyone who needs to use the bubble armor? Me! I need to use it. What are you doing there? Oh my god! Get back! Uh, right, is that everything here? I think we're ready to go back and visit the mermaids and get the bubble armor then. I heard movement outside. Is it food? Okay, someone's here. I'll be back in one second. And I've got a screen for it too. Alright, I'm back. I have my dessert shop food. Finally. One of my favourites. It's the uh, pancakes with biscuit and syrup and banana. So nice. So, excuse me while I'm eating that while I play this one. Mmm. I've been waiting so long for it. It was worth the wait. Um... And I got a coffee to go with it as well, so that's perfect. Uh, where are we going? Right back to the start, I guess. There's no shortcut anywhere. Nope. Go and get the bubble armor. Oh, there's somewhere new over there. How do I get over there? Uh, 
Uh, not from this side then, there's some stairs at the bottom. Let's go back and see everyone we saved. Did I go the wrong way? Yep. Dun, 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 Mermaids have to be very good at dancing. If three of my students return, I will show you a great dance. My name is Kenna. I'm one of the Queen's dancers. As a reward for saving us, I will tell you a secret. No armor will protect you against the magma off the volcanic island's durian. You must find a way to stop the volcano. I found a way to secretly eat pancakes. Ordering a thick burger, that sounds good. Nice. Don't blame me! You made me want a burger as well now. This could have been pudding for the burger. Those statues prevented all the creatures from getting lost. Well, I've already read that. I have orders from the Queen not to let anyone pass. Even me, but I need bubble armor. Don't let me have bubble armor in here. That's kind of a weird transition. You can see the roof, and then you just go next to it, and the roof disappears. Very classic RPG style. Okay, let's talk to you. I've not had a human guest in a long time. I know you can't breathe underwater, so please take this. Nick received the bubble armor. Do I need to choose it as well? And it's stronger too. Excellent. Um, I don't know how I get on the water. Oh, there we go. Now we're underwater. I wonder what would happen if I disable it now. Uh, oh, I just get hurt. I thought nothing was happening then. I haven't got new music. Now we're fighting the seahorses. Oh, I need that. And sea urchins. Oh, it disappeared. I wish you could pick him up with the sword. That's not fair. Why do you have to be directly on top to pick things up. Okay. Have that. Oh yeah, maybe I'll swap the magic back to the fire because it takes less gems. Oh, I didn't realise I could walk on there. I thought that was like out of bounds. Okay. Ooh, nice. Where can we go now? Oh, is this going to take me into the other area where I couldn't see where the treasure chest was? Oh, it wasn't the treasure chest, was it? It was the other... Oh, yeah. I need to remember to aim the right way with the... Uh, with the fire. It's a pretty cool mechanic. So it shoots in the direction that you're facing. So if you stand still and then turn around then you have a better chance of it actually working properly. I'll release the mermaid statue again. Oh. Almost nude, I bet Nintendo didn't like that. Oh, I 
open the passage. Return to me. I can't tell where I'm allowed to walk or where I'm not. I can walk on this, but I can't walk down there. Oh my god, it takes so many hits, but it doesn't do anything. The music almost feels like it was made for a different game. It's really weird. It's not bad music. It, yeah, it's just very unfitting to what's actually going on. I wonder whether they actually made the tracks separately to the rest of the game. Oh, I haven't got any gems left. Level up. Yay. Save me wanting to go back and heal because these enemies are annoying. Let's see what's over here first. Oh my god, this area is really big. What's that? Maybe I need some sort of special fish power. Not yet, then. I'm there. I don't know, this doesn't really sound like you're underwater at all. It's like, here's the instruments, go make a bunch of different tunes using them. Uh, don't have anywhere else to go. Let's go back then, I guess. Find out where that statue was. Sneaky. Is it a medical herb? No, mermaid's tears. Okay, we've got something different. I feel rude eating on stream. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There it is. I will open a passage for you. Proceed right along the seabed to the shore reef rock bird. Okay, I know where that is. Leave me alone. I knew. They're not really a problem to fight though. We're free. Ah, I want all that. 
I don't know what that did. Uh, oh, do you belong in there? I guess so. Oh. What's the point of that? You can literally just walk around the top anyway. A bit of a shortcut back from here, wherever this is. More funky music. Sometimes it almost feels like a bullet hell game having to dodge everyone. A very simple one. That took a while to stand on for some reason. Another mermaid. Oh no! Her tears! Oh, I didn't realise it still said homebrew. Good catch. No, this is just the SNES game. Hold on a sec. Whoops, I always forget to change that. Soul. Blazer. SNES. There we go, fixed. There it is. There it is. This is the official SNES game. It'd be cool if someone did a, uh, a homebrew patch of it. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up because I did not notice that at all. You made your DoorDash name Lord Silly Nipples. <laughs> oh my god. I hope they ring the door and say, are you Lord Silly Nipples? Oh yeah, excuse me, anyone who's just joined. I just had my food delivered. Or pudding delivered. Little dessert shop. Yeah, definitely recommend it. It's a really cool game. A little basic. But the story's really good. Um... Loads of interest in different environments and characters to meet. And very funky music. Out of place music for sure, but definitely funky. I'm Deluxe Doorman, I wasn't ignoring you, hello. How are you doing? Why are they just going around me? I can just stay there. They are, they're all on that set path. Don't even need to worry about them. Oh yeah, I was thinking next week I might try doing a game dev stream. Because I've been trying to uh, port an old mobile game that I made. And release it for the PC. So if anyone would be interested in seeing how I've been going about programming that to get it to work on the uh, keyboard controls and doing some updates to the game as well like some new level designs and things then I'll probably try doing that next week because I want to try and get it out soon because I'm really excited for people to play it because I've got a much bigger audience now than I did seven or eight years ago when I released the game originally Uh, I'm lost. I wonder whether I can stand up here and hit them. Haha! <laughs> okay. I can just do this and finish eating my pancakes. Mm. Or maybe not. Can't. I need three hands.
I'm so glad I've found time to stream some some of these retro games because these are games that I've been meaning to play for so long. Feels great to finally be able to play it. Oh my god. Good job all the enemies are kind of stationary. <sighs> oh, damn it. Is that a safer place to be? Not really. Uh, maybe a little bit. They can't throw the boulders over the wall. Okay, you have to press them to open up some other areas. Right, what have we uncovered this time? A mermaid statue. Another nearly nude mermaid statue. This area is massive. I'm going to get so lost. Oh, maybe it's safer there. That was good. I didn't get any of the gems from the back of it. Okay, I opened up the uh, water over here. Level up again. I'm leveling up quite a lot on this one. Yeah, send a food pic. Make me jealous of your burger. I would send a picture of my food, but it's nearly all gone. I've got one. I've got one left. And one banana. We freed another mermaid. I've been taking too long to eat it, it's gone cold now. <laughs> I bet my coffee's going cold too. Oh, we're back underwater again. I'm going to get so lost going back and forth around here to get back to the mermaids. Let's see. Oh, it's not that cold. It's okay. In a cup designed by my girlfriend. Look at that. All the EVs. It's still warm. How do I get out? Here? Yeah, there it is. I think I went too far. That's like the main entrance. Uh, oh yeah, there's one. The teardrops from a mermaid has, have the power to turn magma to stone. Use them at the top of the volcanic island. And then this guy is going to give us the ability to stop the uh, flow of lava or something. Even though I don't look like it, I'm from the sky just like you. I'll protect you from the magma. Please try and protect all the creatures. Let's work together. The creature that enables you to avoid magma has joined you. Yay. Do I need to do anything? 
No, I guess he's just there in spirit. That's it now. <clears throat> Still not allowed to go through there. I should be able to find another statue though. There it is. The cup is fantastic. Yeah. She made another one as well, the Cult of the Lamb one. And another Pokemon one actually. There's one with Latios and Latios, I think. I don't know how to get in there. I was expecting this to open by now. Does this take? Oh, that takes me there anyway. Don't need it to open. So there's something that I've missed here. New enemy. Uh, okay, you can only attack them when they're actually standing up. That's going to be awkward. Do I need to attack them? I guess they just... Oh no, don't tell me I actually have to fight them. Let's see if the other magic is any better. Oh, I just realised I've probably been holding the controller right over my face. Sorry. Uh, let's see. That's going to take forever if I need to kill all these. It's probably these urchins, maybe. We'll see what comes out of it. Just going to do one hit at a time, maybe. What is it? What do you want from me? Do I really have to kill all them? Kinda looks like it. I don't even know what direction they're gonna go. I don't even care if I get hit, I just wanna get rid of them. Okay, yeah that did it. Was that just another shortcut? Ah, oh, really? Now do we go up or down? It looks like the fish statue was around here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. We'll come back there a bit later. Oh, I did have ice cream as well, but I forgot about it. Get back to dungeon crawling. What's everyone else up to tonight? Are you playing anything? Are you working on anything? 
Are you waiting for a burger that got ruined? What happened? Is it out of stock? I'm really sad. There was a really good burger place that opened um, in the town centre where I am, but unfortunately it closed down because they weren't paying their staff. And it was like the best burgers I'd had. They put the special sauce on me. You said no special sauce. Terrible. Take it back. Oh, awesome, you managed to complete Advance Wars. Well done. That, that is a big achievement. That game is extremely difficult. They start in Fire Emblem 7. I've never played that one. Is that the one that's just called Fire Emblem? The first one that came out on the GBA. I really want to get into the Fire Emblem games, but every time I try, I end up just thinking, I just don't understand this compared to Advance Wars, and then end up giving up on it. I just, uh, I can't get a grasp of what's strong or weak against what. It just doesn't register in my brain. Like, Advance Wars, I get it. Like, all the different tanks, you could set me up against any enemy and I'll know exactly what tanks to buy or what sort of long or short range or where to use the ATVs or the transport copters. But, yeah, put me in Fire Emblem. I have no idea. Spears, swords... Um, crossbow. I I know it's a I know it's a rock paper scissors thing, but it doesn't mentally. There's no sort of image like with Pokemon. It makes sense because it's the different types. What's good against a crossbow? Apart from another crossbow. It just doesn't make sense. I guess. Spear is stronger than sword because you can stab people who can't reach you, maybe? Maybe I worked it out in my head now. So does that mean sword is good against bow and bow is good against both of them? See, it doesn't quite make sense. We've just been winging it. Yeah. If you've got it in the box, maybe the instruction manual has one of those sort of diagrams. Uh, would you like to return to the seabed palace? No, not yet. Oh yeah, that's one of those midway uh, transport things. Oh, now we've got the... Uh, why do we have the flashlight style thing here? Surely the volcano would be lit up more than the area around it. for added atmosphere. Volcanic ash has blocked out the sky. Let's just say that. Nick released a dolphin. That one had a name. One thing I can say is all your range units have been pretty useful no matter what they're up against. Yeah, that's what I figured. From, like, working out in my head, it sounds like uh, ranged people would just be better in general. It's not like Advance Wars where you have different types of guns or anything, is it? Stan8110, your guide I visited Old School Gaming by your work. Oh, awesome. I'm just amazed I never knew that shop existed. Because I've been to Merry Hill Shopping Centre several times and I've never even considered looking for a game shop around there. It's crazy. And apparently there's another one as well, Hidden Chest. Do you know that one too? I've been told to check that one out. I had a few comments. People telling me I should go to that too. But Old School Gaming was great. The the guy who runs it was really nice too. He was a bit busy because there was a lot of people in there. And he really didn't seem interested about advertising the shop at all. I told him I would like do a video and put it online. And he's like, oh, I've got by in the past 10 years without ever doing anything on social media. So whatever. So he really just didn't seem bothered at all. Like, fair enough if you're happy with how business is going, but 
sure the only promotion is good. I might do a stream of Hagane next week as well, because that was a very exciting thing to pick up. I think I'm going to die soon. Maybe I should go back and heal. Or... Let's have... Uh, one of these... Herbs, if I can remember how. Oh, refills if you reach zero. Okay. Sega Supplies. Yeah, I've heard, a few people have told me about that one. I haven't checked it out yet. It's on the list. I'm going to go back and... Hang on. I take it you've been to Vintage Gamer. That one's my favourite. A, hug, a Hagane stream would be torture, I think. That game's insanely difficult. But I'll give it a go. Oh, I need to go back here, don't I? That's it. I think you guys will enjoy watching me suffer playing Hagane. Uh, yeah, Hale's Owen, Vintage Gamer. Uh, Windmill Hill, I think the place is called. Something like that. But the next game shop I want to try and check out that's on my list is one that I've been meaning to go to for a long time in London called Play Nation, I think it's called. Um, so whenever the next gaming market is, I'm going to try and go there the day before. Because um, a friend of mine who lives in London tells you I really need to go and check it out. Nice Indian restaurant over the road. Nice, I might have to go there next time I'm a vintage gamer as well then. One of the people that I met up with to go to uh, Old School Gaming actually lives in Hales Owen and he didn't know Vintage Gamer existed. And I, I just blew his mind when I told him that there was a really cool game shop literally like a 10 minute walk from from where he lives and he's never even seen it. Ah, I'm not going to go back and heal again. We're so lucky to have all these really cool game shops around, it's crazy. There used to be a bunch in Stafford as well, but they've all closed down unfortunately, but all the ones around Birmingham still seem to be going strong, which is good. Ha! <laughs> there is. I think I went to that McDonald's last time I was there. I always spend way too much in that shop, that's why I can't go that often. I'm sure I spent like 400 quid last time. It's only a, like a special occasion thing to go and visit them places. Oh my god. That was uh, a difficult one. You got a refund? Excellent. Well, don't order the same thing again in case they mess up. Um. I don't know what you like. My go-to burger is just a five guys all in. So just every top in. Their burger relish. Um, what's the spicy fries called? 
Cajun fries. Or Steakhouse Angus from Burger King. Oh, I didn't need to use that. Oh, am I going the right way? I don't even know. Yeah, that's just looped back round again. Hey, I'm not actually as low in health as I thought I was. Oh, we have proper Donkey Kong gorillas now. And I don't even seem to be able to hit him. Do I come back later? Oh my god. Stones are all out to get me. Let's see what that does. No, oh, do five guys. I'm going to be your bad influence for the night. Five guys, five guys, five guys. What's that dolphin doing? Do it. It's not there anyway. Haha, -ha, five guys wins by default. Oh, another shortcut opened. Cool. I was half tempted to go back and refill the health, but I'll uh, stick it out, I think. I've got a bunch of gems. Should be able to... Ah, ah, ah! Don't stand on there! Oh man, I'm gonna waste all my gems. Oh nice. Uh, I have to go all the way back round again. This is just like Death Mountain, isn't it? I'm gonna go back in Heion, because I'm so close to dying. If I can remember the way out. Yes. I always find that option a bit confusing. Do you want to go back? Stay. And then you don't go anywhere. Oh, I might as well save as well. I haven't saved yet. Let's do it. Don't want to lose all this progress. How long have we been going? We've been going for an hour. I don't know how much more there is to do in the game. I think I'm halfway through, maybe. Someone just commented on YouTube saying they're upset they've only just found out about the homebrew scene. Uh, yeah, let's continue. I mean, it's only a scene that's just going to keep growing and growing, so no need to be upset about it. Unless you wanted physical versions, because once they're gone, they're gone. Which makes it a very expensive hobby to get into. Uh, did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? I was supposed to go in through the bottom where the mermaids are. No five guys and no olive garden? What do you have? Do you have Burger King? Oh yeah, there was something else I can check out while we're here. There's something up there, I think. Another building? There's another... I think we're waiting for one more. 
Oh, as a reward for saving us, I'll tell you my secret. No armor will protect you against the magma. It will, I've already got it. Here's the new building. Right, what's wrong with you? Service is the name of my friend, the dolphin. Okay. Is that what you want to tell me? Well, the dolphin's not here, sorry. Oh, is that him? Stand on my nose. Okay. You gonna push me off the edge? Oh, okay, you can just swim straight over. Thanks. I got a big pearl. Apparently just doing that is standing on his nose. Have I ever modded a 3DS? Yeah, my... Um, I don't know where it is now. This one. So I bought it with a capture card, but... This one here, so it's... It was already modded by someone else to have a capture card output so I can play it on the computer. But I also modded it myself as well so I can put all the DS games on the SD card. And uh, there's a bunch of homebrew stuff on there as well. I did a video about it a while back if you want to have a look. There's some really interesting things that people have made for the DS. Mr. Beast Burger. Oh my god. Are they still around? You have to have Mr. Beast Burger. I don't think we have any in the UK, so I've got no idea what they're like. <laughs> Do it! You've got to do it. Come on, I'm a YouTuber. I have to support my uh, fellow YouTubers. One day there'll be a retro break burger. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. You have to do it, and you've got to put a picture in the Discord as well. <laughs> Don't let me down. This is the third time you've tried to order something now, and you, you haven't been able to. Uh, did they give me something? Oh, nice. Magic flare. Power is collected while the button is pressed. Okay, that's new. I hope Jimmy makes it himself and hand delivers it to you. Let's go back in and we got new magic. I don't know why I find it so funny that Mr. Beastberg is a thing. <laughs> like, what, what happened? Oh, I tried his chocolate as well and it was horrible. I had the peanut... Uh, D's Nuts one thinking, oh, I really like peanut butter, like Reese's is really nice. But, uh no, the chocolate was gross. It didn't have any flavour to it. Like, it wasn't sweet at all. It was really weird. I keep forgetting I can do that sidestep thing. If I ever branch out into burgers or chocolate, feel free to tell me that I've gone too far. Uh, uh, there's nothing there. What am I supposed to be doing? Do I need to use that new magic? I haven't got enough gems. Okay, we're at the top of the volcano and nothing's happening. Oh, can I take out these enemies now? They're still too strong. Hmm, what's that? Oh, 
Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be there. Hershey's? Yeah, we've got Hershey's. I quite like it, actually. Cookies and cream's good. Oh yeah, I got an extra health bar. Uh, that's draining my health way too fast. I can't go in there. I guess that's what I'm meant to be doing, though. Or... Just there's becoming more lava than there was before. Can I reach that one? No. Oh, nice. I didn't even know they had a Canadian headquarters. Uh, do we risk it? <gasps> Hold my breath. I released another mermaid. Uh, oh my god, instantly died. Does that mermaid stay there? I don't remember where they popped up. Oh, cool. Hope you didn't tell him you're making Game Boy games. He might have got you arrested. <laughs> don't touch our IP! Don't touch our old consoles! Oh wow, that's cool. Did you actually have it with you, or did you just show him a picture of it? You did tell him! How did he react? I guess Nintendo doesn't care, because they wouldn't make any money off the games anyway, because they don't sell them anymore. Oh wow, cool. Wow, that was an exciting lunchtime then for you. Pretty awesome. I'm not sure what I need to do now. I need to find better armor somehow. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Where should I go from here? Dun, 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 dun. Have you seen the Queen of the Mermaids? Yes. Okay, maybe we just have to go and talk to her. Lou the Dolphin has been captured. Please save him. Oh, that's it? I don't know why her font went smaller. Since it seemed like I would appreciate something like this, he gave me his phone number. A rare item hidden. Are you planning on sneaking in there and finding out? Why can't I use my sword? Is the water too deep? My name is Lou. I, I used to live here. I used to live with the inventor, Dr. Leo. Did he say what it was? He's going to give it to you. Wow. Have you got any ideas or hopes as to what it is? Something Game Boy related, I'm guessing. An old promo shirt. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or a badge or something. <coughs> I missed what it said then. Something it attracts anyone who looks at it and then changes their personality. 
If the person has a good mind, they will become a great person. If they have an evil mind, they will become a bad person. One day, the queen found the jewel and took it. Then she placed me in prison. Please save the queen and get the blue stone back. I know this ring will help. Please take it. Nick received the thunder ring. Nice, yeah, I'd be interested in finding out whatever it was. Let me know. Uh, Lou told me many things about the Queen. I don't think she was a bad person. She was just attracted to the jewel. So, have I got something new? Item, maybe? Uh, oh, that's it. Thunder Ring. If you touch a lightning pyramid, lightning will strike. What? What's a thunder pyramid? What? I didn't know I had that! Shield bracelet reduces the amount of damage received from enemies by half. Emblem C. If you collect eight of these, you will be an expert at magic. Does this menu remind anyone else of Kirby's Fun Pack? Or Kirby Superstar? Great Cave Offensive. Finding all the treasures. Uh, right, Thunder Ring, I suppose we're supposed to have that one out. Maybe I couldn't get my sword out because this is technically still part of the overworld. How did you get here? You're not going to let me out? <coughs> no. Nope. That doesn't go anywhere. Okay, we got something new from this then. I don't know whether that's actually going to help. Luke can leave whenever he wishes, but he never comes out. Maybe he likes that place. Uh, back in the dungeon we go then, I guess. I went in the wrong way again. I guess I can go round. Or... Let's see if there's somewhere else we can go. I think... Maybe this path opened up. I already looped around. Let's have a look on the other side. Anything over here? I'm probably going way off track now. There's something new. Let's see if we can figure out how to get up there. Let's hope it uncovers something good. I haven't got enough gems to try out my new magic yet. I don't understand how that works, it just makes a ring. Hey, Troa84, how do? I've released another mermaid, yay. That's the whole set now. Something interesting might happen there. It was worth coming back over here then. Right, let's head back to the main area. see what happens when we speak to these mermaids. Not that one. Uh, where are they? Here? Yep. Okay, you're gonna do a dance? Thank you very much. Three of my students came back. I was going to show you our dance. I think there will be more fun if you join us. I'll show you the easiest dance. Just move like they do. Down, up, down, up. Okay. Oh my god. Is that it? As a reward for saving us, I'll tell you a secret. I've already read that one. How's the game? The game's really good. It's very, uh, very interesting. I'm a bit lost at the minute, though. You must find a way to stop the volcano. My name is Anna. I'm one of the Queen's dancers. You're not going to tell me a secret? My name is Nana. I'm one of the Queen's dancers. Thank you very much. Three of my students came back. I was going to show our dance. 
Just move like they do. I've already done it. Do I not get anything for it? Do I have to be over here? Come on, tell me I'm a good dancer. I'm faster than them. I can also do it like that. Whoa, moonwalking. I don't think I can get anything else there. Uh, do you have anything else? I think we've already found that dolphin. Maybe what the dolphin down here gave me is the key. I heard that Dr. Leo was taken to Magrid Castle. I wonder how he is. I can't remember who Dr. Leo was, but there was a big bit in the introduction about him. I'm not going back up there again. Oh, hello. I found my way here. Magic Flare is useful against monsters that fly and have a large amount of hit points. Oh, I've already done that. I need to find a way to take out the gorillas. Maybe that's what the new magic's for. As well. I think the flying ones with large hit points they run about with those birds that summon the tornadoes. I think I'm meant to be back here yet. Remain in zero. Oh yeah, I forgot if you press start you can see uh, what's left to do. Remain in zero. We've actually cleared out both of these areas. So the next place to go is... There, but I guess you have to uncover that from somewhere else. I need to find a way of withstanding the lava. That's the halfway point. So it must be this way, even though I've already done all the main unlockables here. I think. It says there's two remaining. Let's have a proper thorough look around all the different areas. There's a treasure chest up there, but I do not have the ability to go in the lava just yet. Unless it's... Uh... I need to find flame armor somehow, maybe. Wait, if I stand on there, yeah, it's going to hurt me. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Try the other sword. Yeah, that, that one doesn't even slightly hurt it. Uh... Okay. Do I have to... hope that something lands on it? That's not doing anything, is it? Missing something. Something important. I think I've already been everywhere now. It says there's no more monsters layers remaining anyway. Oh, 
and another fish area that's been blocked off. It's probably just someone in the village that I haven't spoken to yet. nice at least. Listen to the advice of the four statues. Not her, she just says, oh I was friends with a dolphin. Or something like that. Mm. Where else can we go? That's where I got one of the new items from. Uh, I've been the passage for you. Walk downwards under the sea and go to the volcanic island. I've done that. spoke to everyone. I don't know what else there is to do. I might have to try and Google this and see if I can figure out uh, where to go. The te teardrops from a mermaid have the power to turn magma to stone. Use them at the top of the volcano. Oh, okay. That answered my question. That's what I need to do. Let's try that. Back we go again. Oh, actually, there is a shortcut in here, save us going all the way around. Oh, I thought there was. Is that? Is there one on the right? Where's my shortcut? I could go the long way around. God damn it. There was a shortcut to the forest area that I've already been through. I think I know what to do now. So, items, we actually need this one. And I've gone the wrong way again. We'll be back there later. Start by trying it here. Do we need to do anything to activate it? Do I need to use it at the top of the volcano? And it will just change all of them. Ah, there we go. Nick poured out the mermaid's tears. Yay, we figured it out. Uh that doesn't look safe. Oh, okay, now it does. Yay! Now we can walk on here. Progress! And we can go at the top as well now. Yay! Did it do anything about that gorilla? Nope. But we can do this, which I'm guessing is going to uncover one of the new mermaid statues. Let's see what happens. It's doing something. Mm -hmm. Released a mermaid statue. Yay. So that's going to uh, open up one of the fish door things. And there's a treasure chest right there. 
Nick received a critical sword. Hell yeah. Level 11. Nice. I'm going to sit back a bit. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Hope you guys don't mind this uh, lower energy stream. I'm going to try and do it so I can relax a bit. Yeah, hopefully everyone else is doing alright tonight. Is anyone else really tired? After a long day at work as well. Work is uh, very tiring for me at the minute. I've got a bunch of different projects going on at once and none of them really seem to be going anywhere. The camera's a bit wonky. Never mind. It looks alright. You can see all the mess on the table. Oh, there's an exciting game on the table actually. I'm going to play this on stream at some point. Now I finally officially own a copy. Shining Force. If you saw my pickups video, you'll know how excited I was to get this one. There it is. Really looking forward to checking that out. Hey, we've got someone else in the chat as well. Beta Marks here. Happy Tuesday! Indeed. Is it snack time? It's always snack time. These are my... This is what I've been eating while I've been working. Haribo tangy soda bottles. They're pretty nice. And uh, you missed it earlier, Betamark, but I just finished eating li Little Dessert Shop. Um, little Dessert Shop pancakes. Uh, and now I think I'm having a sugar crash because I am tired. But let's carry on because I love this game and I definitely want to play more. So we got a Critical Sword, level 11. 17 minutes until the Beast Burger arrives! Yeah! I can't wait to see the disappointment. Apparently he was getting upset because he couldn't trust that different restaurants had the same... Uh, what? Not even the critical sword can hurt him, really. What else we need? Yeah, he was getting upset that the uh, condition of each restaurant was slightly different, so he couldn't guarantee the consistency. Uh, well, I guess we can use that. I really thought that was going to hurt him. He's just undefeatable. S tier snack, Harry Bows. They're the best. I've been a bit slow. Oh, want to know another S tier snack that I've got here? Lint creme brulee chocolate bar from the Lint shop. I'm all about S tier snacks today. What are we doing now? I don't know what to do now. Yeah, Lint is the best. In terms of regular chocolate bars, nothing beats high quality Lint. I even really like the, the white chocolate one with that thin layer of like cream in the middle. Mm. It's amazing. We went to the Lint shop and there was just Hundreds of things to choose from, like every single lint ball that you could find. We had a big pick and mix, and then there was the lint rabbits all over the walls, and loads of different types of chocolate, really interesting flavours. So I picked, I picked this one up for myself, and it was very nice. Travel up the seabed to reach the island of rain. Where's that? Oh, that's right in the corner. Okay. This level is massive. Oh my god. They really went all out with this world map. So... That's probably going to take me to the wrong place, isn't it? Yeah. Can 
kind of go this way. There we go, we've got our bubble armor back out again. And if I remember right, it was up here. There it is. New area unlocked. What's going to happen? Oh, it's these annoying shell things. I do appreciate that the enemies are correct for the area that they're in. Like sea urchins and crabs and stuff. Whoa! This new sword's so much better. You can kill these in like one or two hits as well. That's amazing. I really suffer. You don't even need to wait for them to stand up! Oh my god! What is this miracle? An angelfish. Oh, the last one of them gave me uh, magic, I think. I haven't got enough gems to try the magic out, really. I should try and gather some more. Oh, Stingray. Whoa, 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 that's too big. I need to get rid of that Kofi announcement. I don't know why it still keeps popping up. And I released another mermaid and she gets her own house too. Ooh, I won't have to call this stream early. I'm falling asleep, despite how much I'm enjoying the game. Oh well. Tuesdays are just for chilled out fun gaming times anyway, so don't expect me to be super high energy. Hopefully everyone appreciates these relaxing streams in the background. I released another angelfish. Dun, 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 dun. I'm playing the physical version. Uh, what updates were there compared to the digital one? I didn't really know it had been improved in any way. Yay, got another checkpoint. You love a stream like this. Oh, that's good. Yay, got some XP. Let's stay here for a bit. How much XP have I got? What button do I need to press? Not that one. There we go. Uh, oh, not far off. Next level, we need 150,000. No, 15,000. I did not think that would take me up there. There's some weird perspective going on. Oh, you do still need to wait for them to stand up, but the sword doesn't stop them in place anymore. going over here. Oh, that's just if you want to start again. Alright, let's carry on going up. Whoa, that is some heavy rain. David Cage would be proud. Someone on Twitter shared that PS3 tech demo again today. The one with that android that gets disassembled because she realises that she's got free will or something. Really impressive demo for the time. Oh, thank god you changed the final boss. I remember how much trouble I was having getting through that. And more enemies, that's good. 
I'm bringing it up in my video on Friday, so I'll add that into the uh, into the script so people know it was different. Is there a way of buying the ROM of that version, or is that just from the limited run? Because I could send people over to itch.io if that one's available for purchase on there. Were you running up against the limits of GB Studio, or just the Game Boy in general? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's like certain, what is it, actor limits per scene or something? Or per screen? God, this background's making my eyes go funny. Why did they go so extreme? Uh, okay, that's how that works. You have to hold it down. They have stupid restrictions. It's probably just to stop people going overboard and making the game crash, I guess. The burger's nearly here! That's the main point of this stream now, just waiting to see the burger. it. That one's done. Oh. Is that it? What's the point of that? I did it fine without. Level up, yay. Let's see what our new stats are. Nineteen thousand there. Uh, again, why? understand how to use this magic now. Ah, oh, too late. And I've run out. It doesn't take that many hits anyway with this beefed up sword. Nick released a dolphin. Got some magic spell. Oh, I nearly got two at once then. Whoa! How many? Oh, wow. That was all of them. Hurt my thumb then, trying to dodge all that. The monuments on this island are lightning pyramids. If you wear the thunder ring and touch them, the master will send down lightning to destroy the monsters. Would you like to return to the seabed? Not yet. Although, I guess I should put the lightning ring on then. What monuments are they on about? These? Whoa! Okay, cool. I didn't expect that. Is there going to be a boss fight here then where I have to use that? Seems a bit... Oh! Is that how I 
attack these gorillas. Come on. Ah, there we go. That's how we do it. Shame they spawn so far away. You don't even need to do anything, you just literally walk next to the pillar and lightning comes out of it. I don't remember seeing one of them uh, in the volcano though. There's the final statue. I will open the passage for you to return. Remain in zero. Okay, that's this area clear. Um, there's more here, even though there's no reason to fight anything here anymore. Okay, we can finally get out the rain. Uh, I do not remember where I am now. Oh yeah. Let's go back down there. Whee! It took a second for the spirit to catch back up to me. was right on the other side, if I remember right. And not at the top, because that's another blocked route that I guess we'll be taking soon. Hopefully there's one of these lightning statues. Here, or somewhere nearby. Uh, oh. There's nothing there. Where are I supposed to take them? I wonder whether this magic can work if I fully charge it. No. Nope. I'm so confused. There isn't anything to attack them with. Unless I'm supposed to lure them somewhere completely different. There was some nice percussion then. I still think Fantasy Star 2 has the best drums in a game soundtrack. What do I do with you? Not even that. Summons lightning. <laughs> I don't know... I don't have any items uh, maybe he doesn't like big pearls no nope. worth a try uh, what's happening but not for me. call an ambulance <laughs> are you alerting me to check my discord okay let's see let's see it's burger time moderate concern. It was unsealed when you got it. Oh my god. Yeah, why has the sticker been ripped like that? What the hell? I appreciate that you've included your Game Boy. Uh, let's see if I can get Discord up on the computer. I can share it with everyone on the stream. Uh, I think that's the right one. Yeah, right. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Uh, let's make a new window. 
That might be a bit big. There it is! Can you see the Beast Burger and all its glory? Look at it. More importantly, look at that Game Boy. Let's see the pictures. <laughs> it looks very basic. <laughs> what is that? It's literally nothing but beef and cheese. Really? And then the sticker was already uh, unstuck. That's scary. That's terrible. What sort of chips are they as well? That's that's weird. I don't have any way of zooming in on here. No. That's the best you can get. <laughs> Food makes you sad. Looking at something like that does. I had some nice food though. I, uh... Anyway, that's enough of Mr. Beast Burger. Well done for ordering it though. And well done me for getting a hundred messages. Apparently, I don't know how to how to turn that off. No, I can't see the game. All I can see is burgers. Truly, one of the burgers of all time. It's the most basic burger I've ever seen. I hope it wasn't too expensive. You'd be better off getting a. A Big Mac for that. It's so bad. Don't blame me if you get food poisoning tomorrow. You can blame chat. We all talked you into it. It was a group effort. It's flavourless. Oh my god. I don't think I'd ever seen a more sad burger. And rubbery and chewy. Ugh. They really are getting by just on the name. Oh, that's so sad. Enjoy your dinner, I guess. $17. Well, Canadian dollars. They're a bit more, aren't they? But even so... I need to know how much that is in pounds so I can cry for you. Ten quid for that? No way. The coral reef is home to the dolphins. The pearls made in their reef are their treasure. I think there was more stuff that I've unlocked. That statue, for one thing. I will open the passage for you. Go that way, along the seabed, and you'll find a ghost ship. Ooh. Hey, that's new. I am the best jumper. I'll show you. Whoa. Okay, wow. Impressive. Is that it? <laughs> Why do you need to go all the way over there to do it? Whee! Very impressive. And he goes back to where he came from. How were the fries any, any good? They looked a bit weird too. I don't remember what else I unlocked. There's another one. I didn't know the world underwater looked different from the world above. The fries are okay. Hmm, not all bad then. They looked alright. The fries at KFC are really good now. They've actually changed their recipe here. And they used to be horrible or like mushy and bland. But they have a really nice like paprika sauce. Like, not sauce, like salt. Paprika salt over them. It's really nice now. 
There used to be four mermaid, mermaid statues. I know, you've already told me that. Uh, were you here before? I have some medical herbs made from seaweed. Would you like one? Yeah, thank you. I'm surprised how long this level's taken to get through. I'm enjoying it though. I saw the Queen when I was dreaming. She looked very sad. It was somewhere near a sunken ship. Please save the Queen. This used to be the Queen's palace. I am the Queen's maid. Oh, they've got the new ones in Canada as well now then. They did an entire funeral for the old fries. <laughs> I wouldn't even cry for the old fries. They were gross. Actually, that's the second time they've changed them because I remember at uni they changed the recipe as well. And they didn't get it right the second time either. But I think they've got it right this time. I quite like KFC. Again, for the burger. Zynga burger is really good. Zynga Tower Burger. The one with the hash brown in it. That's my go-to uh, KFC option. Do you guys have that one? Where are you all coming from? I can't even get around there. Oh yeah, you can actually um, push like that. If you stand in the corner, you can... Uh... Oh, I haven't got any more magic anyway. I was going to say you can push the... Uh... I don't even know what that's called. Magic orb. What happened? If they marketed the fries as bad, I made a joke. Yeah, I guess so. It's crazy that it's like everywhere in the world the recipe is exactly the same. How did swimming feel? I didn't find a swimming section, I don't think. I must not have clicked on that room. I tried out a bunch of them. There was one that was like a cave. Um, and there were some pots and then you walk up to the top of it. Uh, there was another one which was like an open field with some rocks in there. And there was a door, like a big circular like block on the door with like a pattern on it. I presume at some point you're going to go through that and there's a bunch of houses. That I couldn't go inside yet. In a different one. But I don't think I found a water level. What was it called? I'll check it out later. What is that? Oh, cool. Third checkpoint. Nice. We're getting towards the end of it. The overworld has water you can swim in. Oh, nice. I'll check it out. I thought the character felt good to control though, so that's uh, that's a good start. There was some weird collision detection where I went up somewhere and I sort of flew to the side and back down somewhere else. I'm not sure what was happening there. Oh, have we found the boss? Is it the queen? Am I going to find Sid piloting the ship? Whoa, the candles are attacking me as well. Ah, that was too fast. I found one gems. That's not going to do me any good. Oh, you can actually attack the candle. The floor's attacking me. What else is going on here? Do I have to extinguish all the flames? 
Ah, uh, do it faster. No. Oh my god. You are not a queen. I thought I was going to be fighting the queen. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, I don't want to come down here. Ah, uh, I haven't got any gems left. Oh, I'm dead. That's a cool boss fight, though. What a cool design. Do not rush. Be patient. You must continue making steady progress. I've only got six gems. Maybe I should do a bit of farming to try and get some more first. There's still one monster's lair remaining around here. Let's go and find that. Oh, does this encompass the other area as well, where the volcano is? Give me all the gems. And I can use magic on the boss. Oh well. Give me a few anyway. Right. What's happening now? An angelfish. live on YouTube as well. I can never tell whether the stream's live on YouTube or not because I can only see the updates for Twitch. Oh, I didn't see what that did. Did anyone see what happened when I pressed that switch? I was looking away. Right, let's go and attempt the boss again, I guess. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Maybe get some more gems. And... Oh yeah, something else worth doing. Uh, that I should have done last time is probably start with this one. Shield bracelet and then swap to the medicinal one at the end. Alright, let's do it again. It's a bit annoying that we have to actually go all the way back over. Ah! Ah! Shut the candles off is probably a better way of doing it. Oh my god, I'm taking so much health just getting back there. What is there to get rid of? Surely it doesn't want me to deactivate all the candles on the way up here. Right in the boss. Huh, that was easy. Oh, 
Okay, three hits. Ah, get off me! I don't know how much how much health that's got. Oh my god! That health bar! What? I just realised how much health it's got. That's insane. I need another Harry Bow. Wow. Ah. Hmm, where to? Let's see what else is going on here first. I don't think there's anything left to do here really, is there? Um... I do still have the medicine that I can use. Alright, let's do it again. Oh, I wish there was a way of buying gems or something. Let's try doing the fight without magic. I'll just... Uh, rush back over there. If the floor doesn't kill me first. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was my impression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zero out of ten. Okay, we got enough to do one attack. Ugh, get out of the way! Okay. I don't know whether that actually did anything. Enemy health didn't change. What the hell? It's not changing. This is insane. His health didn't even change at all. What am I doing wrong? I've definitely got the right things equipped. Turkey and bacon wrap and banana chips. Ooh, nice. I had a nice uh, chicken wrap yesterday from a takeaway, but it was good. Why did they build all this before you can get back to the boss? I don't have enough. I'm not doing any damage whatsoever. Do I need to get rid of the hands first? It's not doing anything. Have I got... The wrong item. Okay, that did some damage. One. Oh, do I need to just be Closer, okay. I guess it was hitting, but nothing was really happening. Uh, 
if I stand like inside its mouth and just mash attack. We can brute force our way through it maybe. Die! Yes. Okay, that works. Bit of a weird fight. Woo! I don't know whether to celebrate that or not. Nick released the queen! Queen! A beautiful voice came from inside the palace. I am the mermaid queen. I know not who you are. That's like Echo the Dolphin. I know not what you have. But thank you for releasing me. Please return to the palace. <laughs> oh, I thought I was back there already. Nope, we have to trudge all the way back across this ghost ship. I love the aesthetic of a, a ghost ship in general. They're just so cool. I don't know what it is, but there's something about like the wooden floor like having collapsed over time and seeing broken barrels and things like that where the masts would be and stuff. It's just a really cool aesthetic. And the whole underwater area next to it as well. And now it all makes sense. It was so you can get to the boat. Now we're going to find our way back through this maze. Uh, or do I, actually? That was a fast travel point. We can just do that. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go up here and visit the Queen's new palace. There she is! Back in all her glory! I heard about you from Lou. You are the one who saved me. Everything started when I saw the jewel that Lou had. One glance at the blue stone caused desire and hatred to overwhelm me. Right after the creatures disappeared and the monsters took over. Maybe because we, uh, maybe because we let bad feelings dominate us. We created the monsters ourselves. I will give you the blue stone. Please travel to other regions and release all creatures. Please travel to other regions. I can hardly believe she's really back. Yay! We did it. Is anyone else going to celebrate? Or are they just minding their own business? Whoops. Uh, before we move on, I'm going to find out whether we can actually destroy that gorilla in the uh, volcano. Gorilla, volcano, assault blazer. Try black gorilla. Dun, 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 dun. This game's so old, all the walkthroughs are just text files. Uh, where are we? Seabed. find the volcano area. Soul of Shield. I have that, don't I? Yeah, we did all that. You can find out if you have the Soul of Shield by pressing the A button twice. Oh, okay, right. Uh, make sure you have the Mermaid's Tears with you. Go to the east side. Release the Dolphin, yep. OK, 
Okay, it says just ignore the other gorilla. It's a metal gorilla, apparently. Go safe on the island and open a chest to get a strange bottle which prevents you from losing gems if you die. Do I have that? Ooh. No, I'm missing something there as well then. Um, where's that? There's no map to go off. I'm literally just looking at a text file. Uh, continue going east. There is an island on the northeast corner of the area where you can see a gorilla's lair but no way of reaching it. Okay, it says you can't kill the metal gorillas just yet. Get the mermaid's tears, yeah. Kill the gorillas. I still feel like I'm missing something. Small openings to the north. I forgot how long this area was. Uh, Thunder Pyramid, yep, did that. Thunder Strikes. Stingrays, we did that. Going to... Oh, okay, missed something interesting there. Okay, so equip the dream rod. Uh, I bet I've missed some cool stuff in the earlier stages too then. Uh, where do we go? In here, it should be... Is he sleeping? Oh, here we go. This one's sleeping. Touch it with the dream rod. We can go and get a special item. I used to live here. I am trying to remember something, but I cannot. When I close my eyes, I see something like a ball, shiny and black. Huh. What? Oh. Okay. Is it the big pearl? That pearl! Yes, I was going to present that pearl. This is the coral reef. I've missed this place. This is all inside his dream, by the way. Part of this game was that you get this dream rod. And then I guess I have to go and find out where that is in the real world. Didn't I meet you in my dream? Now, where the hell did we go now? Um... Talk to the dolphin in the dream. The dolphin swims away from the unlocked layer. Step on the layer to clear a path. Equip the bubble armor and go underwater. Go northwest and go into the cave there. Go to the west wall where you opened a path in the dream. Northwest. Not there, is it? Let's go up to where the pirate ship is. I think if the enemies get closer, you can actually hurt them more with the same sword. It here. What I said was northwest. 
to main up this way. Hmm, no, it's not here. It looked like it was these areas. Yeah, lily pads. Where are they? More rocks, wasn't it? Rocks and lily pads. Oh, around here maybe? No. It was similar to that. No, that doesn't go anywhere. Such a long way around. There's nothing here anymore. No, it's not that far up. Let's see what it says on here again. <clears throat> go northwest and go into the cave there. Go to the west wall. Where you open the path. Oh, you do have to go into the cave at the top. Should be in here somewhere. Ah, this might be it. Loads of treasure. Emblem D. How many of them have I actually got now? Those are these. Emblem D, Emblem C. So maybe I'm missing the first two then. Eighty gems. Nice. Nothing. And a herb. Why would it give me nothing? Yay, that's cool though, we've got some nice treasure. I don't know what those emblems do, I feel like I've missed the first two because I didn't have the dream rod. So maybe it's actually worth going back. Going back there first. Anyway, I was trying to find out how you kill the gorillas. Okay, there's another dream thing we can do as well. Visit service the dolphin and use the dream rod on him. Go before you go to the next area. Go northwest. Okay. 
just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So much nothing. Look at all this nothing. I don't understand the order that it's putting things in here. Anyway, let's get that back out again. Ah, wrong way. I never want to go back there again. And then this one's all like weird medieval sounding music. Uh, northwest. Oh, on this one. And it placed the dream rod on the dolphin's nose. Ooh. I like this song. This one's kind of dreamy. It kind of fits the mood. It'd be cool if in the dream the boat wasn't destroyed. You can hear the conversation of a father and son. Daddy, how many days have passed since the ship sank? I am too hungry and cannot travel any farther. Are we going to die? Serve us, my son. Some people believe that human life does not end at death. They believe that they will be born into a new life. Lives, they feel, are everlasting. Oh, he is the dolphin. Oh, I hear some voices. Maybe the master is calling me. Someone is calling me. What is that? I just put one gem in a treasure chest. I hope someone will find it. Uh, I always have the same dream, isn't that strange? Service is the name of my friend, the dolphin. And he was a human before that. Uh, do we get anything? I already picked up that single gem, gem before. Uh, no, it's literally just to see the story. Okay, the only other thing to do is to go and get the gem. I guess you have to come back here. Uh, go and get the herb, I mean. Thank you. Oh. I think I already had one. That's it for this area, then. Uh, I do kind of want to go back and attempt to see some of the earlier ones before we move on. Let's see where we're going next anyway. So next, we will be up here in the snowy mountains by the looks of it. Cool. This is the one we just did. There's all the different places that we visited as well. It's really cool. Ah, oh, this game is so cool. There's a forest. Here's the starting area. I already got the one gem anyway. Is this the normal way out? I think so. Oh yeah, the, that's the guy inside's wife. Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company. And he doesn't know that she was reincarnated as a goat. He's just looking after that goat and he doesn't know why. Uh, right, let's see if we can find anyone who's sleeping. I think everyone's wide awake. Oh, she's woke up now. I thought maybe that would be it. After a person dies, they will return in the form of a different creature. Yeah, all the an all the animals in this game are people like in a previous life. <laughs> yes, he has a goat wife and he doesn't know it. Maybe there isn't anything else for me to do here, but I just wanted to double check. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, 
I don't know how to get back now. In here? No. I don't think there's anything left to do in the dungeon. Listen to this funky music though. That's a cool bass line. I can't find a way out. Hello, he's the guy that we rescued. Oh yeah, it's there in the in the guy's house for some reason. Let's check out this area. Level 4, I guess. Ooh, we're in a cave this time. That's some nice lighting effects. Everything looks very simple, but I do like the coin style at the same time. Oh yeah, another jam. Completely unrelated to the area, but... Released a girl. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That's exactly what I think when I see snow. Oh, this song. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Can I get it from here as well? No. I wish I could cancel it. Oh, nearly. I can. Uh, I'm going to waste all these gems. Yes, it worked. Nice. Oh my god, go away. Nick released a grandpa. These aren't animals. I don't know what's going on in this area yet. gems, yay. I can use more magic. Oh, I can get back up there, just slowly. wonder why they didn't just put stairs there. There's no reason to have that slope. Oh, god, I thought it was dead. See if I can do two at once. Oh, actually, it might be better to change it to that one. Oh, his head comes off. I didn't even notice that. Um... So depending on what, depending on what magic you're using, 
they take up different amount of, amount of gems to fire. So the flame one takes four, these ones take eight. And then you pick them up when you defeat enemies. It's the yellow things. So there isn't really any currency. It's just you pick up the gems and then you can spend them on using magic. And I've released a mushroom, apparently. He's enjoying the funk. Bum, 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 bum. What's going on? Oh, rats. What's the point of that? Why are the most pointless? I don't. Whoa! Look at the physics. Being chased by a snowball. Ah! Stop! Okay. Oh my god, what is the physics of the snowball? It's going crazy! Uh, I better make sure I have that just in case. Oh, I've run out of magic. No, go away! Oh my god! in the snow, don't I? Yeah, I have no idea why you would unlock random paths that go to the same place. Maybe it's kind of random what some of the effects are, because some of them are bringing people back to life. I released a snail! Uh, and there's a girl on the snail too, isn't that more important to tell me about? Oh my god, the snowballs are just insane! Ah! Go away! What, what, is, what is this? Ooh, treasure. Lots of it. 50 gems. And a herb. Good. Nothing. Ooh, more nothing. And magic armor. What? Why is it just giving me all this stuff? And it is stronger too. Cuts the necessary gems in half. Awesome. Now we can use this and only use up four. Yeah, nice. Weird to just give it me at random. Yeah, I'm so glad I have more nothing. That's what I needed more of, really. Imagine if it did just take up an item slot and then you just couldn't get something really important. Yay, I released a boy! And he gets his own... He gets three chairs and a fireplace. What a lucky boy. Ooh, look at that background. That's pretty cool. Some nice effects. Don't, don't ask. Don't ask why he was there in the first place. No reason. He was like that when I got there, honest. 
I mean, I don't even know who he is, okay? Stop asking questions. <laughs> who have we released this time? And a girl! You know, don't ask. Again. I'm a god, I can do what I want. Uh, except stop snowballs, apparently. Oh, okay. I am not in control. Uh, yeah, he just appeared in my basement. <laughs> Honest officer. Oh, I hate these puzzles. Why do they exist? Whee! Okay, we made it out. Whoa! Okay, that took it out in one hit. Nice. Apparently, this new sword that I've got, this critical one, can have a chance of just killing whatever you're fighting in one hit. There's a small chance of it happening. Ooh, halfway point. I am watching the world. Take this. Have some more experience points. Oh, I thought that was the noise of it opening up. Not yet. Uh, we're not taking a bit. I might stop soon so I can go and do something else before bed because I've been sitting here all day. Because I work in the same place that I play games and stream now, which is uh, a little bit weird because you're basically there all day, every day. Bum, 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 bum. I'll give it 15 more minutes and stop playing at half past. Hooray, I'm back, come back. Thank you very much. I will give you these mushroom shoes. Ooh, you'll be able to walk on ice. Oh, good. I need that. Bum, 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 bum. This music's making me go crazy. All right, let's get back. It's quite low key. I would like a more like jazzy version of it. It is quite warm inside the mountain. Apparently this is the Mountain of Souls. Let's go and see what the girl on the snail has to say. We are snail jockeys! This snail is called Legend. Yeah! Go snail jockeys. These creatures grow very fast. They became adults within half a year. Get married and have children and pass away in a year. They never feel their lives are too short. They enjoy each moment. <laughs> what? Since when do mushrooms get married and have children and understand life and existence? What is this game? <laughs> so random sometimes. What? <laughs> Uh, this game just throws random curveballs at you like that. My my, it's rare to see someone new. Please come into my room. Okay. Hop, 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 hop. Please sit right in front of me. Uh, uh, I don't know how to sit down. My, my legs, my legs are broken. Oh. I just have to stand on that side of the table. I, <laughs> my legs are broken. I have so many questions about human beings. Would you like to discuss them with me? Okay. Are you gonna... Are you gonna give me the choice? Please, sit right in front of me. I was. I am. Tell me... Uh, ask... Tell me all your questions. Um, uh, I guess he doesn't want to know that badly. 
I'm right here. I can't sit down. My legs are broken. Uh, all right, screw you, old man. I speak to this old man instead. He cloned himself. My wife was able to use magic at one time. <laughs> oh, okay. Good on your wife, I guess. We were really happy just gazing at each other. We were really happy just gazing at each other. But I may get old soon. <laughs> Maybe I should search for someone new. What is this game? <laughs> oh my god. What? What am I reading? I will give you my mushroom shoes. There is snail goo on the bottom of these shoes. <laughs> if you wear these, you will not slip on the ice. You will still slip on the slopes, though. They received the mushroom shoes. Full of snail goo, so the, the mushroom part of it doesn't even matter. Because it's the snail goo that's making them sticky. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, this game cracks me up. Oh, look at them. Look at the mushroom shoes. The snail goo enables you to walk on ice. <laughs> Now it all makes sense. This game just exists on a, a higher plane of existence that us mere mortals cannot comprehend. Oh my god. Will he talk to me now wearing my snail shoes? No. That's literally it. He was like Let me I want I wanna know everything and don't ask me anything. And I just wanna stare at each other. Well, the blue-haired one does. The red one's a bit bored. <clears throat> right, anyway, I guess back into the dungeon. Uh, for another ten minutes or so. Let's go. You would wear mushroom design slippers. If anyone wants some really obscure retro gaming merch, make the Soul Blazer mushroom shoes as slippers. I'll buy a pair as well. Someone make it happen. And no one would know that it's a reference to anything. Apart from us. Oh my god, those snowballs are so extreme. And they can follow me up the slope as well. Oh my god. Let me inside quick. Ready to walk on ice. Whoa! Uh, it's a bit underwhelming. Yeah, anything can happen and will happen at one point. Oh, we've got a grandma as well. There we go. They've been reunited. Someone's going to invent soul blazer mushroom slippers. That someone is me. I mean, or a random person somewhere out there in the world. Maybe someone already has a pair and we don't know about it. If anyone's got soul blazer mushroom slippers, let me know. Etsy has mushroom shoes. It's close. Do they uh, do they look like that though? I suppose they might do. They are literally just a mushroom. Oh, why is it following me down here? I didn't think it could come this far. Oh, they were waiting for me. What the hell are these snowballs? What's the point of coming down this side at all? There's there's nothing to do. There is one monster's lair somewhere. What a weird song. We've got some more enemies. What's the point of that? It doesn't go anywhere. Another weird shortcut. Ooh, we've got some foreground elements. Not really sure what they are. It's supposed to be stalactites, maybe? Whoa! Okay. Oh yeah, I just realised I don't need to be so cautious about using the magic anymore because of the uh, the new armor that I got. 
Nick released a snail again. Yay, another snail. You've been working on music. Nice. Where can people find your music? I dabbled in making music a while back. Someone in my Discord server editor was teaching me how to use Ableton. And I released another snail. That's three snails. I was quite enjoying it, but then I didn't really have enough time to work on it and do everything else that I wanted to. But back in the day, I used to love messing around with a program called EJ, if you've heard of that. Really, really simple music maker for Windows XP, I think, at the time. But I had so much fun making random songs and that. And I would love to try and recapture some of that fun. In a more modern environment. But completely just for fun, though. I wouldn't try and make any money from it or anything. What did that do? Oh, I used to have piranha plant slippers. Zero the prototype. Alright. I'll check it out later, because I'm always curious what what people um, are working on. I feel quite lucky that I get followed by a lot of really creative people, so it's always really fun. Because I understand that creative energy and, and drive so it's always cool to see what people are working on. And where your passions are. Ow, ow, ow. I don't think I'm in a good place. That's better. Oh, okay. This soundtrack is so weird. Like the songs themselves are really good, but they are completely out of place. And it's like just someone was just messing around on a synth keyboard, like bam, 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 bam. It's definitely not quite uh, Yuzo Koshiro's Act Razor, which was the game they made before this. Like, that's got an insane soundtrack. What have we released now? Another snail into the wild? Yeah, that one looks weird. More like a, a squid. Apparently that's a slope because I'm struggling to walk up it. More snails. A mushroom. Just like what's on the inside of my shoe. They only live for one year. They are fully aged by half a year and then they have kids get married and die. Such is the life of a soul blazer mushroom. I don't know why they included that random fact, but it's so funny. Oh, 
I love all the random characters that I'm meeting, and they only have like one or two lines, and it's just the most absurd things that you ever read. It's like, I don't know whether it's bad translation or it's just meant to be intentionally weird and incomprehensible. Uh, so unique. That's the best way to uh, to put it. Unique. Getting a, <laughs> yeah, they have to get a wife and kids. Or maybe that's the reason they're dying. Like, if they don't have a wife and kids, do they live longer than a year? But because it's, like, in their DNA, they've never tried not to have a wife and kids. And having a wife means that they have marriage ceremonies. Like, are there different types of mushrooms? And some of the mushrooms are, like, the priests or something? Like, explain that, game. Don't give me lore and then half-ass it. You know, we want to know, we want to know the full story here. Can't tell us mushrooms need to have a wife and kids and then not tell us how that happens. I don't want to know how they have kids though, that can be left up to the imagination. So many questions indeed. Hey, Gone Mad Trains here, how are you doing tonight? You've arrived towards the end of the stream, I was just about ready to wrap it up once I finished this area. Reminds you of the story of the vegetable soup. It, this game does have a very slight earthbound kind of feel to it, doesn't it? With the uh, weird absurdity of it. But obviously it doesn't have the modern setting or as much story to follow. Everything's very separated into the different worlds that you visit. Although I will say that I prefer the way the worlds are done in this over Act Razor. I think they're a lot more interesting. The environments, especially. They really did put a lot of th thought into you know, the world building, even if it doesn't make any sense. Hi! Hi. Fight magic items, hello! Everyone's joining just as I was about to wrap the stream up. No. Maybe I'll keep going for a bit longer. I'll make it to three hours. We're nearly there. I've been having a great time tonight, by the way. This game's just awesome. It may look extremely simple, but it is, it's fun to play, and it has just the weirdest characters and storylines. I love it. Who said that? Gone mad try and call an ambulance. I'm still alive! I just want to know the the life of the soul blazer mushrooms. And we can jam out to this awesome background music. Did we go up here? Ah! Apparently this is all a cliff. Oh, I've already been here. Okay. Yay, what's everyone else been up to tonight then? Or this afternoon, wherever about in the world you are. What time is it where you guys are? I know I've got people from all over. Got some from Canada, some from America, someone from the UK. Where's everyone else? joined in from tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We released another grandpa. I'm going to save speaking to everyone for the next stream. We can have a bit of fun interacting with all the random NPCs at the start of uh, next time. And I think that is a teleporter back. You've been working in the rain. You've been working on an Animal Crossing crossover. Is that the music you've been working on? Cool. Right, I will save here.
and we're on quite a night here, I think. Um, when we record everything, yes, um, I would love to see a random NPC just super fire out the way at the top of the mountain. You have to spend like 46 minutes fighting just to speak to him, and he'll say something like cheeseburger. Why do I feel like that's something that would happen in this game? Oh yeah, something I haven't tried yet. So when you save in these Quintet games, you get the option to either continue or not. And usually, there's a... Uh, I just realised my camera is really wonky today. It looks like I'm falling over. That's better. Weird. I haven't been sinking this whole stream. I know I've been a bit tired, but I haven't been like falling off my chair or anything. Um... As I was saying, these Quintet games have usually a different um, tune when you say you don't want to continue playing, so let's see if this one's the same. Rest well, there is still much to be done. Ooh, it's fading out. Yes, there we go, we get the dream theme, nice. I'll turn it up a bit. I love these kind of tunes in the Quintet games. In fact, in fact, bear with me one second, I've got something really cool that I can show you to end this stream. It is up there behind me. Let's go on camera for a second. So the game, oh my god, my hair is such a mess. I've been wearing headphones all day. Uh, so the, the game that comes after Soul Blazer, Illusion of Time, or Gaia for those of you in America, I had this frame made and as you can see on the back, it has two of these and I can't remember which one it is. Let's try that one. Maybe the battery's gone. No, maybe the battery's died. Well, it still lights up anyway, so that's that's one cool thing. They were supposed to play the music for the dream sequence, but I think the battery's gone on it. No, it doesn't play. It used to play music, but I guess it's a bit old now. But it's still cool that it lights up, and it's also kind of 3D as well. I sent the person who made it the uh, Photoshop file, so I put all these characters here and put them on different layers, and he turned it into this really nice little light-up picture frame. And if I can find some watch batteries, I might try and charge it up for the next stream, because when I've finished with this, I think we'll be moving on to Illusion of Time, so I just wanted to show that off before we end the stream. So thank you everyone for joining. I, again, I love this game so much. I. I really am enjoying it. It's the most weird and absurd action game that I've ever played. It's very simple, but I love the characters and I love the story, so... Oh, there we go. Now you can hear me. Welcome back to Soul Blazer. And I've just got to remember where we left off. I remember really laughing about these people that were sitting on the snails for some reason, so... Let's see what's going on there. Also, hopefully I've fixed the microphone because I don't know what's happened, but for some reason Windows has decided to make my microphone like five times more sensitive than it used to be. So hopefully everything sounds a little bit better this time because it sounded like I was just shouting at everyone before. Um, I remember laughing at this mushroom for some reason. Oh yeah, the life and times of a soul blazer mushroom. I think I was just coming back to speak to everyone and see if there's anything new that happened in the uh, in the area that we're in. I'm also going to open the window and take this jumper off because it's quite hot in here already. My PC really heats the room up. I keep forgetting that. There we go, that's better. Alright, let's see what's going on in the world of Soul Blazer. All the jockeys are here and the racetrack is finally finished. We're going to start the race, why don't you come along? Oh. Okay, they're all sitting on the snails because they're going to race them. Cool. On your mark. Well, everyone's on the mark. Okay, 
Are you ready? Get set, go! Wow, how exciting. Oh, why, why do they have to form a line? This is where the Mountain of Souls exists. Oh, okay, she's not part of the race. Oh my god, the mushroom shoes. That was a big deal last time. Oh yeah, I don't know why it's saying I'm playing Tetris Plus 2, because I'm not playing that anymore. Where are these guys going? I'm just doing a lap. Can I, talk to him? I have no time to talk, I'm going to lose the race. Oh no! I pushed him back, I better talk to the, the other one. There we go, get him right back in the same order. Oh uh, no, I really pushed him far back then. Is there any point to this? Where's he going? Maybe that's it. I've just set them off for the race. Is it rare to see someone new? Please come into my room. Oh, is this the guy who told me to sit next to him and then didn't do anything? Sit right in front of me. Okay, nothing happened last time. Let's see if anything happens now. I have so many questions about human beings. Would you like to discuss them with me? Again, I have no options. These guys are still just going around in circles. Let's see what's new up here. This is new. Hey, you're not going to the lake without a sword, are you? You're going to get in trouble. Talk to some of the people in town. Maybe they can help you. I don't think so. I love this music. I will not leave you and go off to the other places. I promise. As proof of my promise, I buried my belongings in the Aurora Ridge. The magic armor, 50 gems, and one medicinal herb. Okay. I hope someone will find them. Oops, I must have fallen asleep. that was. We're going to have to try and find that. Are you new? Make sure you search Lanol very carefully. If you move too fast you may have a lot of thin, have a lot of things. I don't need to come back here, I've already done all that. Let's try going to the warp place and see whether there's anything else to do further here. Let's try this way. This is the halfway point. I don't know why I didn't finish this area last time. Oh, the game's too loud now. I knew something had changed. Let's try that. Is that better? I was trying to mess with some settings before I started today. I think I might have broken something. There was a Windows update and it completely broke how my microphone sounds. I don't know why they 
did it, but I have to put it on like a quarter of the regular volume. And it looks like I've already completely cleared this area out last time. Maybe I should have locked up the... Uh... Oh, then I've got the right shoes on. That's right, I've got the mushroom shoes now. That was one of the new things. Now I can walk on the ice. That's probably what I need to do now, is find somewhere... There's one of the halfway points. Oh well, enjoy this funky music while I find my way around. Oh, I realise why that uh, question there sounds so weird. It's because you would usually think that the words go back mean to like quit out of the question itself, but it actually means go back to the starting area. Which is backwards to what you actually want to do. There's nowhere to go here. And according to that, there's no monsters lairs remaining here any either. Um, let's just take me back outside again. There was something in the guy's dream about having buried something here. I don't know how you uncover buried things. There's no monsters layers here, but there was a bunch of stuff buried around here. I thought it might be on one of those mounds in the snow. But now I'm just getting attacked by snowballs all the time. Uh, there's nothing I can do to stop it happening either. And those holes look like you could go into them, but I don't think you can. Alright, there is nothing left to do in this main area, so let's go back to the town. Ooh, that's a nice background. Look at that. Mode 7. That's very nice. There's no vertical movement, but it still looks nice going horizontal. Hmm, again, no more monster slayers here either. What am I meant to be doing now then? Dun 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 just enjoying the music. Okay. We've already spoken to them guys of in their snail race. We haven't been up there just yet, but that guy wouldn't let me go up there. You're not going to lake with that sword, are you? You're going to get in trouble. Talk to some of the people in town. Maybe someone can help you. What about if I just get rid of the sword? This passage leads to the underground lake loom. Okay. I'm not allowed to go there yet. Time goes by very fast in these caves, apparently. Oh, I thought that was a path there. Why did they put that bit there if you're not allowed to walk down it? I don't know what to do now. I've already spoken to everyone. With all their weird interactions that I had to listen to last time. Oh, maybe I haven't spoke to her before. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. I didn't expect that to happen. Hey, wait, put me back! Can I speak to that mushroom when I'm over there? I'll tell you a secret. If you see a sleeping mushroom, return to the same place you saw in its dream. 
how do you know if a mushroom's sleeping or not? Oh, I think that's the only other person that we hadn't spoken to yet. Don't tell me we have to watch these guys actually doing their entire race. Am I going to have to get up a walkthrough, really? I think all the stuff that that person was talking about was just the stuff that I found on the uh, on the mountain range. gone somewhere new. Maybe I'll use that teleporter again. I had to look up a video because I'm completely lost. I shouldn't have left it for a week. Can't get that way out. Oh, that's not... Oh, it is where I was. Okay. Maybe I just had to carry on from here. I didn't realise I hadn't cleared this area out. I didn't need a guide after all. I received the lucky blade. Whoa, level 15, yay. And what else did it say? The chance of getting larger gems increases. It's a shame it looks exactly the same. I've already been everywhere here apparently. the crab walk. <laughs> Am I missing a bridge or something? Hmm. I need to get on that side somehow. Hmm. Looks like there should be a way across here. I don't need to get rid of all them, do I? That wouldn't make sense. I suppose I can attack them with magic, but that's probably not what you're supposed to be doing. Because you'd still need to go over there. Hmm. Destroy all these, maybe? Have I already been here? Is this where I came from? Yeah, I've already done all this. Must be some kind of bridge in this area to allow me to... Oh, there's one there. Is there one on this side? Hmm. Anyway, while I figure this out, how's everyone doing tonight? I know it's not my normal Tuesday to do streams, but I'll be busy tomorrow, so I had to come on and do it today instead. Ah, oh, there's one. There we go. Nick released Grandpa, yay. Why is he in a prison cell? secret bridge here somewhere. Slowly shimmy across. 
Still at work? What time is it over in America? It is nearly 8 o'clock here in the UK. It feels a lot later than that though, I'm shattered today. Maybe it's not a good idea doing a stream on a Monday evening straight after a busy day back at work. I'm not... I was not in the mood for work today. 10 to 3? Oh, wow. Do I have to go and talk to that grandpa? How's your day at work going then? Hopefully not too bad, there's only a few hours left. Ah, maybe we're allowed up here now, we've got the new sword. Yeah. Is this where the guy was? Oh, okay, that's just the way out onto the other side. Let's go and see what that guy's up to first. Ah, well, you've done enough for today, then you can relax now. I was pretty much done with work by around 3 o'clock today as well. Did my big task for the day. Uh, how do I get over there? Maybe I can't go there yet. Maybe that lady will teleport me in there now? That mushroom's just going to tell me, look for sleeping mushrooms. Maybe there's something else that happens later that opens that up. Right, let's carry on into the dungeon. Was there any point in doing that? New area, yay. What's that? Okay, summon spikes. Ice, icicle spikes. Oh, I hope I'm not getting a cold. I can feel my nose like it's starting to get a cold. My eyes are stinging. Might make it a fairly short stream today. I don't think anyone was expecting me to stream today either. Nick released a boy. Yay! What was the point of that? It just opened up a path back to the same place. Stop spinning! <laughs> they all just spun around in place. Delete. Why 
is the UI for Twitch so terrible? I can't delete that message, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I've read online that if you stand to the right so that the sword ends on the enemy, it actually kills them twice as fast because it stays uh, it stays there for two frames instead of one. So I don't know if you have to be like that, maybe. I'll try and do an experiment and see the difference between what a regular... Well, maybe these aren't the best enemies to test it on. They all die in one hit anyway. Whenever we find a bigger enemy, I'll try it out and see if it makes any difference. <coughs> I've definitely come down with something. I can feel my whole face all tickling. Oh, I should go and kill them. I forgot you're supposed to just kill everything. Oh no! How did I make it to the boss already? Maybe I should actually die on purpose. I'm probably going to anyway. Oh no! What a surprise. Do not rush, but be patient. Well, there was only one more enemy to kill. Oh no, we have to traverse all the way back over there again. Oh yeah, we have to go out to get back in. sword yep all this time playing this game and I still can't remember the right button combination so it's X to bring up the menu Y to go back doesn't make any sense who decided that was a good control system oh yeah that's right and we go up here and we go back down the other side I wonder if there's a way of getting the camera to be more, like, in line with me without it getting in the way of the screen. I always feel like I'm looking too far to the side. Not really much else I can do, though. I have to 
be like that, I guess. This is why I opened up the shortcut. Oh, I haven't got any gems. I've got one. That was easy. Oh, wow, okay. Even though the boss is right there, there's a bunch of other stuff to uncover first. Okay. down. Where's the wizard? Evil wizard. And again. I was actually listening to this soundtrack on its own the other day while I was working. Even though the songs don't really fit the environments, I still think they're really cool. I'm looking forward to the other games as well because they've all got great soundtracks. I'm really looking forward to checking out Robotrek actually. Because that one is kind of like a... Oh, there we go, we've got the final checkpoint. Yay. Should we save as well because we've made some progress. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Enjoy the bum 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 bum. Enjoy these chill beats. I love it. I want to know what direction they were given when the, when they made these songs because it really doesn't match anything that's going on. Well, this one isn't too bad, but some of the other ones were, like, crazy. Uh, don't make me waste all my gems. Yes. Is that it? One more, maybe? Oh my god, I can't get them. Endless supply of bats coming from there. Come on, that's got to be it. Yes. Finally. Oh, I could have just gone down there anyway. Never mind. Right, what have we uncovered this time? A grandma. Yay, another grandma. Even though she's probably only like, what was it, like six months old or something? This game is so weird. Uh, okay, where are you taking me now? I thought I was nearly done with this level, but it just goes on. So we've already been up here. So, th oh, there's still two more remaining in here as well. Oh, good job I didn't just go and fight the boss. There's loads more to uncover. Oh my god, I hate these bats so much. And you can't do it all in one go either. These are probably the most annoying enemies in the game so far. Another halfway point. Oh. Now a bunch of experience. Would you like to return to the location of the mountain? No. Oh, that's it. We're done for that side. Hair's getting in the way. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go down here then. This area's all cleared out now. And we've got a bunch more experience points. Let's see how many more we need. 
Uh, we need 420. We got 394. Not far off. Uh, there's four remaining here. Okay. Right, that is the boss. We don't want to go into the boss room just yet, because there's still some more stuff to uncover for the main area. Nothing on that side. Here's one. Hopefully that will let me cross over that bridge there. <coughs> Whoa, he's never done that before. Maybe the red ones do that, the purple ones don't seem to. Oh yeah, I can test out the sword. Where do you have to stand? Like that? Yeah. So it ends on the right, because apparently it stays on the right-hand side for two frames instead of one. Which actually means you do twice as much damage as normal. Have we unleashed another grandma into the world? Yeah, we have! <laughs> oh, there's two of them, having a face-off. There's still one more. I don't think those statues actually count towards anything. They're just kind of there. I wish there was a map. Not having a map makes it really difficult to actually find out where you need to go next. head back. Maybe we need to try and speak to some of these new people. <coughs> I don't know why my mouth's all dry today as well, so I apologise if I sound a little bit different to normal. Here we go. Please save the king. Please save the king. Okay, that's it. Nothing there? Looks like this should be some sort of passage there. I know, I've been trying to take it slow. I don't know if there was anything else new, was there? I can't remember uncovering anything else. I don't understand the point of this. I tried doing this earlier and it didn't do anything. Everyone's already on their mark. Go! I was so sure that this song was from ActRaiser, but apparently it's not. It just sounds very similar. The first few notes, in particular. Are like almost identical to something in ActRaiser. Oh yeah, and the game we're going to be playing after this is actually ActRaiser 2. Which is going to be interesting because apparently that's extremely difficult. And I don't know how far I'm actually going to be able to get in it, but I'll try my best. Uh, has anyone watching ever played ActRaiser 2? Have you ever got past the first level? I've attempted playing it several times, but I've never actually got past level one. Okay, that's where we're coming. 
I'm still looking for one more enemy base here. It might be one of those hidden bridges. Yeah, Actraiser 2 is a lot harder. Uh, basically, it's all it's all action stages, and they like increase the difficulty like ten times. It does look really cool though. The graphics are really nice, and you have the ability to fly, or at least like hover, kind of like Rayman, but obviously without his weird hair. So it looks it looks really cool, and it's a really good action game, but it doesn't have the same love that the first one does. I can't find this last one anywhere. I might try and have a look on the video. Every time I open this video, I manage to find out where to go without using it. Oh, how did we get in there? I think I'm missing something from one of the dreams. Or did I need to wait for the snails to finish their race? Maybe. Yeah. It was something to do with the prison. Set these guys off on their race again. I don't know how, but somehow they got inside the prison where the old man came from. That's where I need to try and go. And then you can go up from there, like, into where the prisons are, but I can't get there for some reason. Should be down here. And then... Uh, down a bit more. Should be here. So, let's see if I can see what uncovers that. You're still watching the snail race. Do they like come and break down the wall or something? Here they are. All right, she's enjoying it. I think I've gone too far, they're in a different area there. It's just already open for them every time I look at it. I don't understand how I could have missed anything. They're not doing anything, they're just walking around in circles. How do I unlock this? I'm definitely missing something. <clears throat> I 
I don't know what to do. I can't go anywhere. I need to get through there somehow. In that room there. They're just going around in circles. where it's like someone's talking about their journey through the game complete with random character portraits of them talking to each other what have I found? huh, okay there's no consequence to watching the snail race Just walked straight in there. But I've freed everyone, there's no more path. Can't walk into it. Maybe I should just ignore it and go and fight the boss. I think I missed something, but it seems like my game's broken, I guess. Or I've missed something really obvious. Ah. Oh! <laughs> okay, every time I watch that video and come back to the game, I just randomly find something else. I would not have thought to look up there. Where are you taking me? Oh, that's how you get to that. Okay. Strange bottle. Is that one of the items? You will not lose any gems should your life meter reach. Reach what? Empty? Reach zero, I guess? Yeah, that might be useful, but I guess we have to wear these shoes here, else we'll slip around everywhere. Um, still one layer remaining. Here it is. Maybe this is what's going to let me into the prison. I wish you could pick them up with the sword. Is it? Oh no, instead I get a treasure chest. Rotator. Oh, new magic. A light ring will rotate around you. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take it. Doesn't help me... Um... There must be a bit where there's still some left then.
Maybe I should go back to the other area. Just check. I'm not missing any. I can probably come back from in here, can't I? Let's have a look at the lock around. Alright, there is one more. Is there a hidden bridge somewhere? I'm not sure what I think about this magic, it's a bit weird. This one seems really difficult to aim properly. So I'm trying to bash against the wall to see if there's any area that's open. It says there's one monster's lair remaining in this area. That's where the boss is. There's another one of them. Maybe we're just going to kill all them. No? What the hell? I swear I've been everywhere now. There's definitely one left. There's one up there. Oh, I can see it! How do I get over there? Where is that? Well, I know where it is. What? Ah, do I have to get to it from a different location, maybe? be on top of there somehow. Like, from up here? I don't remember seeing another entrance though. Look at a map. Soul Blazer map. Not a soup blazer. SNES maps. Enjoy this music while I try and find the map. So we want. Oh, they didn't get far enough. I love finding old websites like this, but it stopped there. That's sad. They looked really cool, too. Um, Trying to look at the other walkthrough, see if I can find a way over there. Uh, I'm missing so much stuff. 
I don't know what this area is called either. Uh, ice map. Maybe? Mountain of Souls. Well, I found a map, but not in the right, not in the right area. Um, Mountain of Souls. Ah, oh, here's some maps. Yeah, if all the adverts won't get in the way. Ice Hill. Nope. North Slope. Nope. I don't know what this area is called. Top of Snow Mountain? Nope. Underground Lake? Well. Nine makes... <laughs> it's weird. I... I found a map there, but it doesn't really help. But at least I know what the area is called. Mountain of Souls. Underground Lake. Not Dark Souls. Blazer. The hidden what? hidden passage? No. Why? Why would they put hidden things in the floor? I think I know what to do now, and it's pretty stupid. Uh, I didn't see where it was exactly, but it said there's a hidden passage. Somewhere. Maybe I should check on the map. Where is that? Should be right there. That's in the right spot, isn't it? <sighs> Won't let me go down there for some reason. I might just have to give up here. There's a whole bunch of emblems that apparently I should know they exist as well. I hate it when games have things that are so hidden away you've got no idea of how to even attempt to try and find them. Do I need to set these guys off first? It's 
It's right there, apparently. Don't need to talk to her first. There's another room in there that's completely empty as well. I don't understand what I'm missing. and the A button just in case. Alright. I give up. I've probably missed a whole bunch of stuff, but there's nothing I can do at this point. If anyone's watching this after the fact, let me know where I went wrong, because I really can't see anything there at all. So I'm just going to go and attempt to fight the boss instead. Unless you have to come back after fighting the boss. And maybe I shouldn't have... Uh, bothered to look at the uh, let's try this one where where am I allowed to hit him Okay, apparently magic just doesn't work. Okay, that did something. I forgot how much of a sponge these enemies can be. The magic doesn't do anything. Or at least that one doesn't. Let's try the new one. Oh, uh, used it all up. What the hell? Ah! I don't know why that doesn't always hit. Safer. Eh? Stand here the whole time then. Ah. Is that it? You literally just have to wait for him to go down that side and then just move slightly to the left. I don't understand when I'm allowed to hit him. Ah. I'm not using the right sword. I'm using the strongest sword and it's not doing any damage. He's still on full health. I must be doing something wrong here. What the hell? I'm 
<laughs> Guys, what am I doing wrong? He's still on full health, even after all these hits. What? We're gonna have to look up a walkthrough again. I was really enjoying this game before, but this... This session today has just been awful. And none of the magic did any damage to him either. And the sword doesn't seem to be doing any damage. And sometimes they hit me and sometimes they don't. What's going on? It's not doing anything. doing any damage, it just changes the colour of the health bar. I, know, I was told to stand sideways. I guess you can move up there to dodge out the way of that. Right, let's try this. hasn't done any damage. What is going on? Okay, they're the same level as well. Doing what I did, I guess. Just stand to the side and hit him like that. Oh, there we go. It is starting to take damage. Okay. He just had a bit of extra health that it doesn't even want to tell you about. Oh my god. There's no point even trying to uh, collect any extra gems because none of the uh, magic attacks actually do any damage to him. Ah, I don't know how to avoid them yet. Use these bits going up and down, I suppose. Can't get in that corner. Ow! I don't know when to start moving down there. Hey Quang, how are you doing this evening? Ah! Maybe two hits and then get it. I don't know when it starts firing those fireballs. I think when it's in the middle like that, you, there's no way of going anywhere. Oh yeah, you can press the R button to do that. Ah! Not like that. 
you can use the R button to hold the sword straight out in front of you and move side to side. Alright, let's try again. Maybe there aren't even any enemies here to... I'm so close to levelling up. There are enemies over here, but I can't reach them. Just do that. I might try going back. Over here first. Do these give you any XP? No. Ah, there's no enemies left. I literally need, what, 29 more experience points. And then I'd be level 20... level 17. Oh, I know what else I can do. I don't need the mushroom shoes anymore, so I can wear... Actually, there's two things I could try. this one to begin with. That'll reduce the attack damage that the enemy does by half. Okay. Let's go in there with the sword facing forward. Uh, stand opposite the spear hand. Let's see if it does any damage here. Ah! It still doesn't help with dodging that. There's nowhere to go! There's only up and down there. He didn't even attack on the other hand that time. It sounds like it's doing more damage. Ah, there we go. It started taking damage now. The health bar's already the entire height of the screen. Ah, there we go. You just have to dodge from side to side like that. I have another item that I can use as well. Uh, let me go across there and then down. I do have a ah a herb as well, which will grant me a bit more uh, an extra life, basically. Ow! 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 ow. Good job I put that bracelet on. Oh my god, they really don't give you any room to move. I keep forgetting that you can just hold the sword out straight in front of you. Oh, that was close. Oh my god, I had nowhere to go. Okay, let's change that. Yay, thank you for the follow. Ryan Mercer, thank you. There we go, we used our herb. We're going in for a stab. Hopefully there's someone in the town that can refill the herb if I need to use it again. Yay, we did it! That wasn't too hard. Hopefully, that opens up... Hey, we released the king. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. I was hoping...
to be able to go to where the prison is in the main area. Well, we freed the king anyway, which was the main objective. Yay. Oh, there's a, a duplication on that there, but thanks for the bits. And uh, there is one monster lair still. I don't know how to get to it. I can see it. Right, anyone who's watching, see if you can figure out how to get over here, because I think... See up there, on that platform there. I need to get to that somehow. There's no way up there. And I've already uncovered everything else. In one of the previous areas, there's some invisible bridges, but I don't think... I don't think there's any here. I've tried pushing up against all the walls. I need to get down there. Somehow. Well, I think it's optional, but like that's the last thing that I need for this whole area. But I've been around everywhere and I couldn't find out any way to get there. Um, let's see if it did open the path anyway. That's what I've been trying to do. No, we still can't get there. Just get to those bars over there where the prison is. There should be a path here, and I think it's that last bit on that platform that I need to unlock to get through to that. According to a video I watched, there was a secret passage uh, here in that block there. But again, I can't get to it for some reason. But there is one new area, at least. Whoa, big new area. Let's see what the king has to say. Well, let's see what these people have to say. I'm a magician. If you collect the master's three symbols, I will call the phoenix. Okay. You saved me. Thank you very much. I treated the snail, gnome, very poorly. I would not trust all the things gnome was saying. He told me monsters would invade our town. I put him in prison. See, gnome, I believe you're. I believe you will find what you're looking for. By the way, have you heard of the phoenix? Whoever collects the master's three symbols, the red hot mirror, the red hot ball, and the red hot stick, shall have the phoenix help them. That person will inherit the strongest power. If you collect them all and bring them to me. Do I have any of those? I don't think I've got any of that. Oh no. Maybe we have to come back later. Let's see whether that opened the portal to the next area. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Let's go back to the start. Uh, we need to go see whether we can choose move. Yeah, we can. Alright, let's save first. And I might try going back to some of the earlier areas. Now that I've got a better sword, um, I'll press the wrong button. Now I've got a better sword, I should be able to kill some of the enemies that were impossible in the earlier stages. So let's try going all the way back here to begin with, and go to the end of that area, which I think is yeah this way. And there should be. I still can't hurt them. I haven't got any gems either. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, unless this one does. No. Oh, that one stuns them, but it doesn't actually destroy them. I guess not yet, then. I can try stabbing. No. Damn! Well, it was an idea, anyway. Oh, we've got to slowly make our way back down this conveyor belt. Okay, never mind about that.
There was a bit in the volcano as well, with one of those metal gorillas that I couldn't fight before. Let's see whether the new sword... No, not down here. This place was really weird, from what I remember. There should be a volcano somewhere. Can't remember how to get there. Yay, another new follower. Hello. Uh, from Vibes Del The Kingdom Come. I think that's how you say it. I'm doing okay, thanks. Oh, I'm quite tired tonight, but I'm doing my best. We're making some slow progress through this. Listen to this awesome music. Uh, how many hours am I in? This is the third stream, and I've been streaming for three hours each time, so maybe like seven and a half hours at this point. Something like that. I'm not sure how long the whole game is. I think I'm more than halfway through. I don't know how to get to the volcano. And until I'm getting a bit stuck today, I've been really enjoying it overall. But it does seem to be getting really challenging to figure out what you're supposed to do. Can I play with the team? What do you mean? Not in a game like this. Oh, I don't know where the volcano is. Let's just go over to the next area and we can carry on the story. Maybe I'll come back to some of these older levels uh, off-stream. I love this map, by the way. How cool is this? I love that sound, too. Pew. So... Oh, can we not go to the next area yet? Oh my god, I'm so lost this time. missing something. That's the only place left. There's no hidden bridge here. I tried looking up a map for this area and it just showed where they are. It didn't actually show how you get to them. Yeah, I'm not giving out my Discord username. I presume it's just a bot, don't worry about it. Let's go back. God, I really don't know what to do. I've already spoke to everyone. <laughs> At least buy me a virtual drink first. It doesn't explain what any of these items are. Or where to get them from. Oh, uh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! <laughs> I'm definitely missing something. I need to get inside there somehow. The only other thing that I might have missed, there was something about 
if I see mushrooms asleep, then use the special rod to enter dreams or something, but I haven't found any. I don't think there's a way out up there either. There's one over there, but it's already awake. Uh, it is so frustrating, especially when you're on stream and you want it to be entertaining, but I literally don't know what to do. I thought killing the boss would let me move on to the next area. I can speak to this lady who uses magic to teleport me. And I can speak to this, and it says, I'll tell you a secret. If you see a sleeping mushroom, return to the same place you saw it in its dream. And then a minute later, I'll get teleported out again. And... I can't find a sleeping mushroom anywhere. And there's one more base that I could unlock. But I can't figure out how to get to it. Make sure you search very carefully. I've searched everywhere, literally every pixel. There's a sleeping mushroom right there, but it's inside the jail cell. Oh, this is new. Are you going to take me somewhere? When I spoke to them last time, they didn't walk around. Are you going to go anywhere? This is our vehicle. Yes, I can see that. Are you just going to go around in a circle? Great. I thought I was onto something then. And she starts a snail race for some reason. But nothing happens from that either. They just are up here and they just decide to go around in a circle. <laughs> Everyone's on the mark. Are you ready? Get set, go. And then she goes off down here and she's all excited. And this one complains about how fast they grow old or something. Okay. Good for them. What am I supposed to do? Well, there's another snail here. Um, I think he's already awake now, so I can't use that on him. I tried watching a walkthrough, but in the walkthrough I saw, I don't know whether I missed a bit, but this bit was already open. I might have to try and look again. I was following a, a video guide just to get to that boss in the first place. I need to go back a lot more. There might be something that I've missed in a different area, in which case I have no idea how to get back to it. it seems like there's loads of stuff I'm missing if I need to build that phoenix for the king. I said I needed three items and I don't think it's these stones. I need to get eight of those, somehow. It's very cryptic. Why do old games not explain anything? <clears throat> right, I'm having a look at the snow area right from the start, so... Maybe I should go through it at the same time. Because I'll be able to skip forward, at least. So let's start on the side. And go back to the beginning. Oh, I think it's the other way. This was the beginning of the confusion because it took me forever to realise that there's invisible... Um, if you bash your head against the wall here, there's an invisible path up to this, which is where the sword that I needed was. I've killed everything. See where it says Monster's Lair remaining? Monster's Lair remaining zero. Everything's dead. And that should have opened a path. But nothing's happened.
Oh my god. Was that for this game or for a different game? I do feel like there's going to be something in this game and if I didn't know I was supposed to pick it up, I'm just locked out. There's... Oh, there's one in this area. Okay. Well then, I'll pause the video. Looks like... Looks like there's an enemy lair in this section. That I didn't take out. Maybe I went the wrong way. Imagine trying to get through a game like this in the 90s with no internet. Same. Is that a different area? Yep. Yeah. Ah, there's one! That must be it! That must be it! Please! If it's not, I'll cry. Come on, green blobs! They don't even attack me, I can just stand here. I'll try that. Stab. Okay, that's harder to do than just swiping the sword. One more. No, two more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, please open, please open, please open! Yay, that's what I missed. That's how they managed to just walk through there. Okay, and there's another mushroom. Right, back we go. I didn't need to walk through after all. Yep, the answer is, if in doubt, kill everything. I was just in the wrong place. It's so weird that it lets you fight the final boss for the area before you've actually unlocked everything. Alright, let's go back. Uh, which way? That way? No. That way. And then we go back down here. I have no idea what the point of that snail race is. So it should open up down here now, yay! There is a prison over there. Well, there are no actual bad people, I guess it's just a punishment room. <laughs> what? The doors aren't even locked. The king has spoken of you, the snail over there is gnome. I used to live in Dr. Leo's house. Dr. Leo was asked by King Megrid to build a machine that would call upon evil. Because he refused, he was taken to Magrid Castle. He secretly gave us four stones and told us to run away. Those stones are key to the world of evil. The other stones are in Dr. Leo's laboratory in, and in the castle of Magrid. Here, take the silver stone and hurry to the laboratory where Dr. Leo was held. What is his daughter's name? Lisa. I wonder how she's doing. Lisa was the girl in the village at the start and Dr. Leo was a guy who was like hired by someone to create an infinite wealth machine, but he had to do a deal with the devil or something. It's all very weird. There is a house in the desert to the southeast, I guess. Mechanical monsters that cannot be defeated by normal swords exist there. Oh no. And there is a sleeping snail, so that means we have to get out the dream rod. Oh, a mushroom. So I place the dream rod on the mushroom. And now we have to figure out where we are. Is that what I couldn't see? Where is that? Make sure you don't walk around in a dream or you'll get lost. In this case, it ruined this character's day because he got sent down from heaven to stop this guy who was trying to invent an infinite wealth machine or something. It's very weird. The intro video tries to explain what's going on, but it doesn't really do a very good job. Uh... <laughs> uh, what now? <laughs> go back in, I guess? We go this way? Maybe we... Maybe that's a long way around. We have a shortcut. Did it open something here? It looked like this kind of place. 
so now we've got to look around here for somewhere that resembled uh, that place in the dream. I thought it was there, but I guess not. Not there either. Oh, was that it? What benefit does that do? Oh! It's opened a bit on the other side as well. That's where the uh, that's where the thing was. Yay! I hate these bats, by the way. This is the bit I couldn't get to earlier. What a weird route to get to this! Oh my god. I'm really worried about what the last two levels are. They're going to be so convoluted, aren't they? Come on, there's still more. I do have some magic though, that's better. Oh, that's the benefit of having this one. For attacking things that go around you like that. Yay! Alright, let's see what this unlocked. Nick released a snail. How are we going to get in there? Oh, is that what the secret entrance is? Okay. You actually have to unlock the snail first. That area is now 100% cleared out as well. The bats in Castlevania are worse. Hello. Oh, thank you. You okay? You come to get tied to. <laughs> Bye. So maybe. Oh my God. Straight away. I only know that because I saw a picture of someone standing there. Uh, how would you figure that out? How would you know you could go down there? Let me see what's on this side. Because I already knew that. There's literally nothing to give that away at all. You can just see the snail in there. Nothing's opened on that side. There's no sign that there's a door or anything. Look at that. That's ridiculous. How did you get in? Here, I'll give you this. Let's save the master's emblem E. That's it? Can I move on now? Yeah, we can move on. Okay, new area. Let's go. Let's see what the story's all about this time. Where are we? Ruined mansion? Okay, this is Dr. Leo's lab. There are machines lurking around here, which only the powerful Zantetsu sword can defeat. First of all, talk to a certain door to get you into the room. Do I have the Zantetsu? No. Okay, we need to find another new sword. I'm not even allowed to have my sword out here. I wonder if Dr. Leo is the same... Oh, okay. Now we can get it out. More crazy music. Oh, okay, this place looks weird. How many monsters? 19! Oh my god. This is going to take a while. 19 monsters layers. What is this crazy music to? Oh my god. I released a great door. Whoa, look at that door. How is it great compared to the other one? This music's insane. Bam 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 bam. I can't even attack that yet. Not even with magic. Oh, I have to. What is that? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this place. Ah! Oh no, I'm trapped. Ah! Oh my... God. Why would he invent his lab like this? What the hell? Uh, I feel like I'm playing a really weird version of Pac-Man. Ah! Just die! There we go. Dun 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 Although I don't think I can do anything about that one. I'm gonna die. Nothing I can do about that either. I can try some different magic maybe. Uh, let's try that one. Oh no, I haven't... <clears throat> I've got a half damage bracelet, maybe that will help. Uh, oh my god, I couldn't get anywhere. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's in here. Is that a new sword? Yay, Zantetsu sword. Hey Stan8110, good evening. Sorry you're late. No worries. You can catch back up. I haven't made that much progress yet. I don't normally stream on a Monday either. So I don't... Uh, I didn't expect many people to show up. So thank you. Um, I'm busy tomorrow playing uh, a game with some friends because it's the only day they could do. So I thought I would stream tonight instead. And then I somehow have to make a video in two days on Wednesday and Thursday to get it up by the weekend. So that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. Oh yeah, we've got a new sword, level 16. Is it more strength too? Yeah, it defeats monsters with special armor. Actually, I wonder whether that, if we go back... I wonder whether this sword will let me take out the monsters uh, back here. Uh, go to the right, I think. Let's try it. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, it did! Okay, we're going to get something cool for doing this, I hope. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Is that it? Alright, let's see what happens. Net released. Ooh, okay, cool. I don't remember how to get there. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen if I go up here. This is where the boss was. Oh, just nothing. That's a bit weird seeing it like that. Uh, okay. Go find a way to get to that door then. And... Oh, I was going to put my jumper on, but I'll wait until I'm somewhere. Oh, I wonder whether there's a different route here. Let's try this one. I think I need to come from inside the dungeon. But... It wasn't there, was it? That's the other one. Hmm. It wasn't that, was it? It could be up the top. Oh yeah, while we're here. Uh, not there. Oh yeah, that's Dr. Leo's daughter, by the way. Um, her mum got reincarnated as a goat or something. <laughs> I don't really understand what's going on in this game. Anyway, we can get... A new herb. Yay. There we go. Go find out where that cliff was. Was it up here? No. It's there. 
How do I get there? I'm not sure what the point of activating that is anyway. But it must be important for it to show up this light into the game. Oh, is it here? It wasn't in the dungeon. That's it. There we go. Okay, right. What does this do? I am watching over this world. Please, please take this sword. Ooh. The recover sword. We've got a special sword from that. Whoa. Level 22! Oh my god. HP will be filled when the monster is defeated. Wow, that was worth coming back for. Awesome. That was a cool find. Nice. Right, while we're on this mission cleaning up some of the previous areas, if we go to the second area, or, th no wait, if we go to the third area, I think, well, I've gone a bit of a weird way here. I think there's a bit over here I can loop back around into. No monsters layers, I thought there might be one then. Enjoy this music while I head back. I don't remember how to get back. Oh, am I not allowed to use a sword because I'm not high enough level yet? Damn. I need to be level 22 to be... to be allowed to use it. No way! What level am I? 17. That's not fair. I don't know how to get out now. I thought it was around here. I'm completely lost now. Oh well. How much XP do I actually need? Oh my god, loads. I don't think these will actually give much, will they? Two. It would take forever to grind here. Some of the walkthroughs I saw had people with like thousands of, of gems somehow. I don't know if they just never used any magic. I only get one for defeating them. Water drop enemies. At least my health is so crazy high I don't need to worry about any of the fireballs anymore. I feel like I'm doing this whole thing backwards. Why am I here? Well, that's a good way to get some more gems anyway, because I was running out of them really fast with that new magic. Right, we can use that. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to the uh, teleporting thing. Oh, I remember where the other one is. If we can go back up here. It is in this guy's garden. There it is. And now we can move. Don't remember if there was anything in the second area left to try and get. Let's have a look. I loved this place though. This was probably my favourite place to just explore and figure out, you know, what was going on everywhere. To learn the story of all the different animals that lived here. Uh, but in terms of the lair itself, I don't really think there was anything left to do. I can try and go to the right. I think the right is always the end of the lair. Oh, there is. There's something else. Okay. There is one in here. 
maybe that'll get us a level, uh, level 17 sword. If we can find out where it is. In the dark. Okay, this still counts as the same area. But at least the lights are on. I can't remember what happens here to this. Do these change somehow? Is that where I came in? I don't remember. Okay, there it is. Am I supposed to be... Trying to take these out, because that's not doing anything. Maybe I can't do this one yet. That's not making any difference. Okay, I guess that one isn't anything I can actually do yet. There's nothing out here. Oh, they are a bit stronger level though. Still got ages to go until I can get to level 18 though. There's one in here as well. Oh, okay, cool. This is something new at least. We can take these. Couldn't attack these before. Even the magic doesn't work. I don't know if the lair's actually on this floor though. Yes, it is. Awesome. We're just going to destroy all of them. Is that the last one? Yeah! Okay, let's go and see what this did. So that means there was at least two things to do here. Ooh, what do we get? Do we get XP? Yeah! Not much. That hardly gave me anything, right? How do I like the game? I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, a bit hit and miss depending on whether you can actually understand what you're supposed to do next or not. But I really enjoy the stories and rescuing people and stuff. Um, wait, is that just giving me one XP each time? You mean to say I could just literally put this on turbo mode and just leave this on overnight and become like level a million? Let's see if it keeps doing it. I'm not even touching the controller. <laughs> I can't believe that. Actually, I'm just going to pop to the toilet, so I'm going to leave it on this uh, for just a minute and I'll be back in just a second. Enjoy!
I'm back. Have I leveled up? No, it's very slow doing it that way. Uh, let's stay. One X <laughs> you were counting. One XP every seven seconds. So I need what? Fifty-nine thousand XP, and I've got forty-eight. So work out how long that would take if I was just to do that, speak into that statue. <laughs> That's a lot. So I need about 10,000 more. <laughs> what is 77,000 seconds in minutes? What's 1,283 minutes in hours? Okay, it would take 21 hours. Wow. Okay, maybe that statue isn't such a good deal after all. That's insane. Right, I wanted to try going back here and see whether it says there's still a separate lair here. Oh yeah, it wasn't here, was it? It was back in the other building. Let's go back. Maybe there's a better statue waiting for me over there. Enjoy this cool music anyway. Even just killing these enemies out here gives you a bunch more XP than any of that. That one gave me 10. Let's see, I think it's a separate area. Yeah, there's still one remaining here. But I don't think I have the ability to defeat any of these. I can try different magic. I didn't try this one yet. No. No, it doesn't do anything. Probably need to use that level 22 sword. Oh yeah, I suppose so. If you've got the ability to fast forward the game itself. Might be a good way of levelling up. But definitely not a speedrunning tactic. That's for sure. Hmm. No, none of the enemies respawn unless you leave the area and come back in, I don't think. And there's, a, there's very few regular enemies in the game as well. Most of them come from the lairs, which just get destroyed. Uh, right. There is one more area that I know of that we'll be able to get something from. And that is in this section here, with a variety of different locations. We need to find our way to the volcano. Which, if I remember right... This one's a bit convoluted to get to. You need to equip the... Bobong armor to allow you to walk in the sea first. <coughs> so, let's do that first. I love this music under the sea. And these sea urchins give you a bit of experience as well. They actually give you 20. But see, they don't come back for a long time. Um, I think this is the way to the volcano. Uh, maybe up that way. Yay, I remembered. Right, now we're in the volcano, then you need to equip the... I guess that one. There was something to withstand fire. Unless it just does it automatically. Let's just try that. So it should say there's one remaining here. Yep, it is. The metal 
monkey. There it is! Yay, we can kill it! I was really annoyed for so long that I didn't have a way of killing this guy. Okay, give me something good. Because I remembered this one from two sessions ago. Let's see what happens now. Okay, that's back in the main room we were just in. And there's a new mermaid. Okay. Let's go and speak to her and see what happens. There's nothing else here, is there? There's also no enemies to kill. Oh, there is. Yeah, that monkey. I don't know why it's just that one monkey that's made of metal, and none of the other ones are. Nothing else. I want to see how much experience these things give you. 20 again, not bad. Still, it's going to take forever. I can't believe I have to wait until level 22. I thought I might actually finish the game tonight. There is no way I'm going to finish the game. It's way longer than I thought it was. Ah, I'm taking damage. I'm going to put on the right armour. There we go. Get that bubble back out. We can actually do a bit of a shortcut here. We can go and see what that new mermaid has to offer for us. She should be right there. Yeah, there it is. Thank you very much for releasing me. I will give you the red hot stick. Oh, cool. One of the things for the phoenix. The phoenix resides on the stick. Take the red hot stick and visit the mountain king. Right, that was one. Let's see what it looks like. If you obtain all three symbols, the phoenix will join you. Yay. I don't think I actually need it equipped though. I'll go back to her from that bracelet on. I think that's everything you can do here, for now. There's probably other stuff. I might have a look at a guide after the stream. Um, let's see what happens if I just take him that. Without anything else. Might give me something. I'm not going the right way, am I? I still can't believe that shortcut to get into where that snail was. That's so stupid. Uh, okay, you going to give me something? I've got one of them. Have you heard of the phoenix? No, I need all three. Mirror, ball and stick. I was wondering whether there was any hint as to where they are, but I guess not. No, nope. need all of them. Okay. Ah, clever. It did actually have a meaning. That's cool. Oh, I don't really need to be back here. Oh yeah, before I go back, if I uh, if I get to a good bit. Just appreciate this Mode 7 background. Look how nice that looks. I love it. You can't really see it that well. You can a bit higher up, but anyway. I don't think there's any reason to be back here again. And the snowballs have all stopped. You can see it a little bit there. Look, look at that parallax. That's so nice. Why did they just do it in the background like that? Okay. Let's go to Dr. Leo's lab. left 16 maybe that's how we level up fast let's see what these give us oh wow 140 okay yeah isn't it a scan line interrupt or something if I know my technical terms I know it's how they do hills and stuff in racing games as well right 
by drawing it at different intervals. Oh, that just took me back to the start. It was just a shortcut. Maybe it wasn't mode 7 then. Because it was still just a regular sprites, wasn't it? It wasn't actually scaling or anything. Can we actually take these out now with a sword? Oh yeah. And these things. They're like, oh my god, that's a lot. I was going to say, ah, you can't reach me from there. They're like the spikes in Link's Awakening that come out the side of the room for you. I released a plant. A very happy plant. He loves Dr. Leo's theme tune. Bum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum. 13 left. Have we been down here? No. Well, that's where they started from. Ah, there's not really much I can do here. Give me all the gems. Another plant. I wonder if these plants have weird, crazy backstories like the mushrooms did in the other place. We're getting through it. Twelve more to go. I keep forgetting, you're supposed to stay... You're supposed to face the enemies with the edge of the sword hitting them. Because it does twice as much damage, apparently, like that. You can either spend 24 hours talking to a statue, or come here and get the same amount of points that would take like two hours from talking to it. Hey, we found a cat. White Pointer Gaming did a video about games that were not Mode 7, even though people think they are. That would, that would be interesting to see. I think everyone just thought any cool effect on the SNES was just Mode 7 by default. Because that's what they'd heard about. Because I think this game is actually very simple, like the way it's made. It doesn't use any of the actual power of the SNES or anything. Whoa, that cat came with all that stuff. Whole load of test tubes. Yeah. I think rotation was a separate thing for the SNES, wasn't it? Is it is it that mode 7 mostly refers to like warping a flat plane? I think that's the difference anyway. Oh, this is so awkward to control. Yay. Oh, thanks. I'll check that out later. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm dead. Well, we got some new stuff to do anyway. Let's see what these cats have to say. This is Dr. Leo's laboratory. This house has a second floor and an attic. Cool. We don't really like to chase rats. Cats just have to eat in order to live. Oh, okay. The room on the second floor is Dr. Leo's. There were two models of this town in his room. Many creatures were swallowed into the models. What? That doesn't make sense. Okay, looks like I can't go anywhere else just yet. No one had anything to give me. Let's see if there's anything up here. Not yet. Alright, let's go back in. How many's left now? Six. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, okay, I can stand here.
Whoa! Ah! Oh! God damn! What is this level? Really? Where's the rest of them? Did they all go off up here? Are you one of them? Okay, that was one. I released another cat. He loved cats. This is just making things fly off up here. Uh, that's not safe. Oh. That wasn't even the one. Whoa! Oh my god. Is that it? Yay, there we go. No, it's not. I thought that was then. Still two more. I'm going to change that to the ice one, I think. Are you going to come back? Oh. That one's already clear. I don't even know if the ice will actually hit them or not, anyway. Another cat? No, the chest of drawers. Apparently it's going to talk to me, because I thought I could only bring people back to life. Or things that had been reincarnated or something like that. I think there's still more. Two more. Oh. Still more? Yay, finally. And another great door, just like every good door. That's it for this area then. Was there anything over here? No. Uh, do you use the shoulder buttons? I haven't been, but I probably should do. I had to kill one of the bosses using the shoulder buttons. That's what the shoulder buttons do, by the way. It lets you hold your sword out in front. And if you press B, it does that. Very, very simple combat. I should probably be doing that more. I always felt like it doesn't do as much damage, though. Oh my god. Yay, level up! I'll just stand here and do this, that seems safe. I think the floor was hurting me as well then. Oh my god, there's 14. Yeah, it is. Do I have to like, hold my breath and run onto it? Another cat! Yay! The cat is sleeping. He looks as though he's suffering. Oh no! Uh-oh, Dr. Leo? Are you harming cats? Why? No, the gems! I really wish you could pick them up. Uh, I'm not going over there. I'll die. Oh, maybe I can't get over there yet, anyway. I'll come back to you guys later. I'm gonna die in a minute, anyway. Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh, am I inside the pipe? Okay, there's a interesting little bit of use of transparency there. 
<clears throat> Let's see what all these new cats have to say. Where's the new door? Was it here? My body is locked. There should be a key somewhere. Well, know where I can get to yet, at least. Yeah, this area is still clear. Oh wow, that's already doing half damage. Nick released a mouse. Oh, okay. Do I have to go through there and then come out in the other side? That's annoying. Why didn't it do all of it? I feel like they were just showing off with that pipe. Like, oh look, we can do transparency effects. Okay, that's just... Is that a shortcut? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't hurt him anyway. What's the point of having magic if he can't use it? Are you going to give me XP, please? Yay. Not yet. Seven left in here. I'm gonna watch one. Oh no! Oh, I didn't realise how much health I had. Okay, well let's go and see the uh, the rat or the mouse. Why does the door make the same no noise as killing an enemy? Uh, would you please take the cats out of the room? I am too scared to move around with them in here. Oh no. Will they leave? We don't really like to chase rats. How am I supposed to get the cats to leave? Maybe I can't yet. I don't want to waste all my health by going across them. Let's take the safe option. Yeah, and the shortcut's still there. You gonna give me more XP? 
Oh, that one's not an infinite well. Okay, I'm going for it. Ow, 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 ow. I feel like there's no way to get around that. I released steps. Okay, so this is just like rebuilding the whole lab as well as saving all the people and animals that are inside it. Great door. Not so much story going on in this one. I thought, considering this is the lab of like the main character that the game's always talking about, there might be more of an interesting plot going on this time. Oh, I've got to do this again. There must be a way of getting around without hurting yourself every time. Ah. And there's probably a better way of doing all that without getting hit all the time, too. I released a model of a town. Okay. Has he been playing Actraiser? Okay, we got another shortcut. Nice. So if I die, I don't have to go all the way back around again. Always appreciate that. Wow, that's a good place to stand, because I can get the, uh, get the gems out of it, too. Yay! And a halfway point. Yeah, let's save. And let's carry on. Uh, or do we need to head back? Is that... That's everything here. We need to head back to the other area. So... Go up the stairs, I guess. Go and see that model town upstairs. And there it is. Has he been playing SimCity? Nick is swallowed into the model. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's cool. Nice. I knew there would be something more interesting to this place. That's really cool. Okay. Can we... Okay, you can't interact with the houses, they just sort of exist. Huh. The graphics are kind of weird. Like the way all the tiles are, but I guess it kind of plays into it being a model. I don't know why everyone's trying to kill me. What was this town based on? Well, I guess they think I'm a giant. Is it like Attack on Titan? To them, I'm a giant. Oh, I'm not doing very good about positioning myself, though. What did that do? Oh, I made a bridge. Nice. Look at all these weird pixelated trees, or just two different types. Uh, how do we go over there? That one's already cleared out. Another mouse. Why does that mouse get a bed as well? Gulliver's Travels. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely not Attack on Titan. I think this game came out in 1990 or 91. Yeah, 1991. Many, a long time before Attack on Titan was even considered. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Attack on Titan fans, but I do not believe it existed in 1991.
Ah, oh, I wish there was a way of getting the gems over. What was the point of that? Oh my god, I guess... Oh, maybe I should try doing that instead. No, that's worse. Okay, yeah, a long time after this end. Nick released a mouse. Again. Oh, wow, we already cleared everyone out there, too. Not, mu not much variety in the things we're rescuing this time. Can't reach. Oh, are they coming out of here? Uh, I guess we have no choice but to use magic for them ones. And another mouse. <clears throat> Was this Professor Dr. Leo or whatever doing experiments on animals or something? Face that way to do extra damage. Oh, right, I never found them in the other room. You find out what I do. How many more? Twelve remaining. Oh my god. We have to get to. 83,000 for the next level. Ah, uh, what's happening? random spikes in the field. <laughs> I feel like they just didn't know what to do. Like, uh, we'll just put some random spikes that move back and forth. That's a good enemy, right? It just looks like placeholder graphics. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, I know what I should change to now. This one stops the gems from disappearing when you die. Oh, what? I didn't even think it was on that level. Good job I switched to that. Okay. Well, I was thinking of stopping around 10, but I might carry on for like another half an hour or so. Okay, let's see what this does. My back hurts because I've been sitting too long. I should get up and exercise. What? What? Okay, we have an exercise in chest of drawers. It scares people when we move, but we're just exercising. Don't worry guys, they're just exercising, nothing to see here. Is it going to do anything? <laughs> I love this game, when it does random things like that. Oh, 
What's the other one? That's the star of the show in today's session. The random exercise in chest of drawers. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, we haven't been down. Oh, we can't get in there because it's locked. There should be a key somewhere. Look at him go. He's really getting a good workout. Let's oh, have another look around first. Okay, we can go into that cat's dream. Use magic to defeat enemies which you can't reach. Yeah, I know that. Um, okay, item. Let's get the dream rod. Let's see what this cat's dreaming about. Nick places the dream rod on the cat's head. There he is, Dr. Leo. King Magrid wishes to see you at once. Are you going to allow him to make a deal with Death Toll? Ah, uh, Rael! Hello, thank you. I think my thing to say that raids happen is a little bit broken. Hey everyone! What have you been playing? Oh yeah, Sarah said she wants uh, you want to talk about cameras with me at some point. I'll be happy to do that. If you go into the London gaming market. Um, where was I anyway? With Death Tong, King Magrid knows nothing about the value of human lives. No matter how small, all creatures have the right to exist in this world. If the trees in this world were cut in half, the oxygen would decrease and many of us would die. Oh no. Yeah, happy to answer any questions, any camera questions. I'm a bit of a camera nerd. In fact, I've got the box right here. It's empty, don't worry. I bought myself a new camera lens the other day. I've got it on the camera now, but that's the specs of it. 20 to 40 f 2.8 lens. I was very excited to get it because my old one was way too big. There's the old lens for comparison. Just way too heavy to take around with me. And it was only an f4 lens as well. It's mirrored. What about if I go on camera? If I do that, is that mirrored? There you go, now you can see it. There you go, Sony E-mount. F2.8 means all this background gets nicely blurred out. And it can go from wide to close up. But not super close, like some of my other ones. Anyway, yeah, that was the old one, the one before. This one extends a lot further, but it wasn't as wide as this one. It was a 24 to 105. And the one that I used for conventions and stuff was, uh, wasn't was a zoom lens at all. And I know Quang's here. You'll know the frustration that I had at EGX with that, with this lens. Uh, it's attached to the camera up here, this one. That's the lens that I used to take around to events and stuff. But it didn't have any, uh, it didn't have any stabilization, which was really bad. And uh, as well as that, we put the uh, protector on that one. It didn't have any stabilization, and it didn't have any zoom, so you could only use digital zoom, which looked horrible. Yeah, send me a DM if you've got any that you're looking at. I'll be happy to tell you which ones, uh, which ones are good or not. Um, half the oxygen would decrease, and many of us would die. We do what King Magrid tells us to do. Yay, thank you for the follow. Dark Queen 21. Or Dark Queen, I guess. 21. Yeah, I can't... I don't have a way of showing you the new lens because it's on the camera. Uh, I guess I can... I guess I can do that. Yeah, there you go. Kind of. Can you see that? You probably can't see it too well. And if I move the camera... <laughs> there you go. It is it is smaller and lighter compared to the other one too, which is good. 
which is what I wanted really. So I can't wait to go to an event. I've had it for like a month now, and I was planning to take it to London for AnimeCon. Yeah, another follow. Diddy Bash. Thank you. Yeah, I was planning to take this new lens to AnimeCon in London, but we didn't end up going in the end because of the train strikes. So I haven't actually had a chance to use it off this tripod yet. Hey, Tom Sutton's here as well. Hey, how are you doing this evening? Did he was playing Resi 5? Oh, that's what you've been playing. Awesome. Resi 5's great in co-op. Did Sarah tell me the mods that her friend was trying to make at one point? I think that'd be really fun if he ever gets around to finishing it. Uh, anyway, we do what King Mag Magrid tells us to do. King Magrid makes all the decisions. I think, from what I remember about the start of this game, he imprisoned he imprisoned this professor in order to create some sort of machine to give him infinite wealth or something. Uh, hey, it's time to go. Dr. Leo, you love your daughter Lisa, don't you? If you obey, she will remain safe. We will be waiting for you outside in the airship. Come out when you're ready. Uh-oh. Please forgive me. The world won't go to ruin sooner or later, but I can do nothing more. Oh, Master, please help. Lately, I always see Dr. Leo in my dreams. Oh, that was inside the dream of a cat? I was scared when he was taken away. I had been hiding under the table. Oh, yeah, I'll give you this. Dr. Leo left this. Nick received a door key. There are invisible enemies in the model town. Please be careful. Oh, okay. Use magic to defeat the enemies, which you can't reach. Right, we can use the door now. Before we go back into that model town, which is really cool, by the way. Uh, let's go back. Downstairs. And... We can unlock the other door. Oh, it stopped exercising. Does everyone want to see an exercising cabinet, by the way? My back hurts because I've been sitting too long. I should get up and exercise. There you go. Enjoy. It scares people when we move, but we're just exercising. Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. Right, hopefully we can use the key to go in here now. My body is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the laboratory. I have one. Do I need to actually equip it first? This will open door. Okay, let's try again. Did it not work? I have it. Is it not the right one? Oh, I have to walk back and then walk into it again. Okay. Weird. Well, we used it. If the soul of the great door joins you, you'll be able to see the invisible enemies in the model town. Oh, that's what killed me. So maybe we should stay here a bit longer. Listen to what the cat says. Yes, sir. Doors are usually quiet, but there are some talkative ones. Try and talk to all of them. I oh, better not try that in real life. People might think I'm crazy. Take the mystic armor from my drawer. Nick received the mystic armor. Cool. Let's see. Can I actually use it? Oh, it doesn't give you a specific level for these. Oh yeah, we're still using the bubble armor as well. That's probably why I was taking so much damage. Invincible for a longer period of time. Nice. I still can't use that yet. Okay, I think that's everything I can talk to for now. Need to find a way of getting these plants, uh, getting these cats to leave the room, but not yet, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Let's just double check. Yeah, nothing left. That music's crazy. They didn't need to go so hard. And uh, this is really relaxing in comparison for some reason. It's kind of a shame that it's always the same. I'd like some more variety. Right, back into the model town, I guess. Whee. It'd be cool if there was some sort of like shrinking transition or something between. Oh, 
Oh, is that... Is that what I was seeing, one of the invisible enemies? Well, I don't have any magic left. These ones are visible, at least. Uh, can I block that? Oh, I can. I can chop them down. I guess. Nick released another great door. Nick hears the door speaking to itself. I can see, I can see machines throwing bombs inside model towns. What a strange thing for a door to be able to do. Okay, I guess we go back and speak to the door. I'm not sure where that was. Downstairs? It wasn't that one. Oh. There we go, we just have to talk to it. Even though I don't look like it, I'm from the sky, just like you. Let me join you. The soul that enables you to see invisible enemies in model towns. That's a very specific soul. Not just any soul. One that specifically allows you to see invisible enemies in model towns. You joined me. There we go. We have, it's called the soul of detection. Now we can go back inside the model town. Such a random game. I want to know what... Oh, okay. It's like that. Interesting. That's a weird effect. Uh, whoa, it's a whole, like, machine thing. No wonder it was hurting so much. I suppose I could have got by without it, but it helps. That effect's weird. Why is it shifting everything like that? I guess so you can actually see. What's going on here? Oh, more invisible machines. Catapults or trebuchets. I don't know what's what. Oh dear. Let's go back in. We don't have a, a link to the town yet, so we have to go through this way. Uh, not up there yet. I presume I'm going to unlock a bunch of stuff in there at some point. Uh, once we've got through this model town, I'll probably call it a night there. Um, but I'll keep going for a bit more. I'm glad we're actually making progress again, because I was really worried at the start of this stream that I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Because I was completely lost. And I had no clue what I was supposed to do. Uh, oh, we're nearly leveled up again. We need to 83,000. These are good respawning enemies. Oh, wow. There you go. I only need three more levels and I can use that super sword that I've been saving. Uh, I need to go up there somehow. They're a bit extreme. Is that it? Yay. What did it do? Oh, we got a treasure chest. We got two. Let's go see what's in them. 80 gems. And a herb. I think I already had one, though. I think it was. Well, that's not much more than just killing the enemies in this area. I don't really know why it bothered doing that. Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was just going to keep spawning them. I only spawned one. That's not so bad then. I've released more steps. Yay. We can go up to the next floor. Wow, that's a fancy mouse. Three more. There's one of them machines there. That wasn't there earlier. They give you loads of XP though, so it's worth killing. Oh, what a waste. I wish the gems weren't so hard to find. Hey, that was a good shot. Two in one. I don't have a good way of killing these guys. Oh, maybe that's good. That's good. Just stay there. This effect around this light is really weird. Nick released a model of the Oh, a new model! Okay. A different town to explore. And... I guess that's it for this area. Go and see what's in the other one. Or should we see what else there was? Let's see what's up here. Nothing yet. Looks like a church or something. I am a devout mouse! Stand here and you will be purified. Nick felt his body and mind become purified. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you, mouse. I've been blessed by the holy mouse. Now let's go into the second one. Nick is swallowed into the model. Let's see how different this one is compared to the first one. Uh, it has bigger houses. Okay, it's a lot bigger. Still hidden machines everywhere. Another mouse. can eat holy cheese by a holy mouse. Cartoon cheese. Whoa, what's that? Why is the floor being sick? Why is it sicking up Vimto? What is going on? Can I stand on it? Uh, it didn't do anything, it just went weird for some reason. Nick released a plant. There's some peeling wallpaper in that room too. What is, what is with the floor? Like, what is that supposed to represent? Dr. Leo spilt some Vimto on the floor. Why is that building exploding? Okay. How am I safe there? 
I guess I need to uncover something else to be able to actually go inside any of them. Oh wow, I've got so much health, I can just stand here and do this. Uh, okay, that helped. Now we can go inside. Come on! I wish there was like a counter that told you how many enemies are left inside these things. Oh my god! That was never ending. All just for a little bridge. Oh well, get experience points and they can't even attack me from here. go up there and activate it before I forget uh, if I can figure out how to get there never have expected that those enemies looked like that. Right, is it up here? There it is. That was just a shortcut anyway. Okay, there's four left. Okay, we can go inside now. Cool. I don't know where I'm being attacked from. Use up all the magic. Oh no. Now I've run out of magic. Whoa. Come on then. Oh, it was out there. How did you get out there? Have we made another door? Another chest of drawers, okay. Is that one going to start exercising too and being all weird? Two remaining. Okay. Let's see if we can find them. It's probably up here somewhere. I don't think I've been up here yet. Okay, we're populating this upstairs room now. A cat. And nothing else. Okay, not quite yet then. I thought he was going to have a bunch of furniture with him at least. Just a random cat all on his own. Found a field. It'd be really cool if they recreated one of the areas from Outrazer as a as a model town. It's a really cool concept for a stage, though. Steps. Oh cool, it fixed that whole room. Nice. That's the starting area, right? And apparently that's it. Let's get some more experience first. 115,000. We're not too far off, actually. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff to look at now, but I think I'll leave that for next time. I've been streaming for three hours, or thereabouts. Um, there was one thing I wanted to do, though, before we end this stream. Now that we've got to a good place to pause. I wanted to have a look at the uh, 
of the map or the poster that came with the game. Uh, let's first do the, the really cool thing that I like in these kind of games where you can uh, you can tell it you're done playing basically and it says do you wish to continue if you press no then you get this really nice like melancholic music just enjoy listening to this I really like this song I'll turn it up a little bit too camera and audio gotcha. there you go you should still be able to hear the game so here's the box but there's something cool inside that I wanted to to show you guys and it kind of gives you an idea of where we're at in the game as well I have to be really careful with this because it was very expensive Look how, look how good condition that is. Well, it's a little bit scuffed, but it's still pretty nice. Um, the instruction manual's in pristine condition as well, but... The reason that this version was more expensive is because it also came with this. Uh, which I'm always really nervous about opening. Because it's very old and fragile. But on the back... You actually get a look. Uh, all the different areas in the game, which is really cool. I love it when games include things like this. So we can see where we're up to and what we have left to collect and everything like that. So let's have a look uh, and see. And you can also see all of the uh, the extra stuff that we need to collect in order to give to the, uh, to the inventor. So we're actually near the end there's only two more left so we're in Dr. Leo's lab at the minute which is there number five so that's the stuff that we're going to collect in this one and it's good to go back and visit this as well because you can see where all the emblems are which are kind of hard to find throughout the game so we're going to find a purple stone a bottle an emblem and some plant leaves and then the last place is obviously Madrid Castle which was hinted at and over there there's a look at some of the boss fights See the screen from there. Yeah, I can't really see that very well. There's a bunch of boss fights on there as well, so... Poseidon was the last one we faced. So the Tin Dong is next for Area 5. So there's only two more areas to go, so maybe in the next stream. Or maybe in the one after. I'll actually get to the end. And if you wanted to see the other side, there's a really nice full page version of the box art there as well. I'm really happy to, to have this. Anyway, that was it for today's stream. Thank you so much for joining me on a Monday, not a Tuesday. So join me again next Tuesday when we will be continuing our journey. We are on Area 5 and we are at level 19. So let's see. Let's see how far we can get. And I'm going to try and remember what's going on again. Because it's been a week since we played last. Um, it looks like we had we had a new, we had another new sword, didn't we? That we couldn't quite use yet because we need to be level twenty-two. I don't remember what level we're actually at. And I've got turbo fire turned on. Whoops. So we are level. Does it say what level we are? Oh, level nineteen. So we've got three more levels to go. And. Did we finish this area? Is that where we're up to? Did we do everything here? Right. Don't think so, because we needed to get rid of this rat, didn't we? <clears throat> so there's still some more stuff that we needed to try and do. I remember I was really laughing last time because of the uh, wardrobe down here. Is he still doing his exercises? should get up and exercise. There we go. So... Let's try and figure out where we're actually supposed to go now. I think we've done everything here. It was in Professor Leo's lab, I think his name was. Leo? Um, let's see if there's something we need to do upstairs. I 
remember there was two levels here. I think I've cleared both of them out now. And there was a big empty room somewhere. Not this one. This one belongs to a doll named Mary. Or Marie. She told me many things about foreign towns. A girl named Lisa took care of Mary. If there's nothing in the chest, then the chest is good for nothing. Will you store your medical herbs in my drawer? Uh, why? I'm satisfied. Can I get them back? Are you taking them out? Well, it's okay. Oh. Well, I think I cheered him up. Look at those door handles. Is that meant to be like a moustache or something? Let's see what else is going on here. Use magic to defeat enemies which you cannot reach. I am. Actin... Actinidia. Take some of my leaves if you want. Ouch! Nick received... Actinidia leaves. <laughs> what was that? I'm happy to help you. Um... That was a help... How? Oh! Okay, we can... I didn't realise I could use... Uh, items in the overworld like this. Hey Gareth, good evening to you. How are you doing this evening? I'm a devout mouse and I will stand here and you will be purified. Okay. I don't know what that means. Is something going to happen to me? Mm. Nothing happened. I'm purified. Hooray! I shouldn't leave these streams at a point where I don't know what to do next. I've also been thinking as well, whenever I finish a game on stream from now on, once the stream's finished, I'm actually going to go straight into recording the actual video for the uh, for the game that I've been playing as well, so it's fresh in my mind. So, if we do finish it tonight, I might actually do a video about this straight after. But I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um. Oh, are they following me because I've got the leaf leaf with me? Okay. Uh, are they going to stay there? Is that it? Is the rat happy? Yay, thank you very much. Now I can walk around the room freely. Let me give you something. Please come inside. Alright, we are making progress. Hopefully we don't need to uncover anything else in one of the overworlds. Thank you for getting rid of the rat. Of the cats. Take this magic. The magic of spark bomb. Nick received a spark bomb. What was a rat doing with that? It's not easy to hit the enemies with spark bomb, but if you do, it works very well. So we see... Uh, what that is. Mines are laid. Will explode soon after. Okay. Let's go and talk to these rats in here as well. We are weak and timid animals. Hey, confuse. Your SNES game streams are so fun. Yay! Makes you want to continue playing Chrono Trigger. Um, but Uniwork is picking up again. No! Hopefully you find time to play some games again. It can't be all work and no play. How far did you get in Chrono Trigger? I would have, I would have been like, I would have liked to have been born a plant. I would not fear anything. I guess. Well, you might fear being cut down as a plant. Would you like a medical herb? Well, I guess so, but I've already got one. They're part of my body. I cannot give many at one time. Well, I didn't need to take one anyway. <coughs> Just got back from the Dark Ages. I can't remember at what point or what areas you've been, so I won't say anything to to spoil anything for you. Uh, I guess all that was just a side quest. Not really sure where I'm actually meant to be going next. Let's try that room over there. If the soul of the Great Door joins you, you'll be able to see the invisible enemies in the models of the town. 
we've done that already. Try and talk to all the doors. Some of them are talkative. We've done that as well. Uh, so, yeah, that was that soul there, soul of detection. I guess... We go upstairs and check. This is why I shouldn't stop streaming halfway through an area, because I don't remember what I was doing the week before. Or I should go back and watch the previous stream first. Um, let's see, this one? <coughs> let's see what's in here. Chrono Trigger's so good, though. Monsters remain in zero. I still haven't got the DS version. I would like to try and get it at some point. And, uh... Oh, okay, that's how it works. That's weird. I would like to try and get the DS one just to see what the extra dungeon and the, uh, the animated cutscenes and stuff are like. I wonder whether I can level up here. Let's level... Oh my god, that's a lot. That's going to take a long time. Well, I mean, the DS one's still cheaper than the SNES one, right? It's like you get to pick a bad pick of two prices, basically. Do you want to pay crazy expensive or crazy expensive? I really don't understand why I didn't get the DS one when it came out either, because that was the first time it had been officially released in the UK as well. I guess I didn't bother getting it because I'd already got it on the SNES, but I regret it these days. If I could have got it for like 40 quid when it was new, I wouldn't need to worry about trying to get it now then. The SNES version's actually cheaper than the DS one now. That's that's crazy. <coughs> Maybe we're actually done here then. Let's see if we can teleport anywhere else. Well, let's see what's down here first. This was the other area that I remembered. Oh no, it wasn't. There is another area somewhere. Uh, down here? Or is that where the rats were? No. I'm lost. Not down there either. Alright, let's leave here then. Let's try somewhere else. We are missing something. Let's see where this goes. Monster's Lair's remaining zero. Okay. Well, we can't go anywhere else just yet. So there must be something else to do here. Have they still not fixed the Steam version? I used to have an Android version on one of my old tablets and that was pretty bad as well. It's amazing to me that they've never properly remade it or anything. Considering the massive fan support for that game. And considering how well Final Fantasy VII Remake's done, I wonder whether they have considered doing a Chrono Trigger in that style. That would be awesome if they could do a proper full 3D remake like FF7. If they put like the same budget and cinematic qualities into that, that would be insane. All I know about the Steam port is that the pixels are all messed up because they put a weird filter over everything. And the font is all weird. Because they use the mobile game as a base, which uses some horrible in inbuilt font rather than pixel font. Why would they do that? Do they not have eyes? Can they not see? Can they not see how bad it looks? 
I have no idea what to do. They fixed the pencil filter on the font. What? How did they fix it and then it got broken again? Can't they just leave it alone? Or is it a Windows issue? I might even have to look up my old stream to find out what the hell I was doing here, because I'm going around in circles. Um, I'm sure I left it at a good point as well, so... Let's see what happened at the end here. Oh, they added uh, ultra white. Why would they do that? There's no reason to play that game with ultra white. That's all. I bet you can even see out of bounds in some areas then. I'm trying to skip forward in my last stream to see if we can figure out where I left this. I should have done this before I went live. Don't eat the squid. Hello. Yeah, we're playing more Soul Blazer tonight. Once I can figure out where I need to go. Because I think I've already... Okay, we, I just left it there for some reason. So the last thing I did was... Leave the town, and then... All I said was, there's a whole bunch of stuff to look at. Okay. In that case, I guess we go around and just talk to everyone and see if we can uncover anything new. You're enjoying my list videos. I've kind of got a list video coming out on Friday, but also kind of not really. It is a top 15, but um, for the Game Boy Homebrew Jam, basically. So it's like a game dev one, which hopefully will be interesting to people. And there's links to play all the games and stuff too. Um, I am just going to go around and click on everyone now to see if we can figure out what to do next. I already did some stuff. I love homebrews, at least when the developers have put a good amount of effort into them. Sometimes I get sent some games and they're just so bad that I don't even want to make a video on them because it would be kind of embarrassing for the developer, so... I've got a bunch of cartridges that people have sent me that I just feel bad showing, so I just haven't mentioned them and I feel kind of bad about that too. Like, what do I do? It's like they just figured out that GB Studio exists and then put it on a cartridge. Yeah, I mean, I just I just do a video of everything that I've been, that I've been given, basically. It works. People watch them, so I'm happy making them. But if I was a developer, I wouldn't want my game being shown off in that state. But that's not for me to judge, and I try and be open-minded about them too. Um, right, we've already done this. I don't even know if there's anything left to uh, talk to. What a good smell. What a pleasant smell. True. Hopefully, hopefully I can do two things with the list. So I can tell people what's worth playing. And I can also explain to the developers what what is and isn't a good idea for a, for a game too. I guess we just have to carry on going further into one of the levels then. I want to start doing more stuff that's not lists though, because they do get a bit boring to make, so... Um, in March, actually, I've decided to take quite a different approach to videos, so hopefully you'll find it interesting. I'm going to try and do some more personal stories and things. So they might not get the same amount of views as some of the other stuff, but hopefully the people that do watch find it quite interesting got some interesting stories to tell, I think. I hope. 
so we'll see how that goes soon. I've got a bunch of different ideas. Uh, I don't really like doing individual game reviews anymore because... Well, they just don't do very well, put it bluntly. And the last few times that I've done individual game reviews, a bunch of subscribers have actually unsubscribed just because they just weren't interested. Whereas I think with a list or with a set of games, you've got more chance of someone at least liking something in there. Which I think makes it a bit more palatable for people that are just sort of casual viewers. So I want to make it approachable to everyone. Does that make sense? Um, the worst things is games that have potential. At least you know there's something... There's something there though, isn't there? There's something exciting to... To be invested in. Uh, kind of at the mercy of the algorithm, but also maybe I just shouldn't worry about it so much because... I've been kind of changing how I think about the algorithm. Um, and I just want to do more stuff that I find interesting. And hopefully, because I find making those videos interesting, more people will just watch because they can see the uh, the enthusiasm compared to some of the videos which I am just doing for, for the algorithm. And maybe there's less enthusiasm behind that, but obviously... I still enjoy making all the videos, else I wouldn't bother. I have no idea what I'm doing. Everything's been cleared out, there's no more... There's no more rooms to worry about or anything. I don't think there's any extra areas... ...here. I might need to look up a walkthrough or something. I did find some new magic and I thought, oh, finally we're... ...we're heading in the right direction. There must be... A different exit or something around here that I'm not seeing. But I don't see anywhere to go. Everything's quite blocked off with that weird wall all the way around the outside. The reason that I'm kind of changing how I feel about the algorithm... I'll as you probably all know, at the start of the year, a lot of YouTubers said they were either quitting or getting burnt out or not making regular videos anymore. And I, wa I watched a bunch of them and I also watched a bunch of uh, interviews and podcasts around why people are thinking about doing that as well. So uh, I've kind of been taking some notes and I've actually got... I've got a specific notebook right here with some ideas in that I'll be trying to do a bit later on this year. So, hopefully, hopefully we can overcome any sort of thoughts like that, so... Well, there's a little bit of notes there. There's a sneak peek, not that you're able to, to read it here, but I have been thinking about the future of the channel. Hey, Mr. Gates, how are you tonight? And how's everyone else as well? I haven't asked how anyone's doing yet. Apart from Cold Fuse not having time to play Chrono Trigger. Hey, and Majora's Mask over on the YouTube side. Popping in while you're cooking dinner. Excellent. What are you cooking? Uh, and where am I going? Doing just fine. You're not like that dog on the seat with everything burning around you, are you? This is fine. I don't know what to do now. I don't think there's anything left to do in these areas either. Oh, there is. Okay, we haven't been down here. Monsters lairs remaining. Nine. Uh, I thought this is where we came in, but apparently not. There we go. We've got some silver worms to kill. Let's see if these new bombs work. Yeah, they weren't kidding that they're hard to hard to get working properly. I'm actually gonna change that back. 
Uh, what was my favourite one? I think I like the light arrows the best. Sometimes it's like that with uni work. Yeah, I I miss uni for the people and for the experience, but I don't miss it for the coursework. Well, sometimes I do, but then I feel like if I want to do work, I can just work on whatever I want now and I don't have any sort of worries like anyone judging anything. So I kind of feel like writing the book that I'm writing at the minute is kind of like uni work with no consequences. So I can do what I want and take as long as I want, which maybe isn't the best thing. But I've got a whole bunch of other things going on at the same time as well. I've got two game codes that I need to review before the embargoes. One of them's in uh, in a week's time and the other one's in two weeks' time, so I need to try and finish both of them as well soon. I can't tell you what they are yet, but they, they're both really awesome indie games. And I'm so excited to do the reviews. To do the reviews for both of them. And I think you guys will, will really enjoy what the games are too. Ah. I'm missing the chat here. You appreciate all the Game Boy content. Yay! There's more Game Boy content coming on Friday. Look forward to that. I'm talking about the uh, the Game Boy Homebrew competition uh, that I was one of the organisers for. So now all the results are out, I'm officially allowed to talk about all the games. So that's coming out this Friday. And then, maybe no Game Boy content for a while after. Um, when I get to 40,000 subscribers, actually, I'm going to do a Game Boy... Uh, not Game Boy Journey, but my, my history with the original Game Boy video, basically. And also, I haven't really shown this off yet, either. I got this really cool modded Game Boy Color with my uh, with my logo on it, which is really nice. Look how nice that screen is, too. So I'll probably show that off in the next Pickups episode. That's a game I've been playing, if you can see that. That's probably reversed, isn't it? Bomberman Quest. Oh yeah, when in doubt, look at stuff to, uh, to kill. Yeah, it's mirrored there. If I go on full screen, it's the right way around. There you go. Yeah, well, that's, that's the game I was playing. If anyone hasn't played Bomberman Quest before, it's actually a really cool Zelda-style game. The reason it's mirrored is because I have the camera over here and I wanted to look at the game. Whereas if I... Uh... If I do this... Uh, flip horizontal... Then it looks like I'm looking away from the game, like off the side of the screen. Like it's, it's not mirrored now at least. But the, cam the camera's on the wrong side, don't you think that looks weird? Is it safe to go down there? It, lo it looks weird because I'm looking away from the game and I didn't like it, so I mirrored it basically. So, uh, uh, I'm going to move it back. I don't like it. There we go, that's better. Now I'm looking at the game. Makes more sense. Uh, Bomberman 2 on the NES is your go-to. Awesome. Uh, I haven't played that one. Does that have a good single player mode? My uh, my go-to Bomberman game, if I just want to pick one, just to just to have fun with, is always uh, Bomberman '94, I think, on the Turbo Graphics. '93 or '94, I like both of them. It's definitely one of those two. Love the single player mode on them ones. I first played it on the on the Wii Virtual Console when that was still live and kicking. That was the successor to Bomberman 2. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love that style of Bomberman then. Um, I also really like Bomberman Tournament on the Game Boy Advance. Has anyone played that one? Yay, we unlocked something new. I forgot how funky this music is. You should check out Bomberman Tournament for the GBA. This music's so weird. Listen to that weird sound effect in the background as well. And then this bit where it just gets deeper and deeper. Bum, 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 bum. 
I love the OST. Every single level has had such a awesome, funky soundtrack. I love it. And they've all been so different as well. Ah. What did that do? Oh, now we got to try and get back through again. Ah, I don't know. I don't know where the hitbox is. <laughs> I'm watching over the world. Please take this. Nick received XP. Would you like to go back? Not yet. Let's see how much more XP I need. Oh, we're nearly there. Need what? 3,500? Let's see if I can actually figure out where this is. Okay, it's there. So sort of up from where you would expect. There we go. So, what's anyone else been playing this week? Anything retro? Anything modern? Oh, and another question as well. What are you looking forward to in tomorrow's Nintendo Direct? Partner Showcase. I've seen some rumours about what people think is going to be there. Let's save while we're here. Do you think maybe we'll see um, the beginning of the new Microsoft third third party games? We've been messing around with the ZX81. Cool. I had a, a friend round the other day actually to test out his ZX Spectrum. Or Spectrum Plus, is it? The one with the proper keyboard. I don't think that mine. Ah! I'm being attacked. I'll show you after. I'm probably going to die anyway. Oh my god, he's crazy. Ah, maybe I should try... Try the new bombs that we got. Let's try... I don't know where to dodge. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, 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 I forgot all the buttons! Um, item. We need to have... Uh, what's the one to save the gems if you die? There's, I think there's a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to find in this game. I won't worry about the damage one just now. We'll use that next time. Uh, will I have it? Maybe I haven't got it anymore. I had something. Um, I'll use the uh, shield bracelet then. Oh, okay, that's how it works. It follows the, uh... I don't think it did anything anyway. I don't think it did anything anyway. It actually follows the gem around you. And apparently, I looked this up, if you stand... Uh, just to the right of the enemy, so the sword lands on the, uh, where the sword ends, if that hits the enemy. You can actually do extra damage. 